40 strips and they're two and a half inches and we've got these beautiful pretty uh pastel ones here and if you just if i just show you these so these are your this is your snowman option so we've got snowflakes snowfall lovely stripes there we've got the red on the white lovely mistletoe and the holly there and then you've got the beautiful green with sentiments on there ho 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 and peace and non-directional as well for that one uh, lovely snowflakes and then it goes into those beautiful greens lovely fresh clean color palette and then we move into our aquas which pretty candy snowman there I don't know if you can see that so pretty and I love the snowfall and then almost like round snow globes there Mm, some lovely fronds and then we go into the light blue and then the snowflakes and again you've got those words lovely ice white there's a very faint um a very faint, faint print on there i can see I it's white. is it white on white there is yes it's it's the white snowflakes yeah there i can see it there Rob. Design on it. yeah and then there's snowman and then again into the greys and the greens and back to our blues beautiful so that's my snowman option uh, 22 pounds 52 flexi by payments or 44.99 so you get both of those then we've got the festive seeds so a little bit more traditional um, but equally as beautiful dark greens emerald greens rich 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 colors let me hold that up so you can see these as I flip them over but can you see that beautiful gold it almost looks like it's embroidered and when it catches the light my word it's, it's absolutely stunning the richness of it and then you've got the darker ones to interplay or interface that with the snowflakes there lovely berries and I mean look at that that strip in itself is stunning I love these colors deep sheds of ray red there beautiful the baubles and then some cream on white there as well and look at that the gold brocade isn't that gorgeous really really beautiful there yeah there is a real luxurious feel to that so we've got my reds and greens and then we sort of move into ice blues and look at that for the black again the embroidery it almost looks like it's embroidered doesn't it onto the greys and you sort of isn't that lovely the crackle there um so 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 pretty almost like frosted roses kissed by snow beautiful holly on the silver and the white there on the blue and the white so you've got the ice sort of blue feel to this with the turquoise there and frosty blues really beautiful and lots of creams there on white so there that's my other one my festive season one and again we've got i you get both of those so you choose which set you prefer 44.99 or we got that on two flexi by payments there 952780 is there 40 in each uh, yeah 40 strips 40 strips uh, 42 and a half uh, 42 inches wide 42 inches wide lovely brilliant so an absolute bargain 952780 now my next panel is this fella my lad which matches the snowman option because this is what you can make so I'll just pop him there and you'll see the colors there are uh, in his scarf and in his hat yeah beautiful and there's a little wee snowman in there as well and uh, this is your snowman panel so fantastic and this is what you can make obviously you've got to get your stuffing organized but you've got all the component parts there we, what I love about Robert's panels as well is you've got those instructions on there as well so it's, it's good for someone like me um, and then you've got the other elements in there our little mini snowman there cut them out stuff the snowman and away you go it's basically uh, two sides back to back uh, yeah. face to face yeah stitch round uh, of slip over uh, there is a piece on just up at your left hand there. Yeah. Uh, that that is the the base. This that, bit here. That fits in there, and it gives you, depending on how hard you, you stuff it, it it will sit. I suppose you could weight it with, yeah. if you wanted you it could, to be kind of could, beans and stuff. You that could use do. it as a doorstop. Yeah. Um, Lovely idea. Yeah. And if if you were really creative, you could uh, put a wee heart on them as well. Ah. Gorgeous. There's our snowman panel there. 11.99-136109. Now the Northern Lights. Uh, that's my beautiful polar bear. I don't know if you can get that, Moles. But we're, we're definitely going to come to him in a moment. Beautiful big long panel there. There he is. There with his paws, his claws. He got there. That's the one, Moles. Yeah. So this is my snowman panel. 9.99, 60 by 110 centimetres. Lovely hanging. You know, if you've got those long stairways and uh, you kind of have that long bit of wall, I, I've got it, and I always sort of look at it. It was. At the moment, Elvis is hanging there, but you know, so often, it's, especially if, yes, Elvis is there. Well, he's in every room, to be honest, Robert. Yeah, I'm sorry. I think so. Uh, but uh, yeah, that would look so yeah. good because it's lot. It's a perfect. It's a perfect setting in yeah. terms of the length and the breadth there. And what an absolute steal! And there's been some beautifully uh, beautiful sewing on there. And we've got five pounds 
off there as well. 137733 for our beautiful polar bear, Pam. I told you, Robert, brought us loads of choice, loads of choice. Now, these are exclusive, aren't they, Robert? Yes, uh, they are exclusive to us. Northern Lights. Uh, the, it's the Northern Lights range. Um, nobody else in Britain or Europe has them. Uh, we managed to do a deal, get a deal on them, so they're exclusive to us. And I've got four yeah. choices here as well. And if they want... The, That's beautiful, look at that. They can pick one of uh, any four as a half metre, but if they want uh, any more, if they wanted two, piece, two half metres of red... Yeah, a metre of the red. Would, You'll uh, cut it to the metre, will you? cut it as a metre. Fantastic. So this yeah. is my red. And then, that's beautiful, I mean, I love that. So, as Robert explained, you can cut that to the metre, you know, if you want two of the red. This is my blue. Yeah, cutting the continuous length, yeah. And then I've got my red on the grey, and then I've got the blue on the grey as well. They work beautifully together as well, actually, they do, don't yes, they, anyway? Uh, it's effortless, isn't it? Gorgeous. So, for each half metre, they're 9 738072 now, advent calendars, and again, um, we've got the blue one here, right behind me here, Moll. So this is, uh, is that, am I right? Yeah, that's my yeah, blue, one. The blue one. That's my blue and the silver. The grey one is in the middle of the other three in the patio Lovely. door. And then, yeah, my gray, the grey one is right over in the corner there. Oh, she's found it there. This is the grey one. Yeah. So this is the holidays advent calendar panel. Um, is this the, is that the right code number for the grey one there, Lottie? Yeah, 379... Oh, I see, two options. 379627. And then the blue and the grey, we're just going to get into shop for you now. So if you're in your sort of mm -hmm. silver, blues and greys, there's our silver grey option as well. So a completely different feel, but you've got the fun sort of festive season and then you've got again a little bit more traditional the Icelandic you know the ice and the blue it's, it's just really beautiful there 12.99.379.627 you choose which option okay next we've got Santa on the roof now I'm not going to spend too long explaining this because obviously Robert's going to but I think this is a genius idea they're elongated for a reason all I'm going to say is folding uh, but Robert's going to demonstrate with one of the advent calendars and here you've got Santa on the roof So that's the top of your panel and then literally as I've almost sort of done it there by by accident You started to see me fold it so you fold that up you fold that up Robert's going to do it much better than I am <laughs> and it makes your pockets or all your advents So so around the outside add add your piping or you know um, and then you're backing and you're away to go so beautiful so this one is your santa on the roof the nice thing is about it you invest that time but you're going to get them out every year you can't you yes uh, it's not just for this year it's for every year isn't it every year you exactly can, um, bring them out uh, this year you make one for your first grandchild yes next year you make another one for the next grandchild or yeah, depending on how productive absolutely. they've been during the year. <laughs> well, um, actually, do you know what? Sometimes you can spend a good £10 on some of them, well, more, some, some, you know, and you think yeah. this is not going to get thrown away. And that, that's just you for know. a cardboard one. Exactly, Robert. In it. Yeah, we can fill one, these with treats and yeah. sweets and whatever, and, yeah. or healthy snacks, you know, well, whatever you're going he for. Healthy snacks. <laughs> Presents, uh, nice diamond earrings, you know, whatever. Uh, so, yes, just could put the hints out there. <sighs> you got it. Uh, so this is the... Santa on the roof. Now this is Santa and he's filling his sack with lots of presents. So there we go. This is Santa filling his sack. So again, a great one for the kids. Big kids yeah. like me love this as well. So uh, I'm not, not just saying this is, uh, I'm not going to be ageist. There he is filling the sack there with lots of presents ready for Christmas Eve. 042412. And again, if you're not understood what I'm talking about, the folding and the, and the sewing, it'll all become apparent in a moment with Robert. Okay, I'm going to move on because we've got quite a few of these and I want to show them all and get straight over to Robert. We've got five options. Now, this one we have got, um, and this is our three snowmen. So we've got festive here. I don't know if Molls can get a... Uh, she's got it. She's on it like a cow bonnet. Look at this one, you see. This is lots of fun. So what you've got is you've got your calendar and then below you've got the corresponding pockets to sew over. So obviously that you can get in the pockets and then you just need your backing and whatever else, however else you want to trim it with. So isn't that beautiful? I just love the colours on this one. I think it's gorgeous, it's Robert. It's just uh, kiddie colours. Kiddie colours. Uh, Maybe that's me, a big kid. Love it. They're just fun, lovely robins and reindeers and woolly hats and snowmen. It's beautiful. And as you can see, finish is beautiful. The next one is the house. OK, so this is a, a little bit more, shall we say, oh, I don't want to say adult-like, traditional, shall we say, yeah. A little bit more sophisticated like our moles. I'm a director, yeah, definitely. Look at that, the traditional red door. Yeah. Basically, the picture that uh, the, uh, 
the viewers can see just now. That is the actual picture. Uh, and the pockets go over all the windows and the door. Uh, and the, that is like the finished article. That's beautiful. Yeah. We imagine the sash windows. It's like yeah. the house where Peter Pan goes through the window to find Win Wendy. That's, we all want to live in this house, Robert. Yeah, that's lovely. Isn't it's it just... gorgeous? That's your proper traditional Christmas. It's just gorgeous, isn't it? Eleven ninety nine. Yeah, and what Lottie, my, my producer, loves. No neighbours. She loves it. No neighbours. Yeah, and Santa's up there in the sky on his sleigh. So that's beautiful. That is the... Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this next one, we've got this one now. This is, I'm just going to lay this out. This is called Scandi Red, and you're going to love this. They're all beautiful. I'll tell you what you're going to find difficult today, choosing the one you want to go for. So have a look at it there, but I'm going to just reach to my side because Robert's brought us a finished. This one's been quilted. It's got gems on. Um, isn't that fantastic? So you've sewn around the, the pockets there, little gems, there's details there, but how beautiful does that look? Isn't that gorgeous? Eleven ninety nine. So this is my Scandi yeah. red. And it's also been quilted around the deer, around the, the Oh antlers. yes, sewn uh, around. Not, not over the pockets. Yeah. Uh, we've put an Audrey sequins in and it's also been finished with a binding as well. Beautiful binding, yeah. yeah. And a lovely, you know, if you've got uh, some lovely material, yeah. fantastic. That is absolutely gorgeous. Get your northern lights. You remember I said earlier that the, the lovely uh, half meters we've got as well. Um, then we have got it in the grey. Yeah, Scandi grey. Have I got one of those? No, we no. don't have a finish. Not to worry. Not to worry. I don't know how you fitted it all in, quite frankly, to travel down here, Robert, because we've only got this hour with you. But this is exactly yeah. the same in the Scandi grey. 11.99, 100% cotton, 706.314. And the final option is our modern option. So let me hold this one out for you as well. See, I told you there was gorgeous choice, didn't I, everybody? I'm still loving the nativity, but we'll get to that. Um, here we go. Look at that. Isn't that I love those colours. That's very modern, that one. Yeah, it's, it's, very uh, fresh. It's just different, uh, different tastes. Yeah, absolutely. But that's what's so brilliant. There's something yeah. for everybody in there, this show, there Robert, isn't there? Is, yeah. There really is. Uh, 11.99, that's your modern 706.314. Now, next we've got the stocking option on a different item number for our advent calendar. Have we got one? Yes, we have. Yes, we've we've got, got to finish one. one of these hanging up. The lovely Matt has done that for me. Now, this is the one warm in your cockles, your half by the fire there. Look at those stockings crammed full of toys and candy canes and teddies, waiting for those little excited faces to come down in the morning. Yeah, and you've left out the brandy and you've half inched the mince pie and you've eaten a bit of the carrot and muddy footprints in the kitchen or wherever the, wherever the fire is. Yeah, there we go. That's gorgeous, isn't it? Isn't that beautiful? So that's our... <laughs> That's what was that called again, darling? The stocking, stocking option. Okay, so there's our advents. Then we've got Santa's face. Now Santa, he's 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 here yeah, behind me. Did you see him here? Yeah. So now you can make more of these. Robert's explaining to me now that there's a sort because of, you can actually sort of you could actually sort of quilt these. You know, make them sort of more 3D. Does that make sense? Sort of with a little bit of padding, a little bit firmer, so that a when a they wee, sit in the pockets, bit, a wee bit more wooden. Yeah, uh, some so that they'll. Fabric. They'll sit uh, like your mini snowman I've, did in the pocket yeah, and stuff. I've just used a, a heavyweight violin. Just, just for just show us for the example. Show. Yeah, and you've got all these lovely... Yeah. So, you, for instance, you'd cut around the... You've got all these lovely little figurines that sit within his massive magic beard. 1799 uh, 052060. If you then, follow the instructions on it, yeah. it tells you to lay the fabrics and cut it down. So, you actually... Sh I'll just pop over you can actually see some of the wadden sticking out yeah and that that gives the effect say uh, it's made of snow ah. or, or it's the, the the hair of the beard as well just fluffy and yeah. bursting out yeah. yeah beautiful again a lovely thing yeah. to have on the wall but you time after time here again you could embellish it i i, I might uh, go and put a sort of fluffy mustache on them oh yeah i like uh, that idea build it up a little put, bit maybe a little button nose down. or something some bells on it on, on the hat on the hat yeah. yes yeah you yeah. can actually bring it to life even more with the you know embellishments and what have yeah. you so yeah gorgeous so there's our santa then i believe we've had snowman ben on the show before so this is snowman ben now he's right over there by robert but uh, robert you were explaining to me that we can build up on the arm can't we a yes, snowman you can snap. actually build up on the arm yeah um, 
Because there's extra Sorry. bits on the panel we've itself. Actually, um, got, got uh, the arm and the, the mitt, and that can actually be put on there. Then there is another mitt to go here, and you could put there's an extra piece for the brim of the hat and the carrot. I've just not had uh, the carrot we can see it. here. Yeah, got the holly yeah. leaves there. And you sort of build it up. I mean, even, I love the way you've even got, you know, because that's how it should look. You give us the image on the panel of how it should look. But then you can use that on something else, can't you? Another motif on something else. So uh, nothing is wasted there. That's a massive panel, but so attractive. Seventeen ninety nine for the snowman, Ben. And then I've got Sir Snowman Sam. Yeah, I've got his mates, sort of Snowman Sam. Uh, let's hold him out. So again, you can, you know, build them up, create, add those embellishments. It's almost, it's almost like the... Um, what was I saying? Oh, the mat and layering. Uh, when you, yeah. yeah. Decoupaging, that's what I was yeah. trying to think of. Yeah, there he is there. He's got his carrot nose there. He's got snow cones to sell. You, like you said, you've yeah. had some textured yeah. material. And on, on the snow cones, you could actually make it up with, make some pom-poms with sparkly wool. Yeah. <coughs> oh, that'd be lovely. And uh, put it there. And uh, you could also cut uh, some polystyrene balls to make yes. snow, snowballs at the, yeah. the bottom of the, the panel. Fantastic. Yeah. Pom-poms, anything, just yeah. to, you know, on, 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 on his belly and all sorts there. Seventeen ninety nine. Snowman Sam, 937581. Now, we are getting there, and then I'll be straight back to Robert. I have got some more uh, advents. I, I want to show you um, a few more of these. This is the advent. So this was my... Uh, Birchwood. Birchwood. So we've got this as the finished one. So again, you get the panel there to sew. Is this a fold one, the birch one? This, this is a fold-up, fold which up Rob's going to show yeah. us in a moment. So this one's Birchwood, the quilt of Birch Trees Advent Palette, of 1599-392-847. This one is my nativity tradition. This is my favourite. This is one of Robert's best-selling. And I thought, oh, I could do this. Because, again, this is to fold over, uh, which Robert's going to show us. This is an absolute best-seller, 1599. And, again, you just need your backing, uh, your binding at the sides or however else you wish to embellish. 242796, I just love that. And then you can pop in there. Because you don't need to be enough buying them every year. You just wash that, come out beautiful next year, get it out again. And I absolutely adore that. My next one. Uh, the deer? The deer. It's yes. just called the deer. Marvellous. I can cope yeah. with that. Uh, lovely traditional deer there. And I love that, uh, that, that, that red and green with the gold tartan in the background. That is beautiful. 1599, that's the quilted deer advent calendar. 711243. And Santa's sleigh, bright and beautiful. The younger members there. All the traditional colours, all the traditional images there. Candles, presents, bears, bells, lollipops, elves. Christmas pudding. Love that, that's it. That's also a fold up one as well. That's a fold yeah. up. Good. Lovely. I like that. Thirteen ninety nine. Not that these are hard. It's just simple for me. You know where I am on my sewing journey. Five three eight one five zero. That's limited now, Robert, already. Limited on that one. Right. Yeah. People are shopping ahead. Right. And then I've also got this beautiful panel, which uh, Robert's made into a sort of a, a sort of a smaller quilt. This is it's cat, not catitude, was it? Uh, it's, oh, it's uh, called Christmas catitude. Cats. Christmas cats. Uh, it's of the same family as catitude. So basically, this is the panel you're getting. Everything you see within the goals. So it's got the red and it's got these six cats but then obviously they've added the gold yeah. and the green around the outside but as a panel how striking is that absolutely beautiful if you're thinking of making like a little quilt or um, a feature there isn't that beautiful so that is the Catitude fabric panel, 1499 I've got another one just to show you as well. Please don't miss out on some of these because uh, although there's a lot of variety, for some there isn't a huge amount of quantity. Now this one is, oh, this is, I had this on my Christmas quiz. What did you get on the eighth day of Christmas? Thank you, Moll. She was listening. The eight maids are milking. Yeah, we'll never forget the song on this. This is fantastic. The 12 days of Christmas. Uh, six rows, 100 by 110. Lovely. You'll never ever forget it, will you? Partridge in a pear tree. 14.99, Right, Robert. Well, that was no. mighty. It's no, taken no. me 20 minutes to show yeah, everybody that. Um, we must have uh, lost the, the metallic 12 days of Christmas there. Yeah, what have I missed? What have I missed? No, no, we, we did oh. have a sample. Oh, I see, this okay. maybe went astray. Oh, okay. Well, I was going to say over to you now, anyway. Right. Okay, we'll start off with the, the traditional uh, stable scene. 
fold up calendar. Uh, basically, it gives you the, the instructions uh, along the side. If you read the instructions twice before you start cutting, I, I tend to make it up. Uh, you could cut down the side here, but the first time I cut it, I cut the fold lines off. So now I, I leave all of the sort of bits that don't really matter too much on. It's marked as fold there, so you, fold, you, you pinch it there, pinch it there, and you take it up, and you give it an iron. Basically, like that. Make, make sure you line up the... Just give it, give it a wee iron. Uh, just along there. And ju just make sure that when you're um, pinning, that the top gold line is in line with the, the bottom line. Just, get, just pin it through. Like that. I've actually cheated a wee bit on this because to make things a wee bit simpler. Um, I have pre pre ironed some of the seams, especially when it's live TV. Um, things do go wrong, and if you can sort of prepare a wee bit in front, it, it does help. And there's a tip on one of the programs the other day. Um, if, when you're pinning, change the direction of your pin, and if if the fabric and your pins were all in the same direction, it w could move back and forward. But if you put a pin in the opposite way, it just stops that. So I've, I've done the next two rows. But we'll just go on to the, the last row and let you see how it's done. It's got two fold lines. The first fold line is basically the bottom of your pocket. So you go to the next fold, fold that up. As you fold that up, the bottom of your pocket will uh, fall into place. Just w once you get it um, lined up, just make sure that this fold is flat before you start pinning. And, and again. But if you follow the instructions, uh, they're really quite clear. Excuse <coughs> me. There we go. Just a couple of more pins. Just, just take your time. Make sure that um, you get it all pinned up. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. And once you get it done like that, uh, I, I find once I get to this stage. If you sew it from the top down the way, I'll just turn that over so you can see what I'm talking about. If you, f you sew it from the top, these uh, folds will be running with the machine. But if you were fold uh, sewing from the bottom up, you would have a tendency to bend these up and it, it would it's something you, you sort of learn with, with practice. <laughs> but then you just decide where you're going to um, So I, I tend to start just at the top, give it a wee uh, double stitch back. I've just lost my uh, reversed it. I've actually got a cream thread in. Basically, just to show you. Um, where I'm stitching on it. Uh, I'm stitching just about quarter of an inch away from my, my original gold line. Uh, and you'll see why in a minute. Uh, 
just just when you come to the next one, just make sure that you you're in line. And then when you come just there, we just stop it, give it a reverse stitch, just back. And then, then you just go back up to the top again. Uh, this time, you're actually going to come through the the middle of the two squares, and that that's going to the, the coming in through the middle of the two squares. That's going to be equal to half that line at the end there. And basically, you just start again. Give it. A, I tend to just give it a wee reverse stitch at the top. Just watch uh, when you're sewing it that uh, nothing moves. See how it goes. Your first line, your second line, and we just keep carrying all over. Yeah. Once you've done one, uh, it, it, it comes quite natural how how, how they're made up. Yeah, because you've got it in position then, haven't you? And yeah, if I show sure. everybody this, Robert, it, it's explaining exactly what you're doing. So I'm just going to show everybody the reverse. I know you're using white thread on the red there, so we can see. But you've used beautiful red on the on this, uh, so that yes, we don't I, see it. it was, um, but you can see there well, what Robert's explaining about the vertical lines. I was all set up to do the first uh, demo there, Ben. <laughs> and then... Uh, that's OK. That's all right, but you threads, can see on the front of it's it, the red. It you won't gives, see... Uh, the viewers a chance to see what where I'm sewing. Yeah. Because if I was using a red thread. Exactly. I know it, it might not uh, look uh, professional. Well, unless you want to do the contrast on purpose, then it's completely up to you. But yeah. um, I just mentioned it because uh, I could see the sewing perfectly on the back of this one that you've explained. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And uh, I think possibly that that one we did. Um, same as this, uh, we layered it up, put, put a wadden underneath their back in, yeah. and then, then I layered it up right. before I, I sewed the pockets. Um, oh, right, so I, you put your I wadding on like, and layered it up like first. That, yeah. Had it all pinned, yeah. and then put my backing down, my wadding, then my top, uh -huh. and then I would, I would pin this, pin all three together. Yeah. Then I would sew, and that's how it would come out in the back. I see, yes, and, yeah. And then I would trim off up around the sides and put a binding on. Lovely binding, which, yeah. Uh, the, 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 that one was done in London for my, my daughter. She stays in London. She's actually sitting in the green room. Oh, uh, we saw her this morning. I yes, didn't realise uh, it was your daughter. Yeah, yes, I waved she, hello, yeah. She's actually, she couldn't get a, a, a seat booked in the train. Uh, because the timetables aren't permanent just now. No. She says, oh, Dad, that's good, you're coming down to Peterborough. Uh, Can I'll you give me a lift back? <laughs> I'll get a lift home. <laughs> and it just so happens, in a fortnight's time, when she's going back home, I'm back here. Ah, <laughs> so she's, it's, it's, she's it's, very wily, your daughter, isn't yes, she? She's uh, worked this one out very well. I did say, yeah, this is, you, can, you could sit there and sew for me while I, I do a bit of the demonstration. She, ah, there's no what, way I'm going with TV. What's your daughter's name? I didn't catch uh, Claire. Claire. Yeah. Are you sewing Claire there in the green room? I do hope so. I love uh, the way you know, pushes to work, to a task straight away. 
And then uh, mum normally, she, 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 she normally watches, but I think uh, she's getting a double glazed window put in today. Oh, busy doing other things, yeah. yeah. I'm getting mine done, uh, put, I'm getting the whole house done on Wednesday. Oh, very busy. Well, we've only, this is why we've only got this hour with Robert, is well, too much uh, DIY to do at home. <laughs> Well, the windows were booked in uh, before lockdown. Oh. <laughs> well, it's, uh, it's one of those jobs, isn't it? It's a big yeah. job, but yeah, when it comes along, but really it's important. a lot better uh, doing a, a live demo than trying to do a video. <laughs> because you're, you're sitting uh, at home concentrating, you've got the camera all set up. Yeah, and there's no uh, window. There's nobody there, nobody to speak to, no <laughs> presenter to pr uh, prompt you. And, and you're sitting there, doing away, and you're forgetting. You're supposed to be talking to the the, the viewers. Because you're getting grossed in what time. you're doing, don't you? Yeah. yeah. So it took two or three takes before I did get it, but I wasn't technically minded. <laughs> There's so much that I think during this the lockdown we've all all had to learn and adapt to different ways. Yeah, absolutely. Ways. Yeah, and the technicalities of videos and zooms and you know well, group meetings and zoom still. It's a bad word for me. Is it? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, do you have nightmares about Zooms? Oh, my I, goodness. I, I, I wouldn't know where it started. It. It's one of those things, though, once you've done it, and then you know. Yeah, you, I you, do you know what I mean? We're all a bit like that about it. It was the course. same the first time we had to do videos. Well, well, I had to go out and get a video camera to start off with. Uh, we, we, did, we did get one or two videos, but then you're never too sure how things are going to go. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. And I had a super picture on, on one video, but the sound was rubbish. Oh. So. You just can't tell until you play no. it back. So there we go. That, that's Look it. how quickly that's come together. Yeah. And you just take, take your pins out and your pockets are there. Fantastic. Yeah. That's how easy it is. That's why I absolutely love these Advent, palen, advent fabric panels. Um, this is the traditional uh, stable Advent one. My, my favourite. I'm no one else supposed to have favourites, but I love and it. And then, oh, uh, you just trim up the side. Uh, you, can, you could either pay, put your wooden on uh, and then a piece of backing fabric face to face, mm -hmm. sew around about it. Yep. Uh, there is one calendar I can't mind. If I can find it, we'll uh, come back to it. Uh, yes, it's the... the grey uh, one. The deer. Oh, the deer, yeah. If you've got the finished deer panel there. Yeah. Uh, With the lovely can, check that you've got. If you throw it over. Just I'm not allowed to, Robert. You're not, you're no, not you tell me no, it. no, because right. I've touched it. I've had, you know. Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry. If you turn it up on the bottom there. Okay. Right to there. Yeah. You'll see three pins in it. Yes. Well, yes. That, that is a gap That's, that yeah. I've left when I sew from there yeah. right round. Ah, we've gone so all the right, way around. Right round to there. Leave a gap. Turn it inside turn out. Turn it out inside out. Yeah. And it's another out. option yeah. if you don't want to do your binding. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you, Robert. Thank you. I also right. want to mention some brilliant embroidery threads while we were talking about threads. Um, we've got a brilliant seven-day saver on our Madeira threads, which are brilliant quality. And uh, lots of lovely... Look at those Christmas colours. Fantastic. 200 metres on each of those. 14 99 at the moment. One of the brand-new seven-day savers, uh, seven savers launched yesterday. Maybe add them to your order to make it a £30 spend if you've got that credit that you used yesterday or one got yesterday because you bought with us and get that credit spent. And, of course, if you're buying in this hour, you get another credit as well to spend tomorrow because it closes, uh, finishes at 6 p.m. tomorrow. But, of course, you're... you're, uh, you're yeah, but you can still use it ready for tomorrow, yeah. So uh, 14 99 for those. Brilliant. Uh, 169018. Shall we have a recap on the advents? Um, oh, here. Yeah. Festive. So this was the, the lovely one that's hanging out. Our three snowmen, uh, our festive panel there. Lots of lovely, bright, vivid colours there. And again, you can see that the pockets are, on, are at the bottom there, and they correspond with the ones on the top. Um, beautiful. And again, as Rob explained, you know, all the instructions are there at the bottom. Nice and simple. But you can embellish as much as you like. Add, add those lovely little bells yeah. and trinkets. On, on that one too. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't matter which one it is. Even the, the, the one I've got here in the stable. Uh, go, go around the framework uh, with your thread, mm -hmm. with your machine. Uh, maybe uh, on, on the gold line, the two gold lines. And that just gives it a wee bit of relief. 
you could go up up around the stable, over the roof. Uh, and the ribbon quilting. Uh, yeah. And it just... Uh, Makes it pop a bit more. Yes. Yeah, gives it that depth, it doesn't it? It gives it a wee bit, yeah, quilt and a, a wee bit feeling. Lovely. Yeah. And then this is the house that we all want to live in. We all want to live in this beautiful... It's like, it's like a... So like a doll's house, isn't it? It's so beautiful. More of a traditional advent calendar there. 1199, 706. This one's called, what's this one called? The house, house? Uh, there we go, 706314. Next one is the Scandi Red, which I have a lovely finished one for you. Uh, put it over here, there we go. Beautiful, Scandi Red. And we've got this in the gray as well. So think of this in your gray so as well. So Scandi Red or Scandi Gray. And last but not least, we have this one. And this will be the last of the choices out of those five. And this is modern. So different shapes and sizes, modern images there, bright colours there, really, really beautiful. So either any of those, 1199 706 uh, Next up to where I am, we've got the Christmas stockings one. And again, yeah, this one's on the wall there, really pretty, bright and fun. All, it's all, the, all, the, all of Santa's toy box there, really, really beautiful. Um, four stockings, they're twelve ninety nine. limited on that one, just so you know, 366314, proving very popular, that one. And then we've got Santa's face, which you saw to my right. You can actually create these, make them more padded, you know. They've got little images there. I mean, uh, that's, ju that's just, just to show you the image there, but you can actually sort of, you know, pad them out, cut them out, make them a little bit more 3D so they sit in there like, yeah. Like, so they've got a bit of sturdy weight to them. A bit like our little snowman in our snowman panel, you know? So there's a bit more, a bit more to them so that they sit in. So you can do that, of course, gorgeous Santa's face and create, as uh, Robert said, maybe a button nose and a few whiskers, a bit of texture on there as well. Fluff up that beard, 1799 This is uh, Snowman Ben. And again, you can, these are almost like you decoupage them up a little bit, as Robert was explaining, because you've got the extra hand and two mitts there, you've got the carrot nose, you've got the leaves, and I love the fact that you, you can use that image there in the corner, which is just an example of how it looks when it's finished. So very, very striking. This was the one just behind Robert there. And then we've got Snowman's partner, Snowman Sam. So there's the sort of blues, and then this one's more of the reds with Snowman Sam. And again, equally as beautiful. Lots of fun with those. Very, very striking, aren't they? And again, you could texturise those snowballs, as Robert said, make it, you know, really stand out and lots of fun there. Gorgeous. Okie dokes. Nine, three, seven, five, eight, one. Um, the, so we've done the Scandi, the, we have the, the Nativity, the stable that uh, Robert's just been showing us. That was another option, that's the stable. We have the deer, which was this one that Robert was explaining, you know, about just turning it inside out if you don't want to do the, 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 the binding. So sorry, that was the stable one there. This is the deer, equally as beautiful, 711243. Shop ahead on the web and you'll see all the different code numbers. Then we've got the, the, the was it the birch? The, Birchwood. 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 Trees. Birch trees there, yeah. yes. No, recognised from the white and the grey there. The, yeah, the birch trees. 1599, 392, 847. And then we've also got Santa's sleigh. Now, this was proven very popular. Bright, bold, primary colours. Oh, it's gone. Is that gone? Sold out. Sorry. I'll put that one away. Right. And then we've got the Catitude panel as well, so this has been made into a beautiful quilt. Nearly two-thirds of the stock has gone on that one. So that's that massive panel in the middle with the red, so those six cats there. If you want to separate them up, of course you can, but the green and the gold is the extra embellishment there as well. 1499 for our Catitude panel. Other busy pieces we've had on the show is our lovely big polar bears right behind me here. Yeah, not surprised nearly half the stock has gone because he's gorgeous. It's just that right length of those sort of those areas of the house that I always think they're sort of like dead areas sometimes. It's just an expansive wall. And 999, big saving on that one. Brilliant. Uh, 137733. Next up, we got the Northern Lights. Ah, now these are exclusive to, to Robert. You can't get these anywhere. I mean, you could use these on the back, couldn't you? They're too pretty to be on the back. Um, the Northern Lights, we've got four options. So this is your red. The blue is a bright pop of blue. And if you want that cut to a metre, you know, you can have it as continuous, so just buy two for 9 99 each. That's the red on the grey, has that little lovely bit of green in there. And then the blue on the grey as well, so these are exclusive, exclusive, not sold anywhere else. 
uh, 999-738072. And uh, like Robert said, they can be cut for you on a continuous roll if you want more than half a metre of each of those. Robert, I'm going to hand mm -hmm. back to you. OK, so we'll go back to the festive one now. So basically, when you open it up... Yes, it, it so comes... this is one with the pockets at the bottom, so slightly yes, different, uh, yeah? It gives you the pockets at the bottom here. Uh, I've actually got mine upside down for the, the monitor. Uh, we'll soon sort that. It gives you the pockets. Uh, if you, there again, when you read the instructions, the instructions are given. Uh, there's a wee diagram on how to fold as well. we'll we're going to cover that through in the demonstration. But then, uh, on the pockets, you only cut a solid line. It, it's a date proof. It gives you a wee pair of scissors so you know where to cut. You leave the dotted lines and the dotted lines, it'll come quite clear in a minute. So uh, we'll just do that. Put that down there in a minute. Do you know what I love about this one, Robert? It's Santa at the top. He looks absolutely ecstatic with himself. Yes. Sir. He's got a he's got a present so, in either hand. So, and he just looks so happy. I just love him. Yeah. Look what I've got for you guys. Yeah. He's fantastic. So wh when when you cut the strip off, yeah, uh, I've actually cheated on this one a wee bit. I've actually just folded it over on the top to, to the edge of the picture, uh, given it a wee press, and give, uh, top stitched it along the, with the machine. Then you, you turn it round up, uh, upside down. And you just come to the bottom of the picture as well. The, the, there's a gold line runs along the, the edge of the picture there. So see? that's our guideline for where we press yeah. it, yeah. So basically, you just press it there. I found uh, I do have a big IMF line there as well, but this nice, this wee prim iron is quite good. It just saves the fingers getting. Burn. And also, when when you're doing this, have your iron just a dry iron, yeah. because you because if you you're running your finger just in front of the the iron, and it gives out a shot of steam, your poor finger gets burnt. So, so basically, that, that that's what you're going to end up with, right? A strip like that. Then, <coughs> excuse me. Then on the end, <coughs> you just turn that over. Although you top stitched the top of the pocket, leave the bottom unstitched. Oh, okay. Just, just press it over just now. And just do it that way. <coughs> Excuse me. Then you take from the gold line to your dotted line. Like so, and just give it a wee press. And then do the same on the other side. And then if you take the main panel where the instructions are, there, th there is the finished box plate that you actually want to try and, and achieve. Like so. I don't know if the camera can actually pick that up. So that will align with, the, yeah, that will align with the image yeah. then on the actual top of the panel. Yeah. It's basically like that, like that. The pocket, yes, don't you? Yeah. So, once you get the, your first strip done, mm. it does come a wee bit natural. Well, that's the beauty of it. Because it's in strips, you're not doing 24 individual ones, are you? No. You're just doing four strips. That's fantastic. I, I tend to sort of go along the strip. I don't think my arm's just hot enough today. Um, you 
there. And then one more on the end. And then I tend to just turn it around and do, go from the other end. And that just brings my plates back in. I think we've only got another one, two to go. But if you just use the point of the iron just to run along your that line. Yeah. Just Once you've ironed it, Robert, can, can, can you just sort of pin that? Yes. So, well, yeah. You're, you're jumping this. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> no, sorry. It's okay. I'm, to, just, I'm worried uh, about your fingers and the iron. No, you... no, it's all right. <laughs> we'll just uh, throw that, that down this side. It's just, uh, this is one. We've actually, I've actually done three rows on it already, but you take take your row, the corresponding row, uh, match it up, lay it on, take your the dotted line mm -hmm. on top of the, the gold line that's on the, the actual piece of fabric, and we'll just put a wee pin in there. We could, at one point later on, that's actually going to be the line you're going to stitch through, uh, stitch up. But then you just come and you set the the gold line that's on there. Just make sure your wee corner tails are tucked in as well. It just takes a wee, that's a wee bit fiddly, but it's, it's well worth it. Yeah, because you want you want to get it all aligned up nice. Yeah. Nicely with the other images. Take that. And uh, when, uh, when you have ironed it and all your folds, it should just basically f fall into place. Don't be afraid to use plenty of pins because at the end of the day, uh, the more pins you use, the harder it's going to slip. And basically, the, here's Once you get it all pinned, yeah, I'm a wee bit conscious. We've probably got about four minutes left, Robert. Minutes. Just so that you right. know, what we'll do is we'll just once you get it pinned like that, yeah, uh, you, you sew on top with a top stitch down down yeah. the side, along the bottom, along there, and up, and then once you get that done, these are pinned. So you just ease that out and, and you sew up the black dotted line. Simple enough, yeah. And that... that holds the pockets in place. That, that holds the pockets in place. It gives you a nice pocket. Sometimes, it's pref uh, preference, your own choice. Some people would take a, a needle and just go through that corner into the next corner. So when you put your, your present in, it doesn't splay out. You see that? Oh, right, so okay. it just keeps it ni nice and neat. Yeah. Uh, there's no gap. Yeah. yeah. Lovely. Thank you very and much. Fantastic. It. Yeah. But if you follow the instructions, you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. Fantastic. Right. Uh, shall we have a quick recap and see that finished product there? That was uh, the three snowman there. Absolutely gorgeous. This is the one Robert's been working on. So as you can see, there's four of those panels across to sew. Uh, which is great because you're not sewing four, you know, 24 individual pockets. So mm. nice and accessible, 11.99706314. But of course, you have others to choose from, such as the festive house, such as the stable, uh, birchwood, and uh, the deer, uh, and uh, scandy, scandy red, and um, scandy grey as well. Yeah. Where would you like me with the last few minutes to recap? What would you like me to recap on? Just so where I was. So. Let's have a look at those other options under this item number. 
So let me pop that one back. Okay, so that's one Robert was working on. So that's the festive one we've just done. Then we've got the beautiful house, which I think would look absolutely gorgeous in anyone's house. Stunning. Your picture postcard, isn't it? Yeah, 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 it'd be Christmas perfect, that one there. So that's your festive house. Then we've got the Scandi Red. So that's the Scandi Red, the finished one there. But Robert's also brought us the, uh, the grey, as you can see, which is equally as beautiful, beautiful. And then last but not least, the modern. Yeah, so they're all under the same item number there. 706314. And you'll be getting that one out every year or do one each for the grandkids or the children or one for yourself, quite frankly. That's all I was thinking. Never mind the kids. Uh, this was Catitude panel. Look, very busy on the panel for the Catitude. So that's these six lovely images. Um, what's been added is this gold and the, and the green, so you can see how you can take that out further. But that panel with the red, beautiful. So you could use them as six individual images there, but uh, gorgeous on, as a whole there. Fourteen ninety nine. Very busy on that. Limited three nine five zero one one. I can't believe we've run out of time there, Robert. I'm going to say a massive thank you. It's been lovely to work with you. I'm so sorry that it's ended so quickly. We were done. Uh, it's a, it's Do you know when you're in again? Yes, uh, well, two oh, weeks today. Great, lovely. Same, same time, same There place. we go, two weeks today. Yes. We'll put that one in the diary. That's fantastic. Yes, of course you are, because you're going to bring Claire back. Yes, I hope so. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I hope she's been not. sewing in that green room. I hope so. Yeah. Uh, fantastic. Thank you so much, Rob. Yeah, I look forward to that. Uh, can you give us a sneak preview as to what you're bringing? Yes, there's some lovely Scottish scenes coming. Oh, Scottish themes. Uh, it's, it's a Scottish theme. Uh, and we've still got some more Christmas that was stuck Great. in the boat. Lovely. It's now the dot, so uh, we've got that coming Thank in. you very much, Robert. Yeah. We'll look forward to it. So two weeks' time. Same time, we'll see you, Robert. Uh, let's see what else is coming up this afternoon. Thank you, Robert. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we're going to join the gorgeous Catherine and Pentart deck the hall. She has got some gorgeous project, that's all I'm saying. Then we will join John next door, festive frames for the last chance. And then a La Blanche festive one day special launch. Can't wait. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations as a company launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. Their products range from stamps that coordinate with dyes that then coordinate with a paper pad. But then we also have storage folders, we have decorative dies, we have colouring daubers, we have Insta albums. One of the products that really make Heartfelt unique are their flower shaping moulds, where you can make easy, quick, three-dimensional flowers, which are absolutely stunning. So I hope you can join Heartfelt Creations here on the Chanda. Hi, I'm Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp Limited. We're well known in the industry for designing and manufacturing top quality award-winning craft products. As with all craft projects, you need a good starting place, a great stamp, a top quality stencil, and in recent times, we've developed the Groovy Parchment Art System so that your line art is perfect on parchment. Another exciting development to come from the marriage between Parchment and our stamp company is the fabulous designer papers and now the designer parchment. There is nothing like it. Each groovy plate is precision etched and by simply getting in the groove with a stylus you can easily transfer great designs onto parchment. Groovy is a modular system. The plates complement each other and work beautifully together. They are packed with elements and allow you to build your own original artwork. Whether you're a novice or a traditional parcher, you will love these plates. And for me personally, having beautiful line art is what motivated me to want to learn traditional parchment skills. So why not get in the groove with us here on the channel?
Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family-run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high-quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaisercraft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Working with the Chandler is fantastic for us. It gives us the opportunity to bring all of these brands and all of these products from all over the world direct to you, the crafter in the UK. Our products include stamps, dyes, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. So please don't miss Oakwood Archer Shows on a Chandler. Hi, I'm Matthew Palmer, professional artist with the SAA, the UK's largest and friendliest art community. The SAA exists to inform, encourage and inspire all who want to paint, and that's exactly what you'll learn to do with me as your teacher. As a self-taught artist of 30 years ago, I know the challenges of a white piece of paper and learning how to paint. But with me, Achanda and the SAA, I'll show you how easy watercolour painting really is. I'm here on a Chandu because I want to show you my watercolour painting techniques and I want to get you over that white paper fear and get you started and develop your watercolour painting. So whether you're a beginner or an advanced artist, I've got some fantastic watercolour techniques that will get you started and take you even further on your watercolour journey. So join me, Matthew Palmer, for my shows on a Chandu. Wonderful to have your company this afternoon. Do you know, I'm in for a real treat this hour because it's just me. So I'm in for a treat, but you're not, unfortunately. Never mind. Um, I get to work with Pentart. <laughs> That's what I get to work with. Really excited about this. I had Viva Decor the other day, and now Pentart. Doesn't get much better than that, does it? Right, we've got some amazing bundles. It is all about Christmas, of course, and we are a missed our event as well. So, of course, if you've got that voucher to spend, or if you're buying and you're getting that voucher, you can spend that tomorrow. You're spending over £30 as well. You can shop ahead on the website as well. We've got lots of wonderful goodies for you. Oh, already I'm just hearing some of the individuals are already selling out before the hour. I'm just going to say this now as well because I think you already know that La Blanche are here to launch a one day special today. I have seen the set. Now I know Blanche loves Pentart. So uh, I would be filling those baskets while you've got the opportunity if you can. Now we're going to have some fun this hour as well because I haven't had time to, to prep as such but I'm really looking forward to this hour simply because I get to play and we're going to do all sorts of different things. Right, let's have a look at the first bundle. A really nice bundle because what you've got here is the ultimate Christmas bauble making kit. Now you do get polystyrene balls. These are not just for Christmas, you know. I'm going to do something with these. I don't know if it's going to be this hour or the seven o'clock hour, but we'll do something with those. Um, we've got all sorts in here, actually. You do have your crackle medium in here as well. It is a two-part medium, so you can give that vintage look. I mean, that's going to go onto all sorts of surfaces as well. You've got your primer paste here, so basically that's a white gesso, but a really good quality gesso. I've got to tell you, I've had a little dabble with these paints. I have fallen in love with these. These are absolutely beautiful. These are your delicate acrylic paints. Now, it ha does have, it says on there metallic, and it is a metallic finish, but it's kind of a satin finish at the same time as well. Wait until you see that, it's gorgeous. Then we have here, we've got uh, the medium for you here, the decoupage varnish. Obviously, you can apply your decoupage papers with that or your rice papers as well, and then varnish over the top. It is a varnish and glue together. Moving back down to the, oh, I better just mention the decoupage while we're here that is a rice paper actually so of course you're going to use that glue for that that would be lovely on your plates and things wouldn't it for your home decor or maybe onto your gift boxes that sort of thing all sorts of uses for your rice paper maybe just a little bit of furniture if you've got an odd piece of furniture just a small thing that you want to bring out at christmas maybe an occasional table it would work on there now we've got some antiquing paste there as well which is very very useful especially if you like that antique look we've got a glossy varnish in here as well and finally, 
we have the contour. Now this is a gold, so it is a metallic, and you've got a very, very fine nozzle there, and it will work like a relief, so it will give you that raised effect. Lots of things you can do with that as well. Really great bundle here for the whole lot. You're saving eight pounds. Now individually, your crackle varnish, and it is a two-part system, that would be seven ninety-nine. So basically, you're getting that for free if you're going for the bundle, and that's going to go a long way as well. Hopefully we'll get to see that during one of the shows as well. Item number there is on the screen, 898572. As I say, that £8 saving this, so a really, really good buy. Let's move down, though, because we've got more in the way of Christmas baubles. Actually, does it have to be a Christmas bauble? You could put all sorts into these. We have got the traditional bauble shape, I suppose, there. So you can see they are nicely rounded and domed. Now, you do get the insert into these, so you get the plate that goes in the centre. So if you wanted to put something like a photograph or a clay figure or something like that, or maybe some of John's um, wonderful poinsettias, they would work. You've got your transparent drops in here as well. Again, you get that centre plate, so you can split these into two and put, put little treats in if you wanted to. You could put jewellery in there and hang them on the tree. Now we've got some pouring glaze in this one, which is very useful indeed. You can use that for all sorts of purposes. These are nice as well because you've got your ice crystal pen and your snow crystal pen. Now it says pen because, again, you've got a nozzle, so you can squeeze these straight from the tube and do your finer work. Watch out for the pots that we've got coming up of this as well because great three stencils uh, for bringing out the detail. You have got a transparency to that, but you've got two different effects. One is the ice and one is the snow, so hopefully we'll get to see those as well so you can see the difference. Then we have the yellow and red pigment. Again, these can be used with all sorts of different mediums. We'll come back to those a little bit more through the show. And I love this. Now, I did have a little bit of a play just in the hour before, just to test this out. This is the mirror mist for plastic. Now watch out for one for glass as well, but you do need to make sure that if you wanted to work on glass, you have the appropriate one. For plastic, obviously in this bundle, it's great for those baubles, and we will be showing you that, or I will be showing you that. Seven pounds saving on this one as well. So another lovely saving for you. 29 pounds and 43 pence for the whole bundle. Lots of fun to be had there. 797911. Now we've got a mould bundle for you. Now, I've been working with resin, I've been working with clay, I've been working with all sorts of different mediums. This pot here does hold, this is like a casting powder, so like your plaster of Paris. I'm going to be do, using this in the demonstration as well. You do get a mould. Now, I, I would say, I'm going to be totally honest about this. For me, this, this has got sort of characters that are quite... Um, childlike maybe a little bit more whimsical so if you want a very traditional vintage Christmas use other things that you've got as well but very useful because of course these are going to fit inside those baubles if you want this sort of theme now it's a lovely plastic mold but it doesn't mean that it's difficult to get the plaster out of it you pour it in and they will pop out very very easily we've also got some paints in here for you as well so you can see those lovely colours there. These are matte acrylic paints. Again, you've got those fine nozzles as well, so you don't have to worry about squeezing too much out of the tube at once. In fact, you can do different effects. You can mix the colours together. Great for painting up those little characters. And then we do have a varnish included in this one. So, of course, if you want to protect your castings, you can. Because, obviously, plaster is going to be a porous surface, so you might want to protect that and give that varnish coat afterwards. £5 saving on this bundle, £20.42, pence. item number 003303. All the zeros and threes. Right, have you seen the Galaxy Flakes before? Well, we've got a whole... Oh, look at these. We've got all sorts to offer you. We've got uh, on the top row here, if you look at these first, we've got the darks. It's one item number, but you've got two different options here. At the bottom here, we've got the, the lights there for you, which is really, really nice. So we have a look at the individual bundles, actually. You can see those beautiful colours in the darks. You've got that mixture of colours there. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? These are really effective. So it's not a glitter. These are sort of plastic flakes. Um, they've, they've got that holographic finish, but you've got different size flakes. You can put this in with your pouring medium. You can use it in different ways. You could use it in your shaker cards as well. There's all sorts of reasons. You can mix this into your resin if you wanted to as well. All sorts of beautiful colours there. So you can see those on the top. Then at the bottom, of course, we've got the lights. And what I love about this one is you've got the white in there as well. I mean, that one is, it's got the greens in there. It's got the pinks really really pretty just using 
a small amount of this with your glues as well or your gel medium just to sort of add some interest in the background of something or to bring out a bit of uh, not glitter but that glistening effect really really effective great price here look at these 13.99 and you're getting five full pots they're going to go a long way 927-063 is the item number. Do you know, if we break it down, it works out at just £2.80 per pot. And I know, again, Blanche loves using the Galaxy Flakes. I've seen her use them a lot. Let's have a look at the next bundle. This is exciting, this next one. Now, I think this could be a popular one. If I was going for any of the bundles, I think I'd have to go for this one because you have got the mirror mist in here. Not only for the plastic, you've got the glass one in here as well. So very, very useful indeed. Do some great effects with those. You've got the 3D balls in here as well. Great for your mixed media. You can paint over those. You can gesso them. Oh, we've got some different item numbers for you, actually. The 3D balls are a separate item number. There we are. 133485. You also get the expand paste with those. There we are. So that's what you're getting for 12 99 really really good deal there i want I'd, I'd need all of these i'm sorry i've just i just want them all in my basket uh, you've got ice crystals and snow crystals here again so you can see you've got the pots there you've also got the rainbow paste and the ice effect there as well again great with your stencils you're going to get those holographic finishes these will go onto your glass and plastic as well it doesn't have to be on cardstock you're going to get different effects on your black and your white as well whether it's card or whether you've gessoed uh, so do bear that in mind but great on your transparencies as well so do think about adding to your glass your perspex your plastics and of course your acetate and did i say glass i think i did didn't i um, in fact, it goes on to all sorts of different surfaces there. Now, we do also have some more pouring medium here as well. There we are. The pouring glaze, a big pot, a very big pot. So if you've had this before and you like it, we can give this to you again. 230 milliliters, item number 481148, just 13.99. Well worth stocking up on that. Back in stock because we sold out before. And then finally, we've got some more paints for here. Now, these again come in the tubes with the nozzles, but we've got metallics here. We've got the beautiful colours. There's gold in there, there's copper, there's silver. That blue is just stunning. So these are all metallic. Beautiful. A really nice kit again. $13.99 for those. 243035. And then finally, this is an exciting bundle as well. We have got not one, but two pots of the plaster, plaster uh, powder there. So the casting powder, but not only that, look what else you're getting. Fibre paste always sells very, very well. Look at the price of that. $16.99 for the whole bundle. Wow. That is a lot. That's an awful lot for your money. 973-107 is the item number. Uh, take advantage while we've got the stocks. We are going to have a little bit of a play around with things. We'll give you a reminder of one or two other items as well. Now, perhaps you'd like to decorate something like an MDF sleigh. Let's have a look. Because we do get four of these for $14.99. It's one of our seven-day savers. There's lots of products, actually, that will work for decorating those sleighs. Uh, great price at £14.99. You're saving £15 there, 102826. Something else that's going to work beautifully with all the products today as well. Another seven day saver. We've got some LED lights for you. Now you get three warm white and you get three multicolored. Now they have got the cork tops, so these are great for your bottles. So you can drop the lights into your bottles. It looks like a cork at the top. That's where your little switches decorate your bottles with all the mediums we've got on today's show. And we've got something that looks amazing. 609465 is the item number. And then we've got a world of craft bundle for you. Got all sorts in this one. 50 die cut sheets. You've got vellum. You've got pearl butterflies. You've even got calendars in there as well. Not just calendars, they're 3D calendars. Saving £36, £22.99, and pence. item number 050886. Oh, those butterflies are pretty, aren't they? They'd look nice on invitations or something. Very nice indeed. Right, okay, shall we have playtime? What shall we start with? I'm going to start with, shall I start with the mirror mist? I'm going to start with the mirror mist. Now you do, obviously, you, you can go for the bundle where you've got the plastic and the glass. Um, there is another bundle, of course, that we've got the plastic in with the Christmas bauble making. So I'm going to use the plastic one first. In fact, let me just bring in... It doesn't matter whether it's the plastic or the glass one. You're going to treat the bottles in the same way when you open them. There are instructions in there as well. But you get your little bottle of Miramist. You take off the lid. 
and then you screw your cap onto the top. Make sure that's nicely secured. There is a ball bearing in there so you can hear that you're shaking that up because you do need to mix this and then it's just a case of spraying on. You've got that nice mist. Now I'm not going to use that one because I've already got one primed. So I'm just going to pop that back out of the way. I think we'll go with the, um, the round bauble for this one. I've got to use these now because John kindly found me some spare poinsettias and I thought these would look nice in the baubles. But let's go with the mirror mist. So I'm going with the plastic because obviously our baubles are plastic. I'm just going to give this another shake because it's a while since I've used it. Now there's different techniques that you can do. If you wanted an all over mirror finish then you can do that. You would build the layers up. So I'm just going to spray. Uh, but I will we'll take you through a, one or two other techniques as well. Let me just get my piece of card just so I'm not spraying all over the mat. Okay, so I'm just going to spritz in. Now what I've found with this, and I've only played with it for a short time, it does dry quite quickly, but if you wanted to do something like this bauble, although it sprays and you can build that up, I did sort of just turn it around simply because... I can get that to spread. Now it looks very grey at this stage. It doesn't look very exciting at all. You can take your heat gun to that. I'm not going to do that at the minute because I've got one that I prepared earlier. Now you don't have to coat the whole thing because you could add paints on the inside there as well so it shows through. You could put a gesso on the back of it so it gives you more of that silver effect. Um, it just works really, really well. Now once that is dry, then go again with another layer. I'm just going to put a little bit more in there and just give that another little bit of a swish around. As I say, you can use your heat gun and, and dry this off, but I quite like letting it dry on its own and watching it change. So it still looks very, very grey, but you can see, you can see the metallic effect in there as well. But what happens is when it dries, let me just get this dry one for you. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? It really does look like a mirror. So that is on the plastic. Now, on the inside, if I just turn it around, I've painted black gesso on the inside there because I was going to do something a little bit different. And then I decided, well, actually, I just like the mirror effect. I love it. But you can change it. I'm just going to pop that one to one side that I've been working on. I will come back to that in a little while. Um, let me see if I can find my... Oh, I thought I've got some sandpaper somewhere. Oh, there it is. I've got a sanding block. Because what you can also do... Hopefully I can still do this because I've put gesso on now. You can scratch away with sandpaper as well. So you can start to see some scratches. I don't know if it's picking it up on the camera. We'll see if we can get it. I really needed a, a piece of sandpaper rather than a sanding block. Can you see the scratches that are coming through? So if you wanted to give it more of a, a distressed look, you can go with your sandpaper, scratch away, and then I'm going to put another coat of paint on the inside there and hopefully that will show through. So I've not tested this out. This is the first time I've done it, but I'm going to work with my gold, I think. Let's go for the gold metallic. No, I'm going to go copper. So we've got some of the metallic paint here. So you can see that lovely fine nozzle. I'm just going to pop a little bit in there and just paint that on the inside. So I didn't really need the black gesso in there at all. It's just I was going to do one thing, then decided to go with something else. So I've scratched most of that away anyway. Now you could go with more than one layer of the paint, but it depends on the effect you're looking for. Hopefully you can see this. Is it showing on the camera? You can just start to see the copper coming through. So you could go with multicolored paints in there, but give it more of an aged distress look if you didn't want the solid mirror effect. So that's one way, well, a couple of ways of working with it. But what I also so thought would be nice, I'm just going to bring my mist back in. I've got one of the inner pieces here. Let's just, I don't know, I think I've got a bit of a blockage in this one. No, it's not coming out very well, that one. Let me just get the other one. I think it's because, oh, I haven't got the lid on right either. Do you know, why do you put your posh blouse on? There we are, that's better. <laughs> posh blouse on when you're working with all these mediums. I am going to bring the heat gun in in this one, just to show you that you can dry it off. You can take, of course, the lids off and give them a clean out as well, if they do get a little bit blocked. But just watch this effect. You can see it going very, very quickly. 
just, just such a clever technique. And actually, it takes very little of the spray to actually create. Now, if I just pick that up, oops, turn that off. Now, I could go with another layer because I can see there, but can you see how, again, you can get those different effects? So if you wanted kind of a marbled effect, or again, an aged mirror, you know how they go, they change colour, don't they? And they kind of deteriorate over years, but it can be a really nice effect. But if you wanted to go again with another layer, let's make, make sure I've picked the right one up here. Let's just give another little mist in there. Let's dry it off again. Probably at home I would let it dry naturally rather than force drying it, but just for the speed of the demonstrations. We'll just do it this way. So again there, that is dried so quickly. Do you know, you could do it through a stencil as well, so if you've got acetate or perspex or glass or something like that, then of course you can work with it. Look at that, it's just so clever, isn't it? I think my plastic wants a bit of a dusting down, but you can see that mirror effect. I have got a, little, a few little grains of something on there, but from the other side as well, you've got that effect. So if you wanted to put those inside your bauble and put the two halves together, then you could mount something in there as well. And you've got the mirror behind, which is really, really effective. Let me just pop one of John's little um, poinsettias in there. Now, all you've got to watch for is to make sure that you've got the right sides together. I mean, they do come in packages where you, they, they are together. So you've got, a, you've got the male and female, so to speak. You know, like with your aerial cables. I don't know if this is going to fit in. It would have been better in the bauble. This is why I should have done, but I'm just, if you can just see that there, just so you can see. Isn't that pretty? One of the smaller poinsettias would look really lovely in there. Or again, photographs and use some sort of effect and build around there with snow or something like that. That would look really, really nice. But it's just one way of working with uh, that mirror glaze. I really like that. I'm going to play with that a lot, I think. Let me just put the lids on and move that to one side. Now, we are busy for the mirror mist. I think a lot of you are going for the, the pack with the glass and the plastic together. They work in the same way, but you must make sure that you use the correct one for the correct medium. Don't use the glass on plastic, don't use the plastic one on the glass because you won't get the same results. Okay, right, oh, a quarter of the stock has gone already. Now then, I do want to show you the casting powder. Let me just bring my pot in. Now, there's a couple of ways you can get this. You can get this with the fibre paste. You're going to get two pots of this with the fibre paste. That price is incredible. 900 grams of powder in each pot. That is going to make a lot of casts. It really is. And that fibre paste as well. Oh, you can use that with your moulds again. You can get that fine detail. You can use it for stenciling. You can do all sorts with it. Right, now the powder itself, obviously... It could be an irritant. Any powder is, especially if it's plaster, concrete, cement, that sort of thing. So if you did want to put your gloves on, then I would do that. Um, do you know, to be honest with you, I've been working with powders and plasters all, all weekend decorating again. So I think my hands have kind of got used to it. But at home, just play it safe. Do wear a pair of gloves. Now, I can tell you, because the instructions on the lid in English aren't very clear actually. Um, so I did make sure that I knew the appropriate measurements of powder to water because that's all you're going to need. Now of course Pentart, they are in Hungary, that's why we haven't got that English version on there. But I can tell you that if you were mixing, and you're probably not going to mix a whole pot, but if you're mixing a 900 gram pot, that's all of it, you would need to put in 720 millilitres. If you're going with 400 grams, of the powder, which is still a lot, you'd need 320 millilitres of water. So I'm going to half that. I'm going to, going to go with 200 grams of powder and I'm going to go with 160 ml of water. If anybody gets this and they get stuck, the information should be out there, but you can always message me. We are going to put it on the website in the description so that if you go onto the website and have a look at that or you forget, that's where you'll find it because it is important that you get that right. Okay, now... As usual, for mixing anything like this, a plastic cup is perfect. I've got my scales here. I'm just going to press the button because that sets it to naught. Now, I can tell you that my scales will actually measure not just in grams and ounces, but you can do millilitres as well. Not everybody can do that, so I have got my little jug as well. But, you know, we'll see where we go with that. In fact, let me just check. I've got my millilitres on there. That's my ounces, I think. I should have brought my glasses, shouldn't I? 
<laughs> right, let's set that to naught. Oh, I need to make sure I'm back on grams now. Do I pick it up so I can see, because the light's catching, it's going to something completely different. That's not grams, I know why. I won't know, because I had bigger corpse. That will be grams. These only weigh five. The other day, they had the bigger corpse, and they weighed 10 grams. Let's go to naught. There we go. Right, so 200 grams of powder I'm going to go with. I still think I'm mixing too much, but there you go. Do you know, I could go for 100 grams, actually, and just half at 160 millilitres, couldn't I? I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go for 100 grams. No, we're still not there at 100. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. <laughs> right, 99. Let's go with one little tiny bit more, because it will annoy me if I don't get it spot on. There we go. 100 grams, which means that I need 80 millilitres of water. Oh, this is going to be tricky because I haven't got my little measuring cup. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm going to have to guess this. Right, OK. My scales do, but I can't see with the light how to set that. So I'm going to go. There we go. And we're going to give it a stir. Okay. Now you will get what I found when I did do this at home, and I didn't have the right ratios at home, so I had to guess it. Um, I did a pretty good guess actually, because it did set. Now you can add, add your pigments into this if you wanted to as well, but I think because it's it's plaster, then of course you've got that nice white base, which means that you can do all sorts with it afterwards. So I'm just going to put this in as it is. Now I'm really sort of delving down to the bottom of the cup there because there's lots of powder in the bottom. And I'm really going to mix this. Now what I will say is it will start to set quite quickly. So you haven't got such a long working time as, uh, say, the resin that I used on the Zuri shows the other day. So what you want to make sure is, though, that you make this really nice and smooth. And it does mix a lovely smooth mixture. Just make sure you've got all those lumps, all the powder from the bottom of the cup, really sort of scrape around the bottom there. Now, I've brought a number of different moulds with me. And also, of course, you've got the mould in one of the sets, so we can use that one. But one of my favourites to work with is actually the, um, the Prima moulds. So I've got all sorts of Prima moulds here. They will work in the Zuri moulds and other moulds as well. Anything that's got detail in, you're going to get a really lovely effect. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to do, let's go for, let's go for this stocking with the teddy bear in. It is quite runny at this stage, but it honestly will start to set quite quickly. So I'm just going to spoon some into the mould. And when I get fairly full... I'm going to give it a little tap because there will there will be air bubbles in there and if you give it a little tap that's hopefully going to disperse those air bubbles you may see some of them come to the surface and then just pop but give it a tap because that is important and then you would just let that dry I don't even need to top that up actually I'm going to leave that exactly as it is come back to that later let me go with a mold this is how I work with the silicone molds now, this is what I found. There's a little bit of water in it because I washed them out earlier because I'd had other things in this mould. Um, so, again, spoon in. Don't worry if you've got anything that's twiddly, as I call it. Um, you know, little delicate bits and pieces. Don't think you have to dribble this directly in. Just slap it on top, really. That's all I'm doing. I'm not going to overfill this. In fact, I'm going to leave that there. And then, what I found was easiest was to just kind of use it, a knife, a spatula like a butter knife, or as though you're applying paste, texture paste. So you can see there, I can really spread that around. Now there will be air in here again, there really will be quite a few air bubbles. So once you kind of get into the mould, fill in any obvious gaps. Being Prima moulds, they're very, very firm as well. Just pick the mould up and just drop it a few times. And I can see there's one or two air bubbles coming up there, which is really, really good. I can see more and more. So do that a few times. Don't think, oh, once is enough. You need to sort of really, really do that a number of times, probably more than I'm doing now, just until you can't see any more air bubbles coming up. Now, what I would do then is take the spatula and scrape off any excess. Now, remember, don't waste anything. If you've got spare, which I have, and I only mix 100 grams, remember, 
keep another mold to one side something that's small if you've only got a bit left but use it don't waste it there's absolutely no need to waste any of this at all and I can tell this is starting to set now as well so at that stage I would leave that exactly as it is don't worry again about some of the mess here. I'm going to come back to that, but I'm going to leave it as it is. I hate wasting plaster and there's still some in that cup. I'm just going to give it another tap. Now I've done that and I'll put that to one side for a minute. Now then, the fixing time is 20 to 40 minutes. When I say fixing time, that doesn't mean it's fully cured. It will take up to two days to properly dry out. But fixing time basically means that it's gone harder. Uh, you can demold when it's not fully cured, if you want to reuse the mould, what I would say if you've got very intricate moulds or something, let me just find one that's very intricate for you to see. So something like, if you, if you go for the Zuri with the beetles and the antennae and things like that, if you demold that too quickly, you're likely to cause breakages on those legs. So depending on the mould, you decide how long you want to leave that plaster. Another tip for you is, if you've got very, very delicate thin moulds, very intricate moulds, and you want to use plaster with it, add a little bit of PVA glue into your mix. I'm not, I can't give you an exact amount. Obviously, don't use a full pot, but a little bit of PVA glue mixed into your plaster mix will add some strength and flexibility to it as well. So it will avoid cracks more on very, very delicate moulds. So that's another idea for you. Right, so here I've got one that I cast early. It's not fully cured because it's not had two days, obviously. It's only had a, probably two hours. Um, again, I've used Prima moulds for these. I'm just going to bring that bit of card in just so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Now, something I've absolutely fallen in love with when it comes to the product on this show are these paints. Now, these are the delicate metallics. These are absolutely beautiful. Now, they're not available individually, but they do come in the bauble making kit. And these will paint directly onto your perspex, your plastic, um, all sorts of surfaces again. They just they are just absolutely gorgeous. Now, I haven't given that a stir. But I probably should do, but actually, I'm just going to stir the top bit with this brush. Wait until you see the effect of these. Oh, I just love these. I've only, I've only done one piece of plaster, but the colour, it's kind of a a rose. So I wouldn't say rose gold, but, you know, you've got that beautiful, delicate pink tone. Absolutely beautiful, but there's more you can do with it than just paint it directly on. This is going onto a porous surface because, of course, plaster is porous. It goes on like a dream. It is so smooth. You don't see any brush marks. Obviously, your brushes may uh, differ, so don't use... My top tip here with brushes is don't go for a sort of a firm bristle. Go for something with a nice soft bristle, and you'll find that that coats beautifully. Now, I, I would normally say give everything two coats, but actually, I just think that has covered beautifully. Just pop that to one side, because I want to use the other colour as well. That will dry quickly as well. You could speed it up with a heat gun, but I wouldn't. I would probably just let it dry on its own especially if that plaster is not fully cured as well because you could cause the plaster to shrink and break early i'm just going to give this one a, a bit of a shake because i haven't taken the lid off it yet i'm dying to see this color so oh, let me find another brush let's get another brush oh this is going to be nice oh these are my new favorite colors <laughs> these are so me these are absolutely beautiful. Look how easy that paint goes on as well. So do think about trying this on all sorts of different surfaces. You can dry brush with this paint as well. So if I wanted to put the, the beautiful green that I'm working with now, dry brush onto the pink, you can do that. Might do a little bit of that in a while. I'm going to come back to that mould in a second as well. When I say how it's getting on. I won't be demolding this hour, but you may see me demold at 7 o'clock tonight. So do tune in because I've got different things to do in different shows and it's kind of a prolonged demonstration on some things. Right, so now you've got your, your paint finish there, just one coat. Just going to check this one. I can see it's a little bit tacky still. I'm just going to get my heat gun and dry that off a little bit. As I say at home, allow, let this dry naturally rather than force drying it. 
demonstration purposes, we don't have the time, obviously. And then I'm going to use our antiquing product. This is a paste. I really like this as well. Now, it looks very, very dark. You can see I've had my brush in there. It is a bitumen. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to get another brush. Find, oh, let's go for this one. I'm going to get a little bit of the paste and I'm just going to paint it directly over the top and I'm really working that into the, the detail of the mould. And actually the brown straight onto the pink, I'm going to do this on the green as well, just see what it looks like. Uh, the brown into the pink gives a really, really lovely effect. But then of course, you can wipe away the excess and leave the antiquing stain where the detail is a little bit deeper. So it's bringing back that beautiful pink on the top surface but we've got the brown antiquing wax that's sitting into the detail there. And the more that dries, the more effective it will look. And again, the antiquing paste will go onto all sorts of surfaces. You just get a piece of cream card so you can see the colour a little bit better. You've got that beautiful sheen on there. Really, really lovely sheen coming through the paint. So you can add as little or as much of the antiquing wax as you like. Great to put onto your canvases as well, if you want to put it onto your pictures, that sort of thing. If I just bring this piece in, this was the piece I was playing with earlier. It's the same pink, and you can see on this side I've used the bitumen, the antiquing paste. On this side I haven't used anything, so you can see the difference. So it really does add to that effect, and again, it's just a case of adding that in with your brush, really working it into the detail and then wiping away the excess. Oh, I adore these paint finishes. They're beautiful. Shall we just try it on the green, just see what it looks like? Just, I think I've still got a little bit on the brush. You don't need, I probably put a little bit too much on the brush there, but you don't need as much as I have. Just a reminder that my casting pieces aren't fully cured either. I only did them a few hours ago, so to take up to one to two days, what I would suggest is, Make a batch of your custom pieces and keep them for when you want to make a project. Isn't that lovely? Really lovely. Beautiful. Love it. Absolutely love those. Right, so we've used the casting powder. We've used the bitumen paste, the antiquing paste. We've used the mirror paste. What else can we do? I don't know if we need a recap or whether I'm going to keep going. We'll do... What should we do? What should we do? Do you know, I've still got some plaster. Can I use this plaster? I don't want to waste it. Let me just show you what's happening here. So, can you see how this is now thickening up? Just to show you how quickly it's going to set. That will probably, if I shake the spoon, it is going to sort of dollop into, back into the cup. But it's thickening up now, so don't leave it. Do use it. Let's bring in, let's bring in that mould again. Should we put some colour in? This is the pigment, so I'm going to put a little bit of red in. Just one or two drops. One, two, three drops, I think, went in there. Now, obviously, if you're adding any more moisture, you, know, you don't want to put too much in. This is why pigments are really, really good, because they're very, very strong. You don't need a lot. Now, the plaster at this stage looks quite grey, but as it dries, it's going to go more white as well is really nice so now you're not going to get a true red with the pigments because you're mixing into white so it's a little bit like putting the pigment into your air dryer clay so you're always going to get a pink but you've got your paints as well which one should we go for let's go for oh let's go for that one so again that because i've added some moisture in there it's made it a little bit thinner again this paste so i just don't want to waste this plaster so again, I would just put some in, all, almost to the top, but don't overfill it, because it's easier to add more than take it away. I'm just watching that, that it doesn't splatter. Uh, a little tap again, because you want to get those air bubbles out. And then if you need to top that up, go again. And if you want to use your spatula to scrape off, you can do it. I've still got some left. Oh, I'm just going to I'm gonna have to waste this, aren't I? I, I just hate waste. Hate it. See how it's dolloping again, but again, if I tap that, can you see how the water's coming to the top? 
Okay, now something else I just want to show you while I'm here before we do a recap is I'm just going to bring back in the mould that I was doing with the Prima mould just to show you if I've got a cloth somewhere I think I'm going to have to use a tissue what I found was easiest for me was at this stage when it's starting to set better not to use a tissue actually better to go with a proper cloth and then wipe away the excess around because it will give you a need to finish when you take these out if you don't do that it's a little bit wet for me to go in with the tissue to be honest but you'll end up with tiny little bits that overhang on the edge and then you've got to start sanding them down or removing them. So if you clean up your mould, once it's, once it's gone firm enough on top that you can rub away at that silicone, they will just remove themselves with a damp cloth and you can really clean that up. I'll do that probably at the end of the show, but I don't want to disturb that too much because it is drying. Now, oh, look at the state of me. <laughs> I think I need to clean my hands. While I'm doing that, we'll give you uh, details about our event, of course, that's going on right now for Christmas. Welcome to Hachanda's Five Days of Christmas. Are you struggling for ideas or need a little extra creative assistance as you start your crafty preparations for Christmas 2020? From Thursday the 23rd of July at 6pm to Tuesday the 28th of July at 6pm, we'll be bringing you five days of Christmas crafting. Tune in and be inspired by Pink Ink, Sentimentally Yours, Clarity Stamp, John Next Door, La Blanche and many, many more as they help you get into the crafty Christmas spirit. Also, as an early Christmas treat from us to you, make a purchase of any item and you will automatically be given a £5 credit to spend against any purchase of £30 or more the following day. And you can do this every day throughout our event. So get ready for Christmas 2020 by tuning in to our five days of Christmas from the 23rd of July at 6pm. Yes, do take advantage of our event. In fact, you could be spending your five pounds perhaps on this show. Who knows? Um, but of course, if you're buying for the first time, then you'll have that credit to spend tomorrow if you're spending more than 30 pounds. The last day tomorrow already, I feel as though I've missed this Christmas event because I've not been here, just five days and I've missed it. Oh, well. Right, let's have a look again at the items we've got here. We've got the mirror mist. I know you've been loving this. Now, remember, you've got both the plastic and the glass here. I'm going to mention La Blanche again because um, Blanche, you often see those glass plates and vases and things and the mirror can be used and that's all those curved glass plates, that sort of thing. You can add that mirror effect. If you just want to spritz and not cover the whole thing and then go over the top with your paint, you'll get that mixture of mirror and paint finish as well. It's incredible. It really, really is. Uh, you'll find lots of tutorials online as well, I'm sure. So that lovely bundle there, $9.99. 727-903 and just a reminder you can see the difference there because the box is a different color so for the plastic you've got more that teal color box and the blue is for your glass so you've got the best of everything there really easy to use great effects very very nice have an experiment with that right here we have the 3d balls and you've got your expanding paste there as well your expand paste which does what it says, it expands. Uh, maybe we'll use that at seven o'clock, who knows? Just use a heat gun and you will see it puff up and you can do all sorts of clever things with that as well. A great price again, I love the 3D bolts. You know, I've been waiting, this is so sad, I've got to tell you this now. I see everybody getting these on their shows. I think, I've never had those on one of my shows and I want them. And now I've got them, and guess what? I've got a chance to use them, so I want to play with those later. I just love them. Twelve ninety nine is the price. Item number one three three four eight five is the item number. Now you've got your snow crystals and rainbow paste. Might do something with this actually, if we can this hour. Just just to show you on the the difference on the black and the white. Now you can use this through your stencils. You can apply it to glass, plastic, perspex, all those different things as well. You've got different effects. It's got that translucent finish, but you've got different sort of glittering, glittering effects in there. Um, we've got the ice there. Let me just have a look at the rainbow one because this one is a little bit more holographic. If I take the lid off, it's probably got a seal on. Yes, it has. Now it looks very sort of, it looks a bit of an odd colour at this stage, but when you put it on it will dry clear and then you've got the holographic finish coming through. I don't think you can really see it very well, can you on there? If you look on the foil, 
you can see it there. Do you know, I'm going to use this so it's dry for seven o'clock. So do come back and have a look at that. And I'll do different swatches with the different types so you can see the difference between them all um, on both black and white. And remember, it's not just card. It's on your different surfaces. You can go on top of your MDF, your chipboard, your grey board, all those different things. Really, really lovely set that. It's very, very effective indeed. Now, that is annoying me now because... I think I'm getting a little bit OCD today. That's not normally me, is it? There we go. Um, right, okay. I just like, like it to look right. That's the thing. I like it to look right. Now, the pouring glaze, you've got a huge pot here. A huge pot, 230 millilitres. I don't know if we've got time this hour, but we'll use that definitely at 7 o'clock if we don't do it now. 13 99 is the price. If you've not seen it before, great if you're going for the Galaxy Flakes as well. 481148. Do you know, you can use that with a brush. You can paint it on or you can pour it. It says pouring glaze, but you can brush it on as well. Um, you've also got your paints here as well, your acrylic paints, but these are metallic finishes, really lovely colours. Again, I'll see if I can get a swatch together for the later show so you can see the different colours. 13 99 for this one, 243 three five really lovely finishes on those as well now one of my favorite bundles in this show is actually this one because I love the plastic the plaster casting powder and you're getting two you just saw me do that live on TV a hundred grams of plaster powder I used there and I've still not used it it's annoying me because there's still some in that cup but it will be set in now um, do you know what you're gonna have fun with this do wear some gloves if you think that you're going to be affected by the powder itself when it gets in the skin. It can just be a bit of an irritant, that's all. It's not that it's toxic or anything like that, but it, it can be an irritant. Then you've got your fibre paste, which is fabulous. This is a whole massive pot as well. Look what you're getting, 500 millilitres. I know we've sold out of that many, many times and we've had it on in the past. All of that for just 16 99 Item number 973107. Now, the Galaxy Flakes, if you do want to go for those, we've got two different options as well. These are lovely. You've got the darks, and you've also got the lights in there as well. Do you know, if you can afford to go for both, I would say do that because oh, they are just beautiful. Now, don't forget, if you're spending £60 or more, you can open up a Flexi Basket as well. So you've got that option. Do you know, I might use the Galaxy Flakes next. I've just decided. Um, I, I would need a flexi basket opening up every single time that I spend here at Agenda because, yeah. Do you know what? I think everybody knows now it is my birthday. If you're watching earlier, I've already spent my birthday money before my birthday. Oh, I got all sorts. I got all and create Janet's stamps. They came the other day. Yes. Uh, what else did I get? Oh, I've recently bought the Cricut Maker. I bought an Easy Press. I bought a sewing machine. Uh, I haven't, yeah. I've got plans. I've got big plans. Right, okay. <laughs> now, I've got here, this is something that I started doing. When I, I stood in for a couple of shows for La Blanche, actually, we had the, the mouldings on there. We had the MDF pieces. This was spare. This was prepped for a demo, and then we sold out the paper pack in 15 minutes, and I wasn't allowed to do it. So I've kept it, so I'm going to do it now. So what I'm going to do... I'm actually going to glue the front to the back, so let's just add a little bit of tacky glue because I am going to use a pouring glaze. So because it's a liquid, obviously you need something to stop it sort of going over the edge, so this will act as a really good frame for me. So just make sure that's together nicely. Okay. Now you could just sprinkle the flakes in or you could add a little bit of glue if you wanted to. If you wanted to really position, you know, precisely, you can do that. So you could go with your medium um, body gel or your, you know, your gels or I have got the decoupage glue. You could use a tacky glue, anything that dries clear. I'm just going to open this. I don't really need this, but I just thought I'd open it anyway. Um, I'm using a dirty brush as well. So if you want to sort of position things, I'm just going to add a little bit of this. I've got some paint going on here now as well, which is quite nice because it is a dirty brush. So that obviously won't dry clear, but it will give me more of an effect in the background. The decoupage glue will dry clear. So I'm just going to pop that to one side. Let's go with... These are from the darks. I've got... Oh, I love these. Aren't these gorgeous? Look at those. Let's just sprinkle. Let's just go straight in. Oh, I've bought some uh, rosy, um, Zori 
insects with me as well. So I'm just going to sprinkle a few in and I'm kind of keeping spaces in between. I might put one of those in here, that's what I'm thinking. I might have to paint it with that paint first though. Then I'm going to go with some of the green because I think it complements the frame that I've already got. And the reason, you see, you don't need the glue, but if you wanted to push things around and position things, if you just wanted this in one area, if you've got a little bit of glue in there, in the area that you want, and then get a dry brush, a dry soft brush, and then you can kind of move things around a little bit and just sort of then set them in place. So I didn't need it, but I'm just showing you so that you know what you can do. How much more glitter do we want in there? Do we want lots in there? Let's put some more in. Because you can totally fill this or you can leave gaps and the fact that I've got that little bit of metallic finish in the background off my brush looks really nice. I'm going to go in with some more brown. Shall we go with any more colours in the gallery? What do you think? What else have we got? Shall we go with something from the lights? What have we got in the lights that will work with this? Shall we put the white in? There is a white with holographic flakes in there. Shall we go with that because it will pick up the green? Let's have a look. There's the one. This is from the lights. So just, oh, these are nice. See, they're going to catch the light beautifully. Now, I don't know if you can spot this. If I just point out, can you see the difference in the size of the flakes? There's a really large flake there, but then we've got really small ones as well. So it just gives you that beautiful effect. It really does. It works out at just £2.80 a pot. Now the pouring glaze, again, with a lot of products you'll see this, it, same for varnishes and things as well. Although it says clear, they don't look clear in the pot. It's very milky looking. Now I am just going to pour, because that's what it says to do. Now you could just go with a small amount, or you could really sort of fill this frame up. Obviously I want to set in those flakes. During this hour you're not going to see the finished result, because of course it is... It is very milky. Now, I'm just going to give that a little bit of a tip around. This is why, again, if you want those flakes to stay in a specific position, use that glue just to set them in place. To be honest with you here, I don't really mind if it's moving. Oh, there's a little, there's a little flake there that's escaped. Let's get that in there. One at the other. Oh, there's a brown one there. Can't waste those flakes, can we? Hey, I wonder if we mix the flakes into the plaster, what it would look like. I'm going to try that. I'm going to try that. Now I have got, oh it's not really the right colour, I need to change it. I've got one of the Zuri moulds here that was left over from my show the other day. Shall we go with, we've got all those metallics haven't we? Do you know what, I'm going to go with the delicate and a little bit of gold. How much time have I got left? I'm getting carried away now. I think we're alright. I'm going to go with the delicate green. Do you know when you've not had a chance to prep a show? And then you panic. You panic because you think, well, I don't know what I'm going to do because out of time I've been at work and it's, I've been busy. And then you get products like this and it's like, just don't stop me. Just, I just want to keep going. Isn't that lovely? I love that paint. Oh, I feel very lucky to be able to work with these things today. Julia Watts normally does pent art. I'm privileged. Where is she? I don't know where she is, but Julia, I hope you sat watching. Thanks. I'm really glad that you said no to the show. That's what happened. Uh, <laughs> I think Julia's just really busy. I think she's got other shows coming up. She's just done true distance, hasn't she? I think I've got a feeling, Julia, is she in tomorrow? I think she's in. I'm sure Julia told me she's in on the 28th. I think she's back tomorrow. Is she? Oh, uh, we've had a picture come in. We're going to, I don't know who sent it, but we haven't got time to grab it properly and show it, but we're going to show it at seven o'clock. It's from Sylvia. She's been using, ah, uh, and you see, I knew this was going to be good. Sylvia has used Galaxy Flakes in clear resin. So you can only imagine how amazing that's going to look. Right, I've just got a little bit of the gold metallic paint here. One of my favourite things to do is just to dry brush over the top. So I've got very little paint on there. 
I don't know if this is going to show very well on the screen because it's it's very similar in colour, but it is there. So it just picks out that detail a little bit more. I'm going to pop that into the middle of my watch. Now I could leave that to set just as it is, so it's going to bond into that glaze, or I could fill that up and go right over the top with the pouring glaze. What do you want me to do? Lot it in the gallery. Fill it up. Right. I'm going to fill it up, but I'm not going to do it live simply because I want to put a little bit more colour onto my insect there. I think I'm going to go with uh, maybe some of the bitumen. Maybe I'll do that. Now, we have a question in about the pouring glaze. Is it like a clear resin? Yes and no. It will go clear. You will see it. So, yes, you can brush it on as well. You don't have to pour it. You can brush it just to put glazes on things as well. It's going to be great on things like your polymer clay because it will bring out the colour. So it will give you that sort of effect. But it hasn't got the strength that resin has. So, you know, it would be affected by heat and that sort of thing. So it depends what you're looking for. Um, but it's a great product. It really, really is. Let's have a look. Oh, can we see that picture? Oh, this is from Sylvia. Have a look. Look, Galaxy Flakes in clear resin. I recognise that mould as well. Lovely. So a really lovely effect. Do I use the Galaxy Flakes as well. Um, on another project, the Mermaid bottle that I did, there was just tiny little specks of the Galaxy Flakes in the background. And it just caught the light. And it's really pretty. I have that sat on a, a unit at home with a light in that I put on at night. And it just catches onto those flakes. And it gives you the most beautiful effect it really really does i will add a little bit more paint to my insect there to my bee and then i'm going to fill that up with pouring glaze so it's actually coated all the way through and hopefully by seven o'clock that will have gone clear so you can see the results so do come back also at seven o'clock i'll do something with the mirror as well that i've made there i'll put something into that bauble so you can see that and uh, we'll see if we can demold any of those castings as well. So lots more to look forward to. Oh, I've not even used the crackle glaze yet. And I want to use these at seven o'clock. So do join me then. Do you know, we're almost out of time. Where did that time go? I've just had loads of fun. I'm going to stay here and play now. I'll give you the menu and then I'll hand it over to, I believe Fiona's coming up next. And I'm just going to stay here and just play with all the Pentart products. See you very soon. Oh, those gilding flakes would look very nice as well. John Next Door, Festive Frames coming up next. Then we've got the Blanche Festive One Day Special. Wait until you see the set. In fact, it's a double launch. Do not miss it. Would you like to improve your crafting techniques? By watching and crafting along with your favourite Achanda guest demonstrators or from the comfort of your own home? If the answer is yes, then we are very excited to invite you to Craft Along, where you, our presenters and guests, will create an amazing array of projects throughout the year. So tune in, be inspired and create with Craft Along, your monthly crafting workshop. Hi, I'm Pete from Artisan Design. We're a family run company uh, from the Midlands um, and we have been going for around about a year now. We design handcrafted stamps, stencils and designer papers. Personally, uh, I love crafts, and I've loved crafts from uh, childhood, right from when I first won an art competition when I was five years old. I love to inspire, and what, I, what my aim is, is to get the crafters um, to see their own potential. I like them to be uh, in charge of their own creativity. What I hope is that our images um, provide the kickstart your mojo and help you create your own works of art. Tune into our Chanda, be part of the artisan design world and come and join me on this creative path. Hello, my name is
name's Catherine Sturrock and I bring to Chanda my company Character Crafts. Character Crafts brings to you our laser cut designs. Each design is designed by myself. We cut them on the laser machines here in Doncaster and bring the products to you at home. Character Crafts is suitable for all ages and all abilities. So I hope that I can inspire you and help you along with your crafting. I'd like to show you how to use different paint techniques and different techniques to bring the characters alive and use various mediums to decorate um, and I also use air dry clay for decorating with the flowers. So make sure you look out for the character craft shows on Achanda. I hope to see you soon. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years Studio Light have evolved, they listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. On the Achanda shows, we'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the studio light shows on Achanda. Hi, I'm Anna and I'm a founder of Craftbox UK. Craftbox is a box full of craft supplies that we send to our customers monthly. All products are placed in a beautiful, sturdy box, which is ribbon tied, and we hope that by receiving this box, you will feel like it's Christmas every month. Make sure you don't miss the Craftbox shows on Hochanda. Yes, indeed. Good afternoon. Slash early evening. Now, I'm going for, I don't know, it's for pre-evening. Let's go for pre-evening. It's four o'clock. You're probably just dishing up or thinking about what you're going to have this evening on this Monday. Nothing too heavy. It's Monday, isn't it? You don't do too much on a Monday. It's been a busy day in the office. Leftover roast on a Monday. Leftover roast. Leftover roast on a Monday from Sunday. Oh, with, yes. With roast potatoes and some cabbage mixes and bubble and squeak and a bit oh. of gravy left over from the day before. That's Monday. Oh, let's introduce him. I'm my very own little Fanny Craddock himself. <laughs> Look at you. Hello. Oh, it's our John. Um, the last hour as well with our John. It is. We have been, and I and I mean this in in the way it's intended. We have been ridiculously busy for this one day special. Yeah, we have. Um, there's the one day special, then you've got the complete bundle as well, which is everything. The details for that on the screen. But let 85% has already gone of that complete set. But why do you think, let's get it out there now. For those people that have been maybe sitting on the fence for the entire, maybe they've watched the last 24 hours and they've thought, I absolutely love it. I've bought into the concept. Yes, we're getting the, the sentiments in there that's going to come with more sentiments later on in the year to the start of next year. I can, it all works with my bits that I've used before and it's coming forward as well. Why do you think, as a crafter, yeah. that it has been so ridiculously busy? I, I, I could stand here and say I think it's because of the versatility and the... Um, I think the best thing is you do a preview show on a Friday night and Sam and I sit at home and watch that every Friday. Welcome to the weekend to see what's happening. Honestly, he's laughing. We do watch it, genuinely. You can actually ask and check in the studio to <laughs> see the emails we sent in on Friday night. Oh. But this was on on Friday night, and after the show finished, I got a message from Paola saying, I absolutely love this collection. This is so elegant. These are beautiful. And that was unbidden, and that was from another designer and another crafter. And that, to me, was it. If I can actually do a collection that somebody that designs their own dyes, their own flowers, their own stamps, wants my collection, 
Yeah. That, to me, is the biggest boost you will ever get. And I've not sort of messaged her and said, oh, what did you think? She messaged me to say, I love that. And I really love the collection. I really want that. I really like that. And that, to me, I think is what hopefully everyone at home's seen is it doesn't it's appealing to somebody who's in the industry and you couldn't have a bigger accolade it's not and what you're seeing now is you're seeing finished samples that necessarily doesn't have to have the word christmas written into it if it didn't want to you haven't got to use these for christmas now i know what you're thinking you're in a christmas event it's going to be it's all going to be geared around christmas no it's not yes there's certain elements in there there is christmas you've got Merry Christmas and Christmas wording, but take them out and use the other letters that we've already got. Take the cottages that are there, take the backgrounds that we've got here as well. Take the little cherubs and the little angels that we've got in the collection. You can now turn these into so many things. If I bend down and just break it down just to show you what you're actually getting. So, your one day special is consisted of what you see currently in front of me at the moment. So, we've got Sam Circles. Now, these are amazing because there is so many things you can do with them. These are the dies that you're actually getting at the moment. To look at that and you think, well, that's that's nice. We get a little, nice little front in there and we're getting two little scenes, little circles that fit in, a nice little Father Christmas uh, flying through the air, but... And you know there's always going to be a but. For the sheer fact, let me actually show you what you can do with them once you start cutting these out. Let's start with the basics. From a simple piece of card through your machine, you're going to get this. So you've got your beautiful aperture in there with your beautiful lattice work that's round the outside. These could be stars. This could be firework explosions if you wanted it to be as well. You can make this as much or as little as you want. The snippability in here is amazing for little tre tre trellis work. If you wanted to run little flowers all the way around, you can do that. And that's just using one. So now let's move to the next one. This is with the paper already inside. You run it through, you put your sentiment on there. Happy birthday, Merry Christmas, Happy Anniversary. Welcome to the world. New home. That's with two. Then you can do it the other way around. So we just have this middle work in there. So now when I was talking about your flowers and your trellis work, maybe you turn this into a scene. So you have the hills in the background, the sunset in the top, and you turn this into the trellis. So you have your ivy that's climbing all the way around. Bear with me because we've also got that on the show as well. You can use the twigs which would look amazing in this. Turn that into a wreath. But why not do all of it? Why not do the whole lot and turn this into one of those spinny cards that spin on its axis with fishing line if you wanted to. Double back it. Oh, I know I've been thinking why I've been off. Oh, I'm all over this now. Uh, it's the last hour. Always thinking. I never switch off. Uh, so you could turn it into one of those flinny cards if you want. A little bit like this one that's here. Now, I know this has got the cherub on, but you can see what I mean from the way it spins in the middle. You can now achieve that with this card. Oh, but wait. We've now got plain circles, but not just plain circles. It's a circle with a stitching detail edge. So now you've got your mats and layers already. You can use this in other projects. You've got a circle die. Oh, yeah, I have got a circle die. Then you've also got the Father Christmas. How many cards can you use the Father Christmas on? Well, I can think of four or five already. This will now work with all the other collections that you've got from other people and all of them. And that is just one die set. We then move on. We've not even finished with the same die set. We've not even got to the scene yet, Meg. Oh, I know. There's more to my story. Uh, so <laughs> then we move on. That. Um, that, this is still the set, one set of dies, one set of dies, this is the, still the same set. We get the forest scene, so you've got the deers and the stags with the background that's already in there. Take the background out and, and you've got the deers. And, and a bunny rabbit. Oh yeah, and a little bunny rabbit. So he's oh. different, there's a bunny and two birds, so he was different from the one I did last year with just the stags. Oh, there's so three this is birds. more natural. There's, oh there is, sorry, yes I got that wrong. But yeah, a little bunny, um, sort of a stag, oh. a deer. But the, I just think the little bunny rabbit's so cute, but again, you could use that all year round. Or you could, and instead snip into that if you wanted to and use that as a standalone, use it as a shaker card. Uh, then we move to the bottom and then you've just got the standalone card itself. Use your alcohol markers and colour these in with brown. Use a bit of fake fur, as it were, to get some texture onto your cards. Then you've got the scenes. We can now start doing scenes if we wanted to. This could be the skyline of London if you wanted to be Trafalgar Square with a big Christmas tree in there. This could be Big Ben or it could be that village that you've always wanted to live in. And then you've got the toppers all on their own to put on your papers where you want to use them. There is so much more that you can achieve, and that is just one die set. We then move to the centre die set that's here, Calling Angels, that we've got now. 
uh, with your calling angels. Uh, once again, there is so many more things that we can do that, that I can't even go through. I could spend an hour just telling you designs. And these are the designs that I've thought of, and I'm not a crafter. But now you've got it in, you've got it out, so you've got that. You've got your mats and your layers. So you've got them from the inside already. You've got your snowflakes, which then can cut in, cut out. This would be a waste. Why, be, why should it be waste? It's a perfect stencil. It's a perfect template to draw through in your jotters and your journals that you've now got here already. Then you've got your banners and you've got your bunting, but we've not even got to the pièce de résistance, your angels. You've then... Up and down, hold it at the same time. I can't time. grab it, sorry, <laughs> I'm normally here. But then we've got your angels as well. But now with your angels, if I hold it that way, you can see they're sort of a mirror image. So you've now got them facing each other, which also means you can now double back them and they will be the perfect same both sides in and out. You've got your angels along the top, you've got your cutouts along the bottom. You could do this in your, in your glitter card, your non-shade glitter card if you wanted to, to give them a hint and a sparkle. So you could do the winds and the beautiful gold and paper piece them yourself. And that is just the tip of the iceberg. Then, we've got sentiments. There's so many sentiments. I need a little table. Uh, there are so many sentiments that you've got on here. This is them just cut out as normal, okay? So just run through your dye machine as a standard. This is what they look like when they arrive to you, just so you can see I'm not joking there. So they're all there separately. But then, we come to this. This is amazing. So, all cut out, back to back, random higgledy piggledy, you've got these. Now, I'm not going to go through all these boards because I'm curious of the time and I want to get to demonstration soon as well. But you've got all these that are on here. What a beautiful background this already is. Put your different colour cards. You, 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 oh, hello, Adam. I'm like, ah, oh, Christ. Look at me. I'm getting excited, you see. I'm getting excited. But you put your scraps of card behind there. So your red glitter card, your gold glitter card, your baby blue, your aubergine, your green in there. I don't know where aubergine come from. That's because we were talking earlier yeah. about aubergine. Uh, you've got all the different colours that are already in there. Would look a very classy card. But then all these other greetings that you see on here are what can be made up from all the sentiments that you are getting. John gave these to a set of friends and said, come up with as many as you can. They came up with 70 and then got bored because there was so many more that you can achieve with the sentiments that we've got. And they're not all Christmas, um, obviously magical Christmas, but these are two separate dies. So you could have magical, you could have magical greetings, your wonderful greetings, wonderful Christmas. A magical special Christmas. There's so many more. So many more. Then you can get bigger as well. Uh, that is your one day special. Unfortunately, we've only got two minutes left of the show. <laughs> but, uh, no, we haven't really. But that is your one day special as a whole. Um, it gives you a little insight. If you're sitting on the fence and that doesn't say it for you, I don't know what will. Remember, the sentiments as well, there are more coming that are going to fit in perfectly with this. £24.99, 296887 is your item number. From there, though, we can go to the poinsettia. Now, you can get it on your own if you want to, or you can get it in that large bundle, and I'll give you the details up. Now, the details are on their own at the moment. The details on the side of the screen is this, on its own, if you just want to go for the poinsettia. What are we getting here, I hear you cry? Well, you are getting your cutouts of your poinsettias already. Obviously, as it's John, they come in die form, so you're not going to lose them. So they come on the plate so you can cut them individually. Now I know what you're thinking, I had a poinsettia last year. Don't worry, it's slightly different and it's been tweaked. But you're still going to get your use out of it because that could be a fantasy flower if you wanted it to be. From there you're going to get your leaves. Now, leaves are all year round. They don't just have to be for Christmas, as it were. This is what they look like, that's the right one, uh, when they're cut out as well. So you've got so your skeleton leaves and you've, so you've really got your backs and your fronts. So you could do the fronts in sort of brown, because that's where all the veins are in the middle, and, and you could do your backs and your greens. So it gives you that depth and texture already. And all you've simply done is run two pieces of card through your machine. From there, we then go on to your borders and your innies and your outies. So your die will cut like this, which is absolutely stunning. The detail that's in there is phenomenal. Then you're thinking, well, what's this here? What can I achieve when I get this? What you can achieve is it's basically a back plate so when you pop it behind, you can see the silver behind there now, there's no fussy cutting. 
There's no details. Oh, I've got to find a little bit. Oh, I haven't got enough. Run it through your dye machine. It'll do all the hard work for you. And what a beautiful stencil you've got at the top as well, because necessarily that could be anything you want it to be. In there, I can see two leaves, obviously. This bit here, I can see a nest and maybe a little bird popping out the top or two little birds popping out the bottom, cheeky little naughty little birds, if you wanted it to be. From there again, this is my favourite bit of all time. This is your twigs. Now, obviously, you've got your dies, which are this side, and then what it cuts out is like this. I'm going to keep that one there because it's easier for me to hold. Now, with the twigs themselves, we said this morning, they are twigs, they're foliage, they're scene builders. But you turn them that way, it could be coral. You turn them up, they could be trees. Now you go in with your foam pads and your other stamps. Um, maybe your stamps from the collection that John bought us the magazine the other week with those little leaves on. And you do third generation, second generation stamping on there. You've got, you can start building a tree. They would last you all year round. Do them in greens, do them in browns, your oranges, your burgundies, those sort of colours. You could really go to town. But what they were actually for was to build a scene. And you're getting £5 saving on your one-day special, a £5 saving on your poinsettias as well. But then, take another £5. We'll take another £5 off and add them two £5 to this already. So that's three £5. You have to do the math, so I'm not allowed to do it here and I'm not allowed to tell it to you. But three £5. Well, you can't say 15. That's the one. Ah. Uh, so you are getting that saving on the complete bundle. All of that. And you're saving three of these. Three of them. You're saving it. It's already been taken off. And then it's on three flexible payments of £31.64. All dispatched from the 14th of August. Now, I know what you're thinking. 14th of August? By Joe, what's going on here? 14th of August? Well, John, why is it the 14th of August? Uh, basically, because with the situation that's gone off at the moment, with what we've got going on with the pandemic and everything else, the number of flights, the number of boats have decreased. The cost of flying this in would have made a ridiculously increased price. I actually got the calculation wrong earlier. Okay. And I actually worked it out, and I was sort of saying it'd be a pound each extra yeah, a dice. Yeah, you It would actually be more than that, because oh, I've had you? an update through now. So they have come on the boat as we would normally do, but Christmas we'd normally fly. So, and that just means that because there's less of them, it's taking longer. And the options were you have it at this price and a little bit later, or you have it now at a lot more. And as a crafter, I wanted it to be, I'd rather wait a little bit and pay a little bit less. Yeah. No, it's true. And we're only talking the 14th of August. And I know it's easy to say that when you say, I'm going, is it the 14th of August yet? Are they going to start sending it out? This, you know, I'm like that, but it does mean that you've still got months and months for your cards. Because if you're like me, you, don't, you buy everything early and then you start making them about the last week in November. <laughs> but is it true of also saying, though, because they're coming over on the 14th, well, they'll be dispatched on the 14th, st you're still, and I use the word they as in you, are going to be the first, still the first people to get hold of these them? Are, these orders have been done and have printed and are in order of, as they've come through to Crafts 2. They're actually sat on the desk waiting and they will be the first orders gone, so they'll go from the first through and they will work through them that way. As soon as the stock comes in, those orders will go out. And that's there before anything else. So the minute they come in, the minute they will go out for this large bundle, £31, 64 pence across three flexible payments. 659226 is your item number on this for that large bundle. Very busy. 85% of that large bundle now has already gone. Now, something else that sold out and we managed, we sold it out this morning, 8 o'clock, I think it came back to the 12 o'clock show, um, is this artificial snow. Now, the artificial snow, it will be dispatched to you on the 29th of August. Now, you are getting a professional quality of snow. Now, when I felt this this morning, I thought this reminds me of something. I couldn't quite put my finger on it. And the more I felt it, the more I thought, oh, yeah, this reminds me of the snow that we used to use in the theatre to give you that realistic look of snow. If you set dress, if you use it around your fireplaces, on your hearth, and you want to get that real look, this is the perfect place to go. It is super fine, because normally when you get artificial snow, it's quite chunky. It's normally, we did last year, we bought the, the display product last year, and it was two millimetres. This year we've had them mail it to us brand new for one millimetre, so that it will work in shaker cards and things like that. 
So your standard is two mil. This is the finer one, which is used in the theatre. Last year we were doing the one that's works that goes in like shop windows. Yeah. So it's to bulk. So you're actually getting more of it in because it's smaller. It's the same size bag. You're actually getting even more in there. You're getting low. Um, but it is the. It, it's been milled finely. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's, and it's shredded plastic. But I'd like it? to see you be able to try and make something like that. Yeah, no, because it is no static. super, super fine that you're seeing in there as well. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, but what you can also mean now is you can go, you can be a little bit, a little more liberal with it. So you don't have to go so far with it on your cars. So remember those rooftops that you were doing that you normally do with a bit of glue? Just bring a little bit on. A little bit of this now will go an awful long way. You can see how much you're getting in the bag itself. And from that... You're also now getting uh, the little pots to come with it as well, and you're getting 12 of the little pots. And as we said in the 8 o'clock show, uh, these pots are going to come in handy for something else that's coming on later in the month, so at the end of August. That's all we can say, because that's all I know. <laughs> I'll tell you anymore. I haven't told you actually what's I No, must, I don't actually know. I must try to remember to tell you at the end of the uh, show what's happening. But if you happening. tell me, this is why I don't ask questions before the start of the show, otherwise it may just yeah. slip out. So I don't ask, but all I've been told is there's something coming in the pipeline that you're going to need these little pots for and this kit. £9.99, pence. start filling your boots if I was you. Uh, if your money would go, I'd pop it in my flexi basket and I'd be looking at getting two. Um, give the pots to a friend or keep the pots for your glitters and your, um, your inners or your flowers pollen. Other words that I was thinking of. Uh, use them for other things as well. Uh, but I would really start stocking up. 470185 is your item number. Nine pounds and 99 pence. Uh, something else that's really good is the flowers. You know, you'll find these on the website. These are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. The picture does not do them justice. When you actually look at them in the studio, they are stunning. For, uh, for weddings, for little birthday gifts to put round, but maybe a bottom of the cake with a bit of ribbon, they would they would just add that touch of class to anything. We've also got the inks on the show as well. Twelve pounds and ninety nine pence for those inks. Get those as well. I could spend you a fortune in this hour. Uh, brushes. Uh, they, Meg, am I right in saying they've sold out individually? They've sold out individually, so the only way of going for them now is going for the big bundle, which is what you're going to use anyway. You're getting the two large and the three small uh, with this as well, is what we're actually looking at. Um, and there's also dyes on there, storage. There is so much on the website. Do check it out. Right then. I've nattered enough. <laughs> um, what are we going to create this hour? Right, what I thought I'd do is, I'm going to do this card, and again, there's a video to show you how to do this original on YouTube. I've done that for everything. So you've actually got a, a demo to show you how to do that. But this is with a beautiful waterfall glitter card, which I just love in the gold. But I thought I would show you a different variation of it, because I meant to do this earlier and never got it finished. So, what I'm going to do is... And to speed things up, I've pre-cut. Oh, okay. Because it starts to get really boring of that just churning through. So I've pre-cut it out and I've already done one. But what you'll get is, we ignore the gold, what you get is the frame with that around both edges. Yeah. yeah? You then use the separate die in the set, which is included in the set, and I don't know where I've put mine, there. So we use that, and you cut that out. And the, what I've done is, you've only got one, you only need one because it fits on both sides, because it's a mirror image. So, all I'm going to do is, just for speed, a little bit of spray glue, but it's okay, because it's always going, it's all going on to the no man's land, where the trap door is. No one can go there. So we're not allowed to walk. But you can see, you just follow the front, and there you go, it just fits all the way back. So even if you had that as the back, if you put acetate on there, or that could be seen on the inside of your card. That's not ugly. No, that's you know, not nice. a little bit. You know what I mean? It's not, and that, that's what I like. So, there I've got it with a beautiful gold on both sides, yeah? So, I've done this twice. Nice. Because I always like to say I love to get versatility, yeah? It's what we like about your job. So, that's the design. Yes. But it was designed so that if you rotate it 90 degrees... Oh, you get a circle you will get a circle in the centre, but if you watch here, I'm just going to add a little bit more spray glue onto here, into no man's land. That'll keep, that, that'll keep Margaret away. That'll keep her back. <laughs> so, if I go like that, what you find is these little squares in the corner are your guides. Ah. So even when you've rotated it 90 degrees, hopefully you can see that it still lines up and you're still seeing the holes through. 
Yes. So there's no skill in trying to get this right because all you do is line up your holes. There's my holes lined up, press that down, line those ones up, press that down. And I've turned that square frame into a circle. And the depth, that, and it, that is only 2D, but to That's, look at that in the image there... Yeah, that is completely flat. It looks really 3D. But it like, looks as if we're really sort of tumbling back, yeah. doesn't it? So, all I've done is then use the gold. Now, what I've done is I've taken the press cut nesting dies. These are the squares. So I've taken the stitch dot here and cut a piece of gold um, glitter card. Yeah? So I've taken a little bit of gold glitter card and cut that. Then I've used the plane and I've cut a black mat and a red mat. And again, there's a video online on my YouTube channel showing you how to make this set of, fresh set of frames like this. We're not meant to, but where do, we find, where do we find the YouTube channel? Um, you just search John Next Door. John Next if you Door. type John Next Door YouTube in, or go on to my Crafting with John Next Door and Crafts 2 Facebook group, there's a link on there. And Mr Keeler, who emails into the show, yes. our ginger prince, um, has made an entire directory of what products are in which videos oh, nice. in the files section for people. So if you need to find something. So, all I've done... So the squares just work so well because the squares are mathematically correct. Uh, we've got them on the show as well. These are back in stock. Look how many you're getting in there as well. So you're getting both of them. Uh, £22.49 and pence on two flexible payments. But you are getting 16 dies and then 32 dies in this one. 32. And look at the smallest. The smallest is that tiny, tiny little one. The smallest one, the one is a quarter of an inch square. That is tiny. Because they've all been done mathematically correct. So you have 32 dies in there, and each one is a quarter of an inch bigger than the one that precedes it exactly. Oh, my word. It's the first time anyone's ever did mathematically correct nesting dies. That is about I that mean, is... I think so. I think another company has now d done their version of it, but we were the first to get them out, and they sold out in April. And the stitch dot fit in between. So you are guaranteed to get the perfect mats and layers, which is what gives me a frame like do we, this. Do we do rectangles as well? We do. We do rectangles. And again, they're based on 7x5. OK. And they are, again, in quarter-inch increments. Nice. So they go all the way up. So if you want to have a... If you've got a 7... Let's say you've got a 6x8 card blank, you can have a 7x5 mat on it, but then you can mat that on a 7 and a quarter by 5 and a quarter, 7 and a half by 5 and a half. You can go up in size and oh, every single mat and layer, like on this set here, will be exact. That is a quarter of an inch bigger than that. That is a quarter inch bigger than that. And that is That's a quarter inch smaller, that's a quarter inch smaller. Professional. So you do get that professional look. So we've got a really nice like frame now. But again, that looks, it isn't as deep as it looks. No, it's really nice. It's, like it's a, really quite, it's I can really never say flat. this, it's the French, it's a trompe l'oeil, isn't it? A trick of the art. Yeah. But that is the idea. So we want to put a sentiment in. So what I'm going to do is, a piece of red card, can you guess where this came from? Mm, that, oh, is that the centre of the That's red? That's the centre of the square, because I'm oh, not wasting it. Oh, look at this. The goal for doing this was the centre of this square. Oh, so you're not wasting anything. No, so you put that in, and of course, because the set's on it, it doesn't matter that that red piece is smaller. You can't it's see just it. going to glue on. So what I'm going to do is put that down. I'm then going to grab the sentiments. And I'm going to go with my, my favourite Christmas sentiment has always been season's greetings. It is. It's one of those that you, it's not offensive. No. It doesn't I, offend I don't anyone. Know what it is. It's, it's, it, it's always appealed to me. But all I do to lay them out is make sure I've got that nice and straight and that's in the right place in the space. Yep. So that's season's. I take greetings. And to get that even... All you do is butt it up against that die, yeah, and make sure you've got an even space each side, roughly with your eye. That will make sure that those are on the same line and that they are centred in the middle. You know, like on your computer, yeah, when you press, when you press, the press centre that centre button. button, yeah, if you centralise those, they will be central. It doesn't matter how they've gone on my square, because I'm going to glue it on the right way. Then it will and all be. we do is we run that through my die cutting machine. And you see, and that's going to give you that professional look that they're going to be perfectly spaced out, for example, like this one. They're going to be perfectly spaced. It's not going to look odd because you've not guessed the gap in the middle. John could have quite easily made another fangled gadget that lines everything up for you, and, but then it would have cost you more. 
it would have been added on to the price. With this, it's old and full. As long as you butt them up every single time, you know they're going to work. And we can see that live now. So you see here, I pull that off. There's Season's Greetings. It does I know it's going off to an angle, but it doesn't matter. I know that it fits in that square. So that's the important thing. But when I get the little bits out, you can see... You can't actually, you know when we do a die, and a lot of crafters, very experienced crafters will know this. If I bring in a piece of black, okay, what normally happens is you, know, you get a, there's a slight impression here. Yeah. Yeah, of where the die is. But look, there's no impression there between seasons and greetings. That is completely flat. Oh, yeah. Because we buttered them up. So people can't actually even tell how that's been done. So it looks like it's been one die. It looks like it's die. one die that's done that, and that's by lining it up. But again, it's off at the moment, so it's go off on, going off on an angle. As soon as I get the frame, add a little bit more of my magic glow. glue. I can just see, get that even in the right place. And then I've got Season's Greetings. Oh, look at that. And it fits, because they were all designed to fit. And of course, if I wanted to, I could take any of the circle dies from this year's sand circles yeah. or any from the two with circles in I did last year and they will fit in that circle there. Almost as if when I designed that I made sure it was just big enough to give space for that circle to fit. It's about, it is amazing for the sheer fact there is once again there is so much more you can now achieve and it brings in the other stuff. It's not a die set that you can only use that one set at a time. Like, well, I'll have to use that one now because nothing else actually works with it. It doesn't. Everything works together. Everything has been made for a reason. Because remember, John designs all these as well. His own little fair hand sits and draws everything that you're currently seeing on your screen. Uh, oh, my word. Uh, we're going to go back and see the end of that demo, do not worry, but we are now limited stock on the complete collection. The complete collection is now limited stock. Three payments of £31.64 and pence is what you're looking at. You're saving. Remember, three lots of a fiver is what you're saving on this. Um, 659226 is your item number. Uh, this is what your finished card will look like. Look at that. But that, to me, it has a real classy look. I should no, say classy. Does. Elegant. We'll go elegant. Elegant. Well, it is classy. That's like a top shelf card. It is. Yeah. So that playing... was what we started out. So that's that one. But again, oh, identically dear. the same dies. I haven't changed a die at all. So I've not added anything more onto that. And I've got those two complete different looks. I like that. That yeah. is going to be, that's going to be pride, that's not going to be beyond the lamp. Hopefully, this is, to me, I try and design products, certainly for Christmas, so that when you send these Christmas cards out, these are the cards that people bring out every year. I yeah. made my mum a card seven years ago now for Still Christmas. Still comes out. And it comes out every year. Aww. And she classes it now as a Christmas decoration. That's what we should be making as crafters. And that's what, and that's what's that going to, that is what that's going to be. That will then become a decoration. That will then become something that maybe you know their colour scheme. Maybe their colour scheme is white and turquoise, for example, because it's the card I'm holding. You can make a card now for those. Maybe they've got an anniversary, but that technically doesn't have to be for Christmas. Magical. That could be, that could be anything that you want it to be. From there, you've got seasonal greetings with all the flowers that are on as well. How beautiful is that? But you can then change the look. Change the look of the cup. This is, uh, let me just show you on the inside. Look, look at that. Oh my word. She lag, as we call her at home, because it's spelt the Scottish way. But she's just, you know, I think it's almost like a piece of. It's like the old Angelina fibres. And then... But then, the card is to match the mm. box. Well, there's a tea light in there, no? Uh, look at the box. I don't know if it's on or not. We it was uh, on, but I think it will have run out overnight, because I forgot to turn them on. We don't turn off. them off. Uh, but look at that. Now, you give that as a gift. With that, that could be wedding. I can see wedding all over that. Wedding invitations in this one, open it up, you've got your menus in there, you've got your RSVP in there with the same sort of style, and then gifts. 
giftables. How beautiful using that poinsettia that you've got in the kit as well and the die running around. It's also on the lid that's already on there. From there, go on John, point me in the right direction. That You just said wedding. Look at that one there in the middle in white that says menu. Oh, ooh la la. So, so, so <gasps> I have to say thank you to Angie who is uh, who's on uh, as Art Angel. She's our new angel. Unfortunately, Bev stepped back, so we've got a new lady in called um, Angie. Oh, I think she follows me on Instagram. Uh, Art Angel, her stuff's amazing. She's got some canvases she's done with it. No, she does. But, she tags me in everything. Yeah, she's brilliant. She did this. So you were talking about a wedding menu. That's it done as a wedding menu. Oh. Oh, it's a Christmas menu. Well, it's a fact. Christmas menu. So, uh, roast parsnip soup with ve oh, with vegetable crisps. Ooh. Oh, I feel like Lumiere. <laughs> the candelabra from Beauty and the Baby. <laughs> uh, then we've got uh, roast turkey or goose breast. Oh, with thyme stuffing. Oh, this is what was for dessert. Jump to the good bit. Uh, plum pudding served with brandy sauce and custard. Oh, no. Oh, I, lo I love a good nice pair of plums. But that's the same dye. That's the same exactly dye. the same dye that as that? makes that card in that box. So you could theme everything across. Ain't but that? again, you don't have to be. It doesn't yeah. have to be Christmas. I try to make everything so it's not Christmas. Oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. Um, you've got a very clever bunch. Very clever bunch. Yeah. Um, there's so, we are so busy. Uh, for final call as well, remember all the prices go back up uh, when the new one day special starts this evening. Uh, but something that goes hand in hand, a, per a perfect partnership, you could call it, a bit like me and John, to be fair. Perfect partnership is your non shared glitter card. Non shared 50 sheets is what you're getting of a variety of colours white, blush, waterfall, uh, blue. You're getting black in there as well, silver, uh, waterfall colours. You're getting white. Uh, I'm going to show you some samples of what you can actually do with this. Uh, then I'll show you the colours that you're getting. Um, I don't feel I've shown enough samples this hour. Uh, but then, look at what you can achieve. Once again, non-shared. Presenters nightmare when they say, oh, you've got a glitter card on this show. My face drops because they know that everything I touch, as soon as I touch it, I'm going to be covered in glitter. Has that moved or is that the look? Um, I don't think so. I think it may have slid off. That's one of... I have to say thank you to our other Ange, so Mrs Duck. Because we have two Angers now, oh, so Mrs. we have Duck, Mrs. Duck yes. and Arthur Angel. Hum. Mrs. Duck has been doing samples for me for six years, bless her. She's an absolute angel. That's why they're called angels, because it's not a design team. They are angels who help me out by doing things for me. This is another one of Mrs. That. Duck's. But again, happy birthday. And that's using the Christmas dies and the glitter card. Then you can also, with the card stock, 80% of the card stock, by the way, I thought I'd throw that in willy-nilly. 80% uh, of the card stock now has already gone, but you can ink through it as well. This is the sort of stuff that you can now go to town with. It's a non-shed, this sums it up perfectly, the story I'm about to tell. It's a non-shed glitter card. Now on the back row, that back border that you're seeing just there, let me ditch that one. Uh, this back border is the white that we've got here as well, okay? So... Where is the white? Let me show you with my swatches. Here it is. So we have got... Oh, it's the only thing I didn't prep. This one, 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 this one. So there's your white. Okay? So you've got that glisten to it. Okay, it comes with all the other colours as well, which I'll show you in a minute, do not fear. But now you can put your inks straight onto this without the worry that the pad you're using, the brush you're using, is then all going to be glitterified. That everything else that brush is touched is going to be covered in glitter. Because look at the colourways. These are just a few of the colourways that you're getting in there. And the black one that you see, we said this at 8 o'clock this morning, is pure black. So it's not, it's just the light that we've got in the studio that gives it that sparkle. But as you said as well, Johnny, it's just a neat black. It's a neat black glitter there is nothing i mean if i actually be really naughty and bend down just to really really annoy mr baker so look at that um here we go this is mine i had to get this is lovely i bought myself a new case oh, for my nice. for my gl new glitter card it's even got its label everything has to have its label so glitter and speciality card the other <laughs> one says basic but this has pure black glitter card so this is pure black there is no colour in there. So when you're looking at it, can you see shades of blue and white? And yeah. Yeah, that is the light refraction off the foil that's put on top. Still feels like silk. But then, 
Because, and the diff where you can tell the difference, it's like looking at, you've, someone's told you something's black and then you look at it against proper black and you nice. realise it's not. That's the graphite. So that is black with silver actually in it. So you think there's silver in that, there isn't, but that's black with silver in it, which gives you that graphite shade. I love them both. But I then we took it down, sorry, this is my sort of second favourite after the waterfall. Then we went blue silver. Oh, now I get So this is you. silver with bits of blue in it, like titanium. Then we went pure silver in this set. And look how well they work. The sheen is just amazing. This is a random pack, and this hasn't been sent to me to show. And then that's the white. So when you look at the white, you see... You feel oh, like you've got nothing. It's not it's just a white And you'll get it at home, and if the light's not right, you'll think, this isn't right. But when you actually put it, when you get it in the right light, or when you get it... It's so, you can just see it there. But you, can you see there? There it there is. Can you see that? It's about the reflection. But if you look at that white glitter card against that silver, yeah? But look at that sort of white glitter card against the silver. I'm going to move that out. If you use normal white card... Yeah, now you can how see that. Look much, at that. Without being awful, against that silver, how cheap does that white card look? Yeah, it does. So the white is there for you to colour, to shade or anything, but it's also to use as a plane with your glitter cards, because not being awful, this is not cheap card, but it looks cheap to me. Yeah, no, I know what you mean when about When you look that. at it against the silver glitter card, it looks cheap, whereas that looks That's expensive. Fancy. And we mean that in the nicest we, possible yeah. way. So I use it in my northern way. It's just it's cheap, or it's. But no, but, but it's it, not I mean that, way. and I totally mean that, and I totally understand where you're getting from because you want your cards to look the best. The, you want your cards to look the best that they can be. Because if you're gifting them, you want people to talk about your card. That's what we go into the world of craft for to show off what we can achieve. But why not get the best of the best, but at the right price? Because if you look at the plethora of colour that you are getting there in all the shades and all the shimmers and everything in between, you're getting 50 sheets of this. 50 sheets that you are absolutely adore. 24 pounds and 95 pence, 879035 is your item number for your non-shared glitter card. This next one, I can't believe we've still got it. I really, really can't. For the sheer fact, let me move these because they make a terrible noise on my microphone. Uh, but let me show you, let's go into more details about the flowers that we're getting there. Now you're getting all the flowers that you already see. But look at those beautiful, those beautiful red flowers that you've got in there. Uh, so you've got the beautiful reds as well. My director's saying he had an amazing shot, then I moved the jar. I can only apologise. Uh, so, but it looks like, it looks like rainfall. You've got that slight rainfallness upon it. So you've got the red in the middle with the glass beads that's already on there. I'm guessing if you took them out, can I take this bunch out? Of course I can. Then, if we do it that way, If we do it that way, uh, it looks like a raspberry. So you could now take these and use them as raspberries, but obviously they're meant for roses. But from there, you've got the beautiful shade of pink. Oh, Adam. Oh, Adam. Oh, Adam, you had one job. Uh, then you've got the beautiful shade of pink that's in there as well. So I'm loving the pink tones uh, that we've got running through. Once again, beautiful for a wedding. Talking of weddings, this next one's nice. Look at that. That sort of off ivory colour that you've got there would look lovely. You take them and a few battery-operated twinkle lights. Oh, Oh, you had me at twinkle lights, madam. Uh, then you've got your silver in there. So these could be the centres of your flowers if you want to. Then you've also got them in gold as well. Now, let me show you one. One comes as a cluster. So that is one on its own, OK? You can quite easily get more than one flower out of that. I reckon you could possibly get... Uh, one, two, three... Let me count this way. One, two, three, four... You could get five flowers out of that. Easily. From the amount you've got in there, you could get five flowers, and look how many you're getting. You're getting so many colours. They're absolutely beautiful. If you're going into the events business, these would look nice just scattered on a table. Uh, because you've also got that nice bit of thread underneath, uh, just wrapped around um, a hanky at the Christmas table. 
wrap around your napkin with a napkin ring as well. Um, absolutely love them. I really, really do. There is so much uh, you can get out of these. Let me move the jar. Leave it like that. Uh, so, leave it like that. Looks nice. Uh, then, from there, I'll make them look pretty, don't worry. Uh, from there, what we can then do is talk about snow. Uh, we all love a bit of snow, but we love snow on cars because... Oh, can I make it look nice? It will trick you my OCD otherwise. 70% of the extended stock of the snow has already gone. I'm just, I'm just making this, the things look nice with a bit of snow. But this is what you can use it for. See, I use snow in my house to dress. Literally to dress my stuff. I've got ornaments and we put snow around with little Mickey Mouse characters. <laughs> Oh, don't make me laugh. I've got a cute angina. Now, uh, nine pounds and nine, I could go at any time. Nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. Four seven zero one five. Look, one eight five is your item number. These are going to be dispatched on the sixteenth of August. Is what we're looking at now. Uh, my Meg, bless her. She's she's all fingers and thumbs today. Oh, she's all of a dither. She walked in this morning, saw she was working with me. She went all of a she went all weak at the knees. Do it all of a quiver. I was like, don't worry, Meg. Oh, it's fine. Don't worry. Even now, she's all. Bless her. Uh, I don't know what it is. It must be, must be me cologne. I'm wearing brute today. You see, I think it's that. I think it's the, I think it's the brute that I got. I got a brute and a bit of Febreze. I think it's the, I think it's the vintage orchid. <laughs> <laughs> that gets her every time. So, at nine pounds and ninety nine pence, you're getting the snow and you're getting the the, the vessels as well. I'm. The, Little jar, basically. I was just trying to think of a snazzy word. Uh, you're getting 12 of them as well, is what you're getting. Absolutely love them. £9.99. pence. I would stock up if I was you, because we all love a little jar. We like to keep things in stuff, don't we? All love a little jar. Shop by brand, I'm being told, by quivering Meg in my ear. Uh, shop by brand, everything's on there. You can also have the things individually as well. If you wanted to, you can also shop by brand. Everything's on there. You've got the glitter card on there. You've got dyes on there as well. Even stuff that we've not even touched on this hour is all on the website. You'll find stuff on there. Uh, five star reviews after five star reviews with our John. As we said before, you've got daubers on there. But you know what? Get daubers. Get the brushes. Get them nice little pads that we've got on the shows as well. Oh, there's loads on here. Scenes, look. Uh, magazines on there as well. All sorts. Check the website out. Shop by brand. Uh, can you buy it any time? Right then. We haven't got long left so let's hand over to my partner in crime oh yeah it's our john hello i don't know where the time has gone i know where's it go it flies by doesn't it it's crazy so gonna make a really quick one yeah okay so i'm gonna basically do this but i want to show you the difference so what we'll find is this has been done with the glitter card from the blues colors like. Yeah, and I've just used the sand circles, but what I did was I used plain white card, and I want to show you the difference between the plain white card and actually making it with a white glitter card. Because as we said, it has more of an expensive look. So what you would do, and I mean, this is, this is me and this is me at home, and when I've got my very first A4 die cutting machine, I'm really sorry for whoever has to sweep up here, Matt. Um, I've no idea who it is, Matt, at all. Um, but when I used my first ever die for die cutting machine, I put as many dies as I possibly could on the plates and ran it through and nothing cut. Oh. And I was so disappointed. And the reason was I was asking too much. So if I ask this to cut this centre, so when I actually, if I try and cut this centre in here at the same time, I'm asking too much. So if something is difficult, you know my attitude. If something's difficult, don't do it. No, that's true. Yeah, find a way around. So I'm just going to cut that one first. What? And this is detailed and glitter card, oh, so I'm going to shim it. No, I was going to say, we've had a lovely email. Ooh. We've had a lovely email in from Angie, your art angel. Uh, she says, I want to thank both John and Sam for a wonderful opportunity. Oh. It's been an honour to work with you and the new collection. Oh, uh, she's looking forward to making loads of new projects and she urges everyone to check out as you won't be disappointed. And that's not from me, that was from our Angie, one of the art angels uh, that created... What did she create? She created... If there's the canvas there oh. is one of hers. Go and have a look at the canvas under, Mr. under the Ginger Princess picture. This is just using the leaves. But also in front of you to the right hand side of the poinsettia, there's two boxes. That's jewellery she made out of the leaves as well. What this? Yeah, so that canvas is made out of the poinsettia leaves dye. Well, it took me 24 hours no, to not find that. this. That tree was Rashan. Oh. 
Well done, Michelle. But that's nice. Box, if you put that brown box, oh, this one. That, that's actually a necklace and earrings that she made out of the leaf. What guys. is the stuff in it? Yeah. Oh, we will get back to demo. I can only apologise. It's all right. I'm only pricking bits out at the moment, <gasps> so don't worry. <coughs> oh, it's like a bit more exhale than I needed to. Look at that. Well done, Angie Mullis. How has she done that? Shrink plastic? No, she's actually cut them out of card that she'd covered in the crafts too. Remember the foil sheets that we had? They are still on the, in on the internet. Oh, yeah, it's pieces of on card. On the website. Um, but she's just cut them out of the um, proper, it is proper metal foil. Yeah, so she's covered oh. it in there and then she added some glossy accents, I believe, to do the um, flowers on there. She's a keeper. She's a keeper. She is, but she was a guest and she's done so well, so I think she'll she probably be doing well? some more. So she made that as <gasps> well. And she made the bracelet. Not just the charm, but the bracelet as well. Well, she made the bracelet as well in here? Yeah. I'm going to try, I'm going to try. It's on. a Kurami or whatever, you know, someone at home will be able to tell me exactly what it is. Oh, but, yeah, but it, it really gives me the opportunity to say thank you to Art Angel, to Mrs. Duck Angel, Ange, because uh, they've got two Anges now. Um, it, say thank you to Maxine, to say thank you to Rashan, to June, to Sheila, to Julie, uh, to Bev, to everybody, to Emma, everyone who's helped out and made samples because the girls have gone crazy. And I know we try and show everything, but we never do. We never get a chance to show everything. Never enough but time. Just thank you guys for that I, from the bottom of my heart. That's why I call them my angels, because they are. You know, they, there are there are samples on the back, there are samples over there, there are samples in boxes down here, there are just so many. But every single sample has been photographed by Sam and is available on the Crafting with John Next Door and Crafts 2 group. Oh, that's good. So there is, I think there's over 80 pictures, and it only takes one picture of each one. So there's over 80 pictures available on there for people to actually look at for inspiration for this, just this collection. Oh, I like, I like. What are we up to? So what I'm doing is, because this is glitter card, and it's made with a foil, so you'll see every piece is coming out, yeah? Yeah. But every piece I'm having to just tease out. Now, if you're concerned and don't like doing this, just shim it a bit heavier, but I wanted to show you this. See that star in the middle is a perfect star. So don't waste that, because that is a perfect star. And that actually means you could use that for your, but look at the glitter. So keep that for shaker cards. That's oh, what like. you put in your pots. Keep your extra keep pots it all. Until the 31st of August. Talking about keeping things. So, I've got myself a nice bracelet. I would take these off. Uh, you can't, unfortunately, because we did this, we showed it on Croft Cave Live the other night, and Sam said he really, really wanted it. So I said, Angie, let me know, you know, what, what I need to do to sort of try and get this. And she basically said, it's yours, Sam. So unfortunately, it's already Sam's. Um, but, um, and the thing is, I know that, I, you know, they say sort of, possession is nine-tenths of the law, but I'm bigger than you. <laughs> I get that off your wrist, trust me. I'm shorter as well. I've got a lower centre of gravity. Well, you could try an earring. I just have to go for the earrings and necklace. Chris. I actually quite like the necklace. I could wear that. Well, you could. I, so I love it. So what I've done is I've put down now the actual stag's die that comes in this set. I so love this die. We'll just do that one. I just think There's they're... something about stags I yeah. actually like. I mean, like, we've got them in virtually every room of our house. I love them. In one form or another. I've got a beautiful paint picture of a printed stag in a shirt and tie in our downstairs loo that Jodie from Tonic bought us. Oh. Um, but yeah, you can see, but you see what I mean? These all come out and I'm going to really struggle to get these. I, the only one I'd not prepped ahead of, I prepped it in normal card and I really wanted to show the difference. So I'm not going to get this all pricked out. But again, this card, I have done this on YouTube. So you YouTube. can watch on the YouTube channel and you'll see this, the actual card I'm making now, full demonstration. They're about 10, 15 minutes. I make them as quick as I can because it's really boring to listen to one voice for too long, I always find, when I'm watching these videos. So. Did she do that one as well? She did. Oh. Look at, she excels at, you look at but that. But it shows something different that you can do with the, that's with the poinsettia leaves again. <sighs> Just me. Yeah, so I'm not gonna get all the bits out, but I'm gonna I'm gonna make it up anyway. So all I'm gonna do What is he doing? Oh yeah. I was blowing snow so it looked like it was fire, but I did it the wrong way. It come out the other end. <laughs> so we'll pretend I'll actually stick some flowers on that. So I've taken here a piece of the but can you see 
how much better oh, I love that. that looks on the white glitter card than on plain white card. But that to me looks, I don't know why, that looks classier than that. Yeah. Because that like the, snow globe the, the glitter created. card just really, really works. So I've made another set of frames using the nesting dies. And this time I haven't put any foam Sa tape Sam, on it, so. Sam can have his bracelet, I've decided. Yeah, it's not because can, of the voices you, Sam, in your you head have just told Sam, you, you can have your nice. bracelet, I don't mind, because we've had a nice email from Angie. She's going to make my own. <laughs> oh, bless her. But I don't I, have anything. I have a request. Can we make it just a little smaller? I've only got little wrists. <laughs> <laughs> I've only got little, tiny, tiny little wrists. On my yeah, you see, if you had that one, it would keep falling off. It would. It's the right really size big. for Sam. But I love it. And I'll, wear it on, I'll wear it on the telly box. I'll, I'll wear it on the telly box. So, it. just on there. If you want me to wear anything on the telly box, send it to me. <laughs> Kimonos, <Yeah>. dressing gowns. <laughs> so send it to Adam Humphreys, care of Hochanda <laughs> Limiters, Neen House now. <laughs> Better not give the whole thing. Can you Hannah, imagine? Really. But you can, you, the address can be found online really, really easily. <laughs> I'll wear it. You send me a shirt, I'll wear it. So I've just done that. And again, it's, to me, it's got a lot more of a classier look. So I'm going to take three, because these stamens oh, are I so beautiful. These. They really are. They will work on their own and they're wire wrapped. So, you don't need to have any flowers. They don't have to be centres of flowers. They'll just work. And again, this is a card that wouldn't necessarily have to be for Christmas. It would actually work for all year round. So, I'm just going to cut that off. This would also be nice with lights around them, because I think they'd glisten with yeah. the lights. Oh, it really would. I'd put the bow on, and my hot glue gun's gone off again, so we'll leave that like that. But you can see, and to me, that looks nicer done with the white card. Yeah. So if I hold it there, so I can hold you, that's that one. Yeah. Okay. So the ball, oh, the, the thing, the beads going to fall off this one, okay. But, haha. -ha. But that one, to me, yeah, has a better look it. with that white glitter card. That's starker. It, get, it really, yeah. and, the, and it'd be one of those things that you would never have noticed. No. If we hadn't pointed it out, you would have gone, oh, that's a beautiful sample, beautiful, beautiful sample. But it's only when you change that slight, subtle thing, you change it slightly, and you add that white glitter card in, that to the naked eye, just, it looks got a lot of glitter, but when you actually look at it up close, when you look at it up close and personal, as it were, you think, yeah, it's got it. It's got that sparkle, and it will take your cards genuinely to the next level. And if you are going to sell them at craft fairs, you can charge that little bit extra for them as well. We're very busy, but remember, this is the final live show that we've got. If you've got anything in your baskets now, I would start checking it out, because I really don't want you to miss out on the amazing deal that you are getting here. Uh, thank you, John. When are you back? Thank you. Um, oh, the... I think it's about the 10th of August. We'll see you in a couple of weeks' I got time. A couple of weeks off. Oh, very well, nice. Well, not off, but I'm not here for a couple of weeks. But don't need you. Don't you go anywhere. There's so much more to shop for here in the wonderful world of Achanda. I'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning at 7. Ta da! Oh, I can't believe I'm getting my own bracelet. Oh, it'd be lovely. Oh, guess what's next? Yes, she's here in the flesh. La Blanche is back. Hi, I'm Katrina from Rowan Dean. We're a small family business that design embroidery kits. Embroidery has always been my passion and I'd love to show you how to do some of the stitches and some of the kits. We're based in Derbyshire and I'm really inspired by the landscape and flora of Derbyshire and I think other people will be too. Our kits are really easy and I hope they inspire you to have a go at stitching. Since we've been on Hachanda, we've had a great time. Everybody's been really friendly and really good. We've met loads of people all around the country who watch Hachanda and find it really inspiring. Don't forget to join me on my own Dean shows on Hachanda. Welcome to Hachanda.
Chanda's Five Days of Christmas. Are you struggling for ideas or need a little extra creative assistance as you start your crafty preparations for Christmas 2020? From Thursday the 23rd of July at 6pm to Tuesday the 28th of July at 6pm, we'll be bringing you five days of Christmas crafting. Tune in and be inspired by Pink Ink, Sentimentally Yours, Clarity Stamp, John Next Door, Le Blanche and many, many more as they help you get into the crafty Christmas spirit. Also, as an early Christmas treat from us to you, make a purchase of any item and you will automatically be given a £5 credit to spend against any purchase of £30 or more the following day. And you can do this every day throughout our event. So get ready for Christmas 2020 by tuning in to our five days of Christmas from the 23rd of July at 6pm. Hi, I'm Bev. Hi, I'm Sam. And we're from Be Crafty. Be Crafty is a family-run company. Sam is my sister. And we love bringing brand new products to Hachanda. We manufacture and design all our own ranges of stamps, inkables, MDF, lots and lots of inspiration that we love to bring and share with you. If you tune in to Hachanda to join us, you'll see that mine and Bev's style are totally different. But what that does is it brings you lots of styles and techniques that you can include in your crafting too. Our ranges are increasing all the time with the lovely hand-drawn images that Sam and myself are trying to bring to you, plus the fantastic new designs that we like to bring in the inkables, in the dinkables and the MDF as well. So you can use them across all different sorts of crafts and bring the best we can to Hachanda too. So make sure you don't miss the Bee Crafty shows on, on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Jenny Mays from Hobby Art. Hobby Art's a family-run company and we've been designing and manufacturing stamps for over 28 years now. We have an extensive range of clear and rubber stamps and we're proud that they're all manufactured in Britain. Whatever your style, there's always something that will interest you with Hobby Art stamps. Crafting is my passion and I love teaching. I love sharing my ideas with other people. This is why I enjoy being part of the Ho Chanda family, because I have the time to share my ideas, maybe open a door for somebody and give them the confidence to start stamping. So make sure you join me, Jenny Mays, on Ho Chanda. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door. I'm lucky enough to have been a guest on Hachanda since day one. The John Next Door brand is designed to bring high quality, innovative products to the crafting market. The range includes stamps, dies, and new products such as the media plates. I'm also looking to expand the brand and bring you lots of new techniques, new ideas, and new products into the next few years. So don't forget to tune in and watch the John Next Door shows on Hachanda. Feast your eyes on the fantastic La Blanche one day special which we are launching this evening with the Christmas theme. Everything you are seeing is part of the one day special with some extras in there as well which we'll come to in a moment. But absolutely glorious. I mean, it's a visual feast, isn't it? So this is what we had to start with. This is just an example of some of the glorious um, pieces that you could make, some of the projects that you could be creating with this fantastic one day special. And I am as giddy as a kipper. I'm so excited because I've heard about her. I've seen the glorious products. I've never met her, but she's here with me this evening. Hello, and we know we're better off as Blanche. Hello, hello. good evening. Hello. Hello. I'm oh. very glad to be here now. Oh. It's so long ago. <laughs> it is, it is, isn't it? All the way over from Munich. And yes. uh, yeah, and uh, we're going to have so much such a good evening with you so this is fantastic um, well I'm going to describe the one day special and then uh, we'll go down the counter with a few other extras but then we'll get straight to the La Blanche because I, I know you want to uh, see the demonstrations as well now this is phenomenal value because you are getting within this uh, decoration kit you are getting 12 intricate mini frames now these are beautiful resin frames here 
each one with a different shape and size and different intricacies in terms of their ornamental uh, look in terms of the resin you are getting 14 boxes here to my side now the last time we had the round boxes on that was slightly larger they flew out so you are getting five of the round you are getting six of the, the square there you are also getting these beautiful beautiful um, folding books yes they're almost like book boxes aren't they and they're in three different sizes small medium and large absolutely stunning and then we're also getting these metal embellishments have a little look at these you've got these beautiful corner pieces here at the side you've got these fantastic two sets of the four different feet three of I suppose knobs is the only way I can describe it three of the different handles the knobs there as well and then we've also got the screws now everything in this one day special is a mere 32 pounds and 98 pence you are saving a massive 21 pounds it's incredible value but it's also darn gorgeous Blanche, why do you love this one day special that you've created yourself? Yes. What's so brilliant yeah. about it? Yes, it's for Christmas. I think you always need a box. And I love to work with boxes. I love to work with decoupage. We have the heat bendable borders now. And you can do so many things with these boxes. And this is a perfect quality. This quality, you can paint with these. You can cover these with decoupage. Uh, we have the, f the feet. And the boxes are like 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 a, a piece of jewelry like yeah. a decoration piece when they are ready they really are and I love the fact that we've got these adornments to yes, embellish yes. them even further with that ornamental beauty I mean it really makes them special doesn't yes, it there's yes. something about opening a box which is more special yes, yes, than, yes. than just the present is there isn't it you use the reveal the excitement of what's yeah. inside isn't it <laughs> so exciting and the other exciting news is we've also got a giveaway for you because when you order you will get for free this beautiful Christmas tree mold which makes a stunning mold like this isn't that gorgeous you will get that absolutely free for purchasing in this hour or the next two hours let me just show you some of the ideas that um, Blanche has come up with and of course it's on first come first served yeah we have a good quantity but I promise you it will run out judging by uh, when I've seen the little Blanche shows already already very busy you're shopping ahead and also I just want to mention the add-ons you know when you uh, complete your web order or indeed on the phone this is like that extra little order you can have because these fit perfectly with the resin frames that's the reason I want to flag that up you've got these four fantastic sheets with numerous beautiful beautiful um, pictures on there you've got the smaller postage stamp size there look how many you've got on there and these will work perfectly with those resin frames so I just want to flag that up for you because that is well worth add on in terms of adding to your order this evening all right I know we want to see the demonstration so I'm going to get through as much as I can as quickly as I can so this is 32 pounds 98 for the one day special 632549 10% is already gone you know when La Blanche is on the show it is always always very popular now it's dispatched on the 5th of August that's the only other thing I need to make sure I tell you so uh, that's the same with everything we show you this evening and uh, a lot of what we're going to be talking about um, Blanche is going to be using anyway so we'll uh, keep flagging up everything that we've got on the show this evening but don't forget to check out your basket and uh, loads of finished samples here with a one day special also using the decoupage papers as well um, if I just look at some of these now that we've got in front of us I want to show you these uh, decoupage papers that we've got that Blanche has kindly put onto boards for me so you get uh, this is a set of four uh, different designs but you get eight sheets in total so two of each you've got a fantastic checkerboard uh, pattern there I mean just look at this ornate beautiful filigree work isn't that gorgeous that is stunning I mean why have you chosen these designs Blanche I like the rectangles yeah, uh, it's because classic. this is um, matches perfect with uh, paints if you like um, later I will present uh, how you make it very old very in vintage with, with crackle paste yeah. or with crackle varnish if you like these you can it's it's white and black and you can um, cover these a little bit with color if you like you make it brown with a, a, a lazur gel or glaze Ooh. if yeah. you like and the other colors are very uh, warm warm, Sepia, yes, warm, warm, warm and indigo blue and uh, it's very warm and I like with gold it's combined with gold and I uh, like stripes too always stripes <laughs> yes it's perfect for backgrounds and these are um, matching 
decoupage papers for the boxes. Yes, yeah. So we can see those on yes. these fantastic samples here. You're getting eight of that large uh, size there, eight of those four designs, 1299, 395, 933. Again, amazing value. And as you can see, you can see them here within some of the samples here that Blanche has brought. And obviously, we'll talk about the Lazio, we'll talk about the Crackle paints as well. And, and Blanche is going to be using them throughout, so we'll get those all up on the configuration on the screen. Something I do want to mention uh, with the decoupage papers, 12, uh, 20% has already gone. I do want to just mention the, the moulding borders because I've seen Leona use these. They're a metre each. You get five different designs. And uh, I, I've seen the magic of what happens yes, when you add these a These are heat bendable, yes. If you yeah. um, heat these uh, with a heat tool, I like to do it with a heat tool, not yeah. with a normal um, hair dryer. Yeah. dryer. Yeah. Um, uh, it's very quick and they, you can bend these. These look like wood and you can paint these, you can cut these and I, I think it's it's something happens with the box if you do do this kind of border around the lid. Yes, absolutely. It, 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 it gives it that lovely finish, yes. and it, it's almost it's taking it out of the box. Yes, it, it looks ornamental, doesn't yes. it? It's, it looks like like an, a, a decoration object in a very expensive store. Yeah, absolutely. It reminds me of those beautiful ornate Renaissance ceilings yeah, yes. and what it, have it you. It doesn't and, look like a yeah. craft object. It, no. it's really look like a ready, uh, very high or very expensive. Definitely yes. antique, yes. almost. Antique, yeah. Yes, yes. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> so we've got those on the show. Seventeen ninety nine eight two nine five nine. Four. Busy already for those. Um, like I said, I'm just going to go through a few of these because um, Blanche is going to be using the majority. We've also got the crackle varnish you can see there as well. So if you see this this beautiful uh, piece behind us, you'll have seen the usage of crackle varnish there. And we've got um, the classic there. And we've also got the antique paste, which gives us the aging, doesn't yes, it, to yes, your papers? Yes, this is uh, bitumen. It's a very brown. It's with oil based. And... Um, Everything you you um, cover with these bitumen or with these antique paste looks very uh, old. It you 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 got these um, like 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 dirty, a little bit dirty in the in the corners. Yes. It because this is looks very old. If it you work ages with it, yes, doesn't ages, it? Yes. Like an old photo yes, that's yes. gone sepia like. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, I know Blanche is going to be using that 10.99 for component A and B to give you that crackle, and then that that beautiful beautiful. Um, uh, the pace there as well, 849061. You've probably seen already here on the table these amazing ornaments. Um, they look like Christmas baubles, but they've, oh, they're stunning. Now you are getting four of these. Um, I'm just going to hold these two up because this is what, what they look like originally, and you get two of each design. And just look at that finish. Tell me about these then, Blanche. Yes. I uh, love to work with the metallic wax paste to work on these resin um, balls. You can. Um, hang these if you like we have samples here behind me or you put it in a in Ooh. a wreath like this yes. here <gasps> yes amazing it's, it's, it's really nice <gasps> and you can we have uh, paints from pentacolor here and you can cover this first with a paint and then with a metallic wax and it looks really old and vintage and very expensive fantastic like they're, they're, and they're sturdy aren't they <laughs> yes, yes they really yes, are yes. fantastic for all four of those they're 9998 and a quick mention of the matte wax there that uh, Blanche spoke about we've got it the wax paste in the metal the silver and the gold there to really give you that antique finish there and I know a lot of us love using that wax paste 9.99 the gold and do we, do we get both for that price yes, yes oh price. it's a steal get in there quick 728589 for both of those brand new today um, I'm just going to move over to the last but not least um, penultimate item here. We've got the crackle paste and the wax paste, and then we've got this is what uh, Blanche mentioned earlier, the lazure. And if we look at some of the actual boxed books, am I right in saying it yes, kind of yes. ages it again? Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, yes, and now normally the paper is white and black, and if you look on the, on the surface of the box, yeah. it looks aged. It looks yes. old, it's a little bit creamy. Uh, the the colour, it's not clear white yeah. now. Yeah, it takes away, it takes the edge yeah, off the yes. brightness and, like you said, ages it. Fantastic! So that's an amazing set as well that Blanche is going to be using. And again, look at that price! Phenomenal prices, massive savings here this evening. Thirteen ninety nine nine six zero nine eight one. And of course, she'll be using the wax paste and the crackling paste as well. I do just want to quickly mention these last two as well because oh, they're so beautiful. The clear and the gold pearls. Now these come in um, two hundred twenty five kilogram bags, and we've got. 
three different ones yes, here, haven't we, Blanche? Different. Yes, we uh, these are glass uh, glass uh, beads, and you you have one with a little bit gold finish inside. Yeah. Then you have one uh, clear. It's 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 like brown and brown clear, and you get the the longer one in white. And I like to cover some some votive candles with these, but I like to work with these in mixed media too. Mm. If you see the layout in front of you, yes. there is a there is a frame around the layout. No, no, a layout on the on the right, more more on the right. More <laughs> the right here. Yeah, this there one. we go. This yes. all here. Yes, yes I see, remember you saying. I work saying, a yeah. lot with the with the beads around the frame. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, just nestled yeah. in there yeah. again. Yes. Uh, added sparkle yeah, yes, there. That as, added as you have more sparkle in your in the layout, and uh, I will present how it works. It's very easy to do this. Fantastic! The clear and the gold pearls there. Twelve ninety nine one six zero two five zero, and we've also got the mediums there for obviously, which Blanche will demonstrate the paste primer and the heavy body gel for the adherence to the uh, the bottles and the and the frames and what have you and your cardstock 13.99 there uh, 230 milliliter both of those you are getting both for 13.99 um you've noticed these these are beautiful now these are the christmas wishes decoupage set and you're getting 12 sheets and you're getting four designs again exquisite look at these um can you tell me a little bit about these because this is a different this is a departure again a whole different set isn't mm -hmm. it Yes, uh, this is um, decoupage. We have two uh, different designs. We have one the uh, the, the rose uh, color designs like these mm -hmm. with the Santa Claus, and for this we have a background with all the yes, a background motifs with all the angels. Yes, I think this is perfect for backgrounds and uh, the the sheet before you you, sh uh, you show the first time is are the centerpieces and the third motif yes these are the centerpieces and we have a very calm background with on only the snowflakes yeah like these <laughs> ah gorgeous they're absolutely stunning 12 yeah. sheets four designs three of each 17.99851820 but i do want to mention the shrink wrap the Yes, oh, these are stunning. Now, these are on the glass jars, yeah, are they? These are the matching uh, designs, uh, like oh. the decoupage papers, mm -hmm. and you uh, you get I oh I don't know you get 12, you get twelve, 12, 12 sheets. Twelve yeah. sheets. These are twenty five centimeters high uh, for for the larger um, vases like these for the larger jars. And you c this is really um, upcycling deluxe. You can cover all the jars. You only need a pot with boiling water, nothing else. And they look like like porcelain, like really Chinese porcelain when you are ready. You have these samples in front of you. You have these uh, jars. I'm looking forward to seeing those being used. So you get four of each of those three different designs. They always prove popular, and um, um, a third of those have already gone. So twelve ninety nine seven six zero two nine nine. Let's have a quick look at the website. Don't forget your free tree Christmas tree mold whenever you buy anything on this uh, fantastic show with Blanche, and that is while stocks last on a first come first serve basis. There's loads on the website there. Don't forget we're on a double launch, so the second hour will feature different products. There's a little hint as you can see them down the counter here behind us so uh, it really is on a first come first served basis everything is on there if you need it so do shop ahead because we are extremely busy okay Blanche if you're ready I'm going to hand straight yes, over to you yes I start with one box um, I want to show you how it how we do this a box like this the lid with crackle and the bottom with decoupage first we need one layer of gesso we have the gesso um, the primer paste, it's called primer paste from Pentacolor. It's in the kit with a heavy body gel. And first I do one layer of the gesso here. And now I cut the decoupage paper. I dip the decoupage paper into water only for a few seconds. And in this time I do one layer of this decoupage glue silky shine on this bottom. Um, you uh, do not mix the decoupage glue with with water. Work with these like it is. It's very thick, but please work with these like it is. No mixing with water, please. Okay, now I take the decoupage paper out of my water, like this, and start.
Okay. So you just soak them in water to make it more sort of malleable? Yeah, uh, Blanche? yes. Uh, when you put it, in, this is um, pattern and paper. Normally, if you put a paper into water, uh, the print will destroy. Yeah. Uh, and here you can wait, I will show this. I take a kitchen cloth or a kitchen towel like this. And now I wipe over the paper. Uh, and you see, no wrinkles are here. <gasps> nothing else. I wipe over this and I wipe out all the rests of glue and uh, water. You see? Okay, now I cut cut here the rest it's very easy the paper is um, smooth and it's easy to glue these on corners like this I think you can see this perfectly now okay right. if there's any wrinkle like this you can take the paper and wrap it again over at the bottom. Okay. Now you see it's perfectly covered. And here the rest. Okay. Right. So I start and go over the rest of the paper like here that's no problem 20 percent of the one day specials already gone just flag that up to everybody watching okay. yes um if you have this is a very very good quality from from the boxes uh, if you work with so much water like this I, d I do here with these boxes if you have not a good quality the boxes um Biegen sich. Huh? Warp. 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 Yeah, they yes. start yeah, to lose their shape, yes, won't yes. they? Yeah. They don't stay in the form. They don't stay in the form. Here, yeah. yes. Okay. That's all. Let it keep, uh, let it dry for a moment and then you can cover this with a pouring glaze, with one mm. layer of pouring glaze. It's a perfect varnish. If you don't want uh, the, the um, glossy shine, mm -hmm. you can cover this with the same decoupage glue. It's a silky shine. Yeah. Then you have a silky shine cover of this. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we go to the lid. And for the lid, we work with the, the crackle varnish. And here I do first one layer of the component one. It's called component one. It's a two component um, crackle varnish. And here's the same. You see, it's very thick. Mm. Do not mix this with water. Take no. it like it is. Straight from the pot. Yes, yes. Yeah. So you start with A first, like it says, A first, and then you would put on B. Is that right, uh, yeah. Blanche? Yeah. Okay. It's not so easy when it's so thick, but you need it for wonderful crackles. You need it thick like it is. Okay. Here, a little bit like this. Okay. Now, you can, um, don't let it dry or don't let it completely dry. Okay. Um, it's better if you work with a with a hair dryer or a, yes here you need a hair dryer not a not a heat tool because the heat tool is too hot it's 140 degrees and here it's a hair dryer uh, we can speed up the drying a little bit but uh, it has to be dry finger dry okay okay not so much it needs not too long but it needs a little bit. <laughs> you can speed it up. Okay. When it's wet, it's it's white, yes. and when it's really dry, it's transparent. Right. Okay. And you need something between this. Yes. Okay. Half you can between. go with your finger. Okay. Here it's too. Here it's sticky. It's yeah. a little bit too wet. Here it's it's perfect. On the on the right corners, it's perfect. Okay. I think it's enough. Okay, now take the second component and 
here I give you a tip. Uh, go over these. Not too thin. If you work very thin, you have very small thin crackles. Yeah. If you a thick layer, you have larger crackles. Okay. And now go with your fingers over these like this. Because if you don't do these, the crackles are like the brush stripes. Oh, okay? yes, I understand. And now yeah. I work with my fingers like this and I destroy all the brush stripes. Like, okay? And here's the same. Let it stay a little bit and then you can speed up the drying. And with a hairdryer, please. Yeah. Wait a little bit. Okay, now. Okay. This is always the matter when you start to see those I big crackles. I do not crackles. know if you see the crackles, but we have yeah. all the crackles now. We have this. Yeah. <laughs> we, start, but we can. We can start to see them. Uh, I can I, see I, them. I, yeah. Yes. That's you it, can yeah. see these, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. they're big pots, I think aren't you they? see yeah. all the crackles here. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yes. There we go. That's the one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And it really needs seconds. Yeah, I mean, what, that's I, so I quick. Think two minutes to yeah, do this. That's amazing. Okay. Okay. Now I. Yes. Okay. Now we take the borders. The 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 borders come in a roll, and uh, before before you do anything with these, you have to heat these. Yes. And it's very easy if you do it with a heat tool because yeah. the heat tool is hot enough, mm -hmm. and it, it's quick to do these. Um, here I roll roll out the border and paint it with one color of the our um, deco paint kit from Pentacolor. It's it's the dark blue we have in the back side. It's yeah. it's a kit with uh, four colors. I have these colors here. I wait. That's the good thing about these. Yeah. They, they they stiffen and then you can just soften them again with the heat, can't you? Yes. Yeah. It's. Uh, if you heat these borders, they are very flexible. You can see, if you do this, look look here. Starting it's, to bend, yeah. yeah. We'll get those paints up for you there, yes. Blanche. There's yes. the Pentart Decor Paint Collection. Cardinal Red, Ice Blue, Denim and Blackberry. Only 11 treble two, two, six, one. Okay. Okay. Um, it's easier to fix these borders with the with the hot glue because the hot glue is it's dry directly. If it's okay. cold, it's dry. Uh, if you do this with the with the um, with the wet glue, it's not so easy. Okay, now I start. Like this. We'll get those borders up on the screen now as well, because you are getting five, and they're all very, very different, and each one is a massive one metre each. I would go for a couple of sets, because I've seen Leone working with these. They're astounding. 17 829 for five of those. There's one that's almost like Aztec-y. It's, it's, it's absolutely gorgeous, so um, a metre of each of those. Okay. And you can um, you can cut it. It's no problem to cut these borders, and um, you can put put these borders together if you have like this here. Not okay. And I need a rest. I have something like this from here to okay. Now I hit it here, and then I will cut it there. Yeah, that's enough. Let me sh look. What's I want a perfect cut like this. Yeah, okay. I have to heat it again to bend these. Mm -hmm. But you see, it goes very quick with the heat tool. OK. 
okay and here you see it's a rest I yeah. need to cut it here too I hit it again and then I go with my to perfect make a perfect fit. cut like, like yeah. this fantastic and now we want to show the crackles here for this we work with the antiquing paste we and get that in can, the set don't you we? can do this with a uh, with a uh, with a brush if you like or with a um, with a cloth how do you like okay I go like this a little bit more in the corners and here a little bit more okay and to clean up take a kitchen towel too because if you take um, a smooth cloth you wipe out all um, all the antique pieces out of the crackers. You're taking away all the colors. Yes, yeah. yes. Because okay. you, need, uh, you need a flat like this yeah. and then you can you see. It's almost like rubbing it into it aren't yes. you? Yeah. You can wipe it into this. Yeah. I, I never ceases to amaze me that effect. I absolutely love it. Okay and now it's it's your turn if you want to show the crackles all the crackles are only uh, at the corners uh -huh. okay if, if you do more here in like these you have you show all the crackles you see yeah you can choose where you want yeah. to emphasize it if you have a picture around now it's only only a, 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 a paint mm -hmm. if you have a picture from from um, from decoupage a face or something like this mm -hmm. I always crackle the whole picture but with the antiquing paste I go I don't go over the eyes or over the face okay because then the face looks you can't see the face so perfectly when you have so many crackles around these oh, that's because a good tip. of these yeah. I go only like only around if there's the face I go mm -hmm. only around these and the yeah. face I'll, I'll leave it right okay, okay? That's, that's good to know yeah if so you've got your focal point there then haven't you okay now we work with these with the gold metallic wax I take this Ooh, with yes. my fingers I always love to do this with my fingers because if you work with the fingers you have the gold only on the top remember you're getting the silver and the gold both of those huge pots there for 9.99 it really brings those molds to life doesn't it makes you think that they're metal yes let it dry for for a minute and then you can polish this too okay I take now we, we need to for polishing you need a, a soft cloth and I now I go through these and wait it's, it's a little bit wet beautiful and it's finished if oh. you like to use one of the glass knobs oh it's yes, really nice yes. To do on, on top here <gasps> yes and uh, to one layer of the uh, decoupage glue or the pouring glaze around the bottom of this fantastic or if you like to one of these frames and put the frames on the top gorgeous absolutely is it, would it be all right to recap the one day special before yes, I come back to you like. is that okay yes, sure, sure. thank you Blanche um, this is uh, the one day special obviously we're getting 14 of those amazing boxes so you're getting um, six of the square you're getting five of the circular and you're also getting the the beautiful book boxes three of those that you can see stacked there in the picture now the frames um, Blanche was referring to you getting 12 of those all different shapes and sizes with the different um, embellishments around the size there and then you you're also getting the the knobs that um, Blanche just referred to corner uh, pieces there as well and two sets of different feet plus your screws all for an amazing 32 pounds 98 the 632549 you'll also get first come first served an app free tree Christmas tree mold there let me just show you that uh, and so that can adorn to the front of your um, boxes or indeed your beautiful crafting cards and don't forget your add-ons which work perfectly with those resin frames uh, that you can choose to have those gorgeous um, cards there at the end there that will look beautiful with the vintage resin frames as well.
as well and work gorgeous with uh, the one day special everything's on the web there so shop ahead as i know you already are because we've got so much in this hour and then there's a different launch in the second hour all of our blanches and you don't forget your ornaments and the decoupage kits there as well and those foils which i know always approve popular right let's go straight back to blanche yes a very quick demonstration for the resin balls um, here on the resin boards I take uh, I do one layer of the deco paints and I want to show you how easy and how quick it works with the metallic wax oh. take some some cloth like these mm -hmm. and now like this to l in oh, your right. hands yeah and that's all. <gasps> no, uh, seriously? Ah, seriously? That's, that's amazing. All. Yes, it's, it's <gasps> really nice. It's really easy to do this. Go through these balls like this, and you see it, it's only on the top, and uh, you yeah. see the. It's picking the, out the features, yeah, the, isn't yeah, it? The paint here, and it, it's yeah. a real, it looks really nice. It, that's it's amazing. so easy to do this, <gasps> and let it dry, and then polish this. <laughs> that is so good. I love those. That, that's, really, it, that's all you have to do. That and is amazing. Yes. So and you paint them with those lovely paper. Look, look when, if, when I polish this, it's. Look here. Isn't that fantastic? Oh. So simple and so yes. quick. Yes. <gasps> wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very simple demonstration. It's 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 perfectly for to do this. Perfect. If you like, you can do this on the right. Oh yes, please go on. Yeah. Do it again for me because it was so lovely. You get four of those for nine ninety nine eight two two four four two, and that's a t that's only the tiniest amount of wax on your on yes, your hands yes, there. Yes, only yes. You need some of these uh, gloves yeah. and then a little bit of wax on the hand, and then wipe over this because if you do this not with a with a brush, you have this gold only on the top. You have oh all the colors. You see the colors. Here and this is the the shiny. It's so nice to do. It looks very satisfying yes, as yes. well. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. And then take one cloth and then polish these. And that's all. So your waxes are at the bottom of the screen there for both of those pots for 9.99, and you can get four of those gorgeous ornaments. Whether you put them in a big wreath like we've got here on the set, or whether you want to have them hanging. Yes. Yes. Look. Look how are gorgeous. That's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. <laughs> okay, now we have wonderful matching balls here. If we have time, I show something more. Oh, yes, yeah, okay. yes, it's your show, yeah. The papers, the decoupage this papers. This is uh, a paper frame. You can do this with the boxes too. Okay. And I covered uh, with one with these um, decoupage papers, the rectangle decoupage papers. And I cover these, you see a little bit the silky shine with one layer of the decoupage glue. You need to do this because now I work with the crackle, crackle paste. Oh, okay. I forgot to open this. Wait. Mm -hmm. Half the stock of the decoupage papers have gone, so you get uh, four designs, two of each, one of which uh, Lange is just using there. So half the stock's already gone, so please act quickly if you don't want to miss out on those 395933. So now just... I want to uh, an old look, an aged look. Oh, is this, did you, what, what paste is this? Uh, the crackle paste. The crackle this paste. is a crackle yeah. paste. Yeah. You get the crackle paste with the clear wax mm -hmm. and move. Oh, yes. Here the, with the, with the, with the um, gesso. Oh, with the gesso, with the clear wax, the the crackle paste, the wax paste, and then the le, le, the lazure, the um, yes, yes, yeah. we work with the lazure now. Oh, lovely. Okay, the crackle paste um, for speeding up the crackle paste, you can work with the heat tool too. Oh, okay. You don't need to do it like with a hair dryer, like the crackle varnish. The yeah. crackle varnish, please, only with a hair dryer, right. not with the heat tool, because the heat tool is for the varnish too hot. Okay. But the, the crackle paste works with these. Okay. We've got that at the bottom of the screen there, yes. thirteen ninety nine. So you get that big tub of the crackle paste there, um, large size there. Yeah, and you get the uh, wax paste and then the lazure as well. Gives it that brown tincture. Yes, now we now we see it st starts to crackle here. Yeah, I think you can see it perfectly. Yeah, oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I 
These are all techniques you can speed up if you don't want to uh, wait too long. Yeah, yeah. I always have to speed up because... <laughs> I think as crafters, <laughs> yes, we, we yes. always want it done yesterday. Yes, yes. As quick as we can. I don't want to wait two hours till it's dry and, and no, uh, finish, short, uh, finish the work. Yeah. Yes. Okay, now. I think I uh, do it by side and I start with the centerpiece. Oh, yes, I start with the centerpiece. Then we have what you do not want to show if I dry something like this. Okay, this is a, a, a MDF uh, centerpiece and but this is a centerpiece, I do the same with the crackle varnish. I put one layer on top first and this is the same I do with the lid. This is only one layer of uh, gesso on this MDF. Okay. And then I can dry these and these and Oh, there yeah, you go, multitasking. You here. <laughs> <laughs> multitasking there. Shall I just show the four designs in those decoupage yeah, papers? Yeah, please, yeah just please. while you're drying. So we've got the lovely te checkerboard. You get two of each. You're also getting this one. It's almost with the sepia tones and that beautiful filigree. Work. Very ornate. Reminds me of a lavish uh, sort of a 19th century gorgeous paper there on the walls. Isn't that stunning? I love the way it's sort of aged around the edges there as well. Then you also get the uh, the stripes as well. And again, can you see that textured aging on there as well? Almost like stains. I love that. Yeah, it's, it reminds me of ticking. You know the material with the ticking. And then you've got the smaller, smaller pattern on a, a, a much bigger repeat there. Um, again, equally as beautiful. So you do get four designs, two of each of those. You can see how large they are, 395933. They're one of the busiest things on the show so far as well. So do not miss out. Thank you, Blanche. Okay, here I do the same one, the, uh, the first component, and now it's the second component. And here's no problem, I let it dry by air. And now we continue this background. Uh, this is these um, called Lazur. It's um, it's very thin, mm -hmm. flusic, thin. Yes, it's yeah. very thin, and it's like 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 water. And yes, I drop some drops here on top and go with my brush over this, and you will see it goes into the crackles, and the same it uh, colors the background totally. Ooh. Okay, I take the towel and was gosh, that's so effective. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now we have a very old background or not? Yeah, yes, we that, have, I can't believe these. that's transformed that decade yeah, yes, completely, yes. yeah. Okay. And now we Speed this up, okay, with, with the hair dryer. And here we do the same with these, that we have this, okay. Yeah. Oh, no, where are we? It's just no, catching no, the light. Oh, oh, there we go. We almost had it then. It's just catching the no, light there. I can't see. Oh, oh yes, 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 that, yes. That, that's now the one, I see that's this. The one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you need. Okay, I think it's dry enough. Okay. I take these. Oh, it's not, not really dry. Okay. We, we start with this first, like here. Later with this. Okay, now we do some of these are resin ornaments from a uh, um, uh, mold from, from Prima. You can, this, these are resin ornaments here. Okay. I use these, okay, like this. Or, no, I think this is nicer. Oh? They're very on the This is nicer. Yeah. Okay.
So we've got about a quarter of an hour left of this first section of the uh, the launch there, the one-day special, just so you know, Blanche. Okay. And... Oh, sorry. Where is this? Uh, <laughs> it's glue on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and one of the beautiful frames, I think this one. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, okay. Now we take the antique paste and we do this really in the corners here, like this. get a very aged look and here too this so we've got that antique paste there with the crackle varnish component A yes. and component B on the screen right now 849061 now we take the cloth Where do you draw your inspiration from, Blanche? Because obviously Christmas is quite a saturated market. Where do, I mean, where do you start? Because every time you come to us, it's, it's so different all the time. I don't, where yeah. are you getting your inspiration? <laughs> by working. I think by working, yes. I do all my samples by myself. Mm -hmm. And when you... I think I do it since 20 years, over 20 years. I'm on, on TV shows. And uh, you need to do new things mm. and uh, you you try at home you try something and i think those are my my inspirations by by doing by, by doing, doing really just by give doing it a go. yes by doing mm. okay now i work with the pearls for the pearls i use the heavy body gel i use um a round brush, not a spatula, a round brush. Oh, okay. It's easier to do this. I take the pearls and like the details for those because okay. you get three large bags. And, and now I, I dip with my brush into the um, heavy body gel mm -hmm. and now into the pearls. And you see the pearls sticks here and now I wipe them up. That's that's all. Ah. You go there like this, and you wipe these here. And you see, they sticks. It's really nice. It sticks on the frame, at the corners of the frame. That's such a good technique. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. easy. It's very easy. You can really focus where you're pushing them, can't you? And attach well. We've got that, uh, the gold pearls. You get three of those big bags as well, the clear, yes. uh, the, the gold clear and the gold there, uh, 225 grams. So tubular clear ones and then the round beaded ones for the gold as well, 12.99, one six zero two five zero, And the primer and the um, heavy body gel is there at the bottom of the screen. And when the heavy body gel dries, it's really clear. You does, yes, don't so it see dry. anything. Mm -hmm. And it's a perfect glue for for glass, for metal, if you like, too. Uh, it's, 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 it's really perfect to work with a heavy body gel. Or you use this to, with stencils and uh, you have a clear 3D effect if you work with stencils. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. You see, it's very nice. You have these, these, this glimmer here. Yes. Okay, when you are finishing with these pearls. Uh, there are, the, are areas with glue, with the heavy body gel. I always put a little bit of glitter on top because the glitter sticks in the heavy body gel. Wait, That's some areas more, like here, a little bit more of these. 
then you have the 3D dimension like this and a little bit here. When it's dry, it's really sticks perfect. The pearls mm. really sticks perfectly there. Okay. And some glitter, some glitter. Okay. You get a uh, five or oh no, no four, four rolls glitter in the boho paper kit later. I think we will show this in yeah. the second yeah. hour. Yeah. If you. So it's well worth having a little look and having a shop ahead there as well, yeah. Oh, and something like here. And okay. And what should we do in the middle? Hmm? Ooh. Ooh. Any idea? What should we do crying in the middle? out for an image, isn't it? Yes, I think we do yeah. something in the middle or not. Yeah. But we can. Oh. Sam. What do you think? Can we have... Oh, I, I, I have an idea. I have an idea, but I don't know if it's... It, if we can do this. We have a sand kit here. <laughs> yeah, we'll get and those up. I yeah. think it's nice to do the writing Merry Christmas here, or not? Yeah, we've got them, the yes. Christmas phone back down. Should we do these? 14 of those, yeah. Huh? 1999. Okay. We'll get an image up. You've got okay. some great no, images I, there. I, sorry, I have to go there. To That's okay, we've got your stamps on screen there, Blanche. Okay. So you've got St. Nick himself there, you've got some mistletoe, lovely fronds there, you've got uh, some berries, you've got the happy Christmas motif. Ah, little girl on the horse there. Yes, wonderful waters, yes. Beautiful. Oh, and the Christmas house there as well. Yes. You, there are all stems. I can show the stems later a little yeah. bit. Okay, this is uh, Stazon. And it works here perfectly. Da da da. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> yes. Okay, we have. Should we show? A little bit, these? Yeah, ones? please yes, do. Yeah, yes, no, we've yes. got them on the screen now. Yeah, okay. two, one, one, two, three, six. I can show these Christmas foam stamps. Wait, wait, wait. We can do this later. Yes, we have this wonderful girl on the horse. We have. I like these. Yeah. Um, perhaps I can present a little bit in the second hour. These stamps, if yeah, you lovely. like. We have the Santa Claus with the wreath here. <laughs> these are really large stamps. I look at the price. The price is perfect. That's phenomenal. For 14 yes. of them. It's incredible. We have these, the girl here. And now we have oh. all the things you need for backgrounds. We have three different oh, writings yes, the different fonts. here. And the small Christmas. Mm -hmm. And these, this is perfect for backgrounds. Oh, yeah. This one. And look. This one, with mistletoe and the pine. I like the berries here. Yeah, These are berries. so nice. Uh, the uh, what's the name? Twistle, tissle. Mistletoe. Mis mistletoe. 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 Yeah. Yes. Cinnamon here Ooh. and this very fine and cinnamon. Gorgeous. Uh, very nice. Love Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> we like those a lot. Okay, that's all. Later. Later. Oh, you're teasing later, us now, later. Blanche. You're teasing us. Later, it's definitely later. worth shopping ahead, though, ah. so that you don't miss out. Definitely. Okay. I think we can do the the um, the free gift here. Anna? Yeah. Gorgeous. Well, we've yes. got. I we've got the free gift here. We're getting that absolutely free while stocks last. But just mm. so you know, we've got about four minutes of this hour because you know you've got a whole different set for the second hour. Yes. I do some of the antiquing paste here uh, that it's much better and then I glue this and then we let it dry I think that's a nice oh I think that's amazing <laughs> absolutely amazing and you get that gorgeous Christmas tree uh, mold absolutely free with a with your purchase while there is availability it'll be on a first come first serve basis there so really fantastic is okay to recap then because we yes, have literally come to the time to, yeah, to prepare for the, the second half the stems. I prepare the now stamps. the stems.
Brilliant. Because this is a double launch, obviously, and at six o'clock, uh, Blanche will be with us because we've got all the different products as well to bring you for the second half of the show. So let's just have a quick recap on what the One Day Special incorporates. You have got 14 of those beautiful boxes, 12 of those intricate mini resin frames. You've got the metal corner embellishments, so you get eight individual ones there. So uh, four corners, two sets. You've got two sets of the four beautiful feet for your boxes three different knobs, one of which is like a lovely crystal one. You also get the screws. You get 12 of those ornate resin frames as well. Oval, arched, square, oblong, beautiful. Every one is different and uh, unique in its own beauty. You're getting six of the square boxes. Now, they're really sturdy. So as uh, Blanche was explaining, you know, they're not going to warp when you're adding your water and your decoupage papers. And we get five of the beautiful round ones, which I know are always popular. There's just something even more exciting about getting something in a beautiful box to give. And then we've got the three book boxes as well at, uh, down here, all for an amazing 30 Two pounds and ninety-eight pounds, saving you twenty-one pounds six three two five four nine. Now we've also got the free giveaway of the lovely Christmas tree resin tree there. How beautiful! But that will be on a first come, first served basis. And as an add-on, if you are checking out your basket, you'll be asked if you wish to purchase these beautiful, beautiful cards. Now, there are four, but the different sizes and images on there work perfectly with the one-day special. And uh, that you'll also be asked that when you're on the phone. But with those resin frames, how good would they work? Those postage stamp size, and then you've got the larger ones as well. You've got the round really beautiful so that's an add-on if you so desire i do want to mention the paint because i know blanche has referred to it quite a few times didn't they look amazing on those baubles um we've got them in the four colors there they come as a set of four the, the dark denim blue the light sky blue the red and the gorgeous lush pink cardinal red ice blue denim and blackberry 11.99 for those four pots 222261 then we've also got the shrink foil wraps you're already shopping ahead for those on your glass on your jars um so so pretty three different designs four of each at 12.99 7.60299 and then the christmas ornaments two different designs two of each so you get four of those beautiful baubles and weren't they magnificent when blanche just wiped the hands over with the wax paste the metallic gilding paste there of the silver and the gold 9.99 for all four of those and if you coincide that with that beautiful paint they're amazing 822442 okay back to the one day special can i just point out the next hour as well we've got a whole heap of other we've got our, our beautiful uh, boho christmas kit and uh, we've got our beautiful angels and our fantastic um dyes yes our reindeer christmas tree and our holly dyes and we'll be seeing all of those at the start of the hour as well um, any last words before we launch into our second? We'll take a break before the next hour, obviously, Blanche. But anything else you want to add? Sorry, I don't. No, that's okay. She's in the zone. She's in the zone. It's fine. <laughs> I've interrupted her preparing. She'll be with us anyway. She's getting ready for the next hour. So don't forget that lovely gift. Absolutely free. First come, first serve basis. So one per customer there. And don't miss out on the one day special. I'll also mention those decoupage papers because they are flying out. Uh, a lot of those. And if you've seen some of the actual samples here on the table, uh, please, please, please don't miss out on those. The striped, the diamonds. Over half the stock of those has actually gone there yeah four designs there 12.99 you were shopping ahead for those way in advance okay uh, it won't be a long break so i don't want you to go anywhere there'll be just enough time to grab yourself a drink uh, or a quick cup of tea because we're going to launch the second hour of this fantastic la blanche double hour special see you in a moment Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations as a company launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. Their products range from stamps that coordinate with dyes that then coordinate with a paper pad. But then we also have storage folders. We have decorative dies. We have coloring daubers. We have Insta albums. One of the products that really make Heartfelt unique are their flower shaping molds, where you can make easy, quick, three-dimensional flowers, which are absolutely stunning. So I hope you can join Heartfelt Creations here on the channel. Hi, 
I'm Pat. I'm Mark. From Totally Patched. We're a family-based business here in Shropshire. We've been established for about 20 years. The, all of our kits uh, come pre-cut, meaning all the fabric is cut for the actual people who want to make the items, whether they be um, cushions, bags, quilts, or anything else you want to cast your creative memory or mind into. Most of the kits we produce we design ourselves. The design process is usually inspired by the fabric itself. We use only use great quality fabrics, 100% cottons. So, whether you're a beginner or an experienced sewer or quilter, we hope you've got something for all of you. Make sure you come and watch us on Hachanda. Hello, I'm Sue Trangmar and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago. Back in the day there were very few quilt patterns in the marketplace and so uh, I started to bring patterns into the UK from America and Australia and along the way I've been lucky enough to work with some fantastic British designers and that is what really the essence of Daisy Chain Designs are. At Daisy Chain Designs, we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start, and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. So don't miss the Daisy Chain Design shows on Hochanda. Fancy some textile therapy? Join us on Wednesday the 29th of July at 6pm to Tuesday the 4th of August at 6pm as we bring you our week-long summer festival of quilting. Tune in as we introduce you to brand new guests as well as all your favourites from the world of sewing and quilting as they showcase and demonstrate an array of exciting and inspirational products for you to enjoy. Would you like to enter our biggest ever prize draw? Complete any purchase during any live show featured within our Summer Festival of Quilting event and you will receive automatic entry. Keep watching the shows as the mega bundle grows. Prizes will be added throughout the week and everything could be yours. The lucky winner will be announced at the end of the 4pm final call show on the 4th of August. Good luck. Flexi Order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping baskets, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for a Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Hello and welcome back to the second half of our fantastic a brand new La Blanche launch and I'm here with Blanche herself. Good evening. Good evening. Ah, oh, so lovely to have you here. <laughs> yes, um, we've got a second hour yes. and it's a lot of different things as well as using our one day special, isn't it? it yes, we fantastic. have wonderful decoupage papers, we have this we have the boho oh, Christmas kit. Yes. yes, we have our one day special with the boxes and the feed and the corners. Everything on top, the knobs. I like this kit. It's it's, it's amazing. This it's, it's and all the pentacolor uh, uh, kits who matching to do. Uh, 
these kind of boxes like we have here with a crackle on top, with the decoupage paper, with the flexible heat bendable borders, everything. Absolutely. Yeah. So a lot of what we will see as well what we had earlier, but we're going to see all these beautiful angels yes. and dyes, reindeers, all the extras that we haven't brought you. So there's still loads more to see. So I'm going to crack on, explain what we've got, and then we will head straight to Blanche. So this is the one day special and it comprises of 14 boxes. Uh, you've got five of the beautiful round that uh, increase in size. You've got six of the stunning square and they're really, really sturdy. So they can take a lot in terms of building upon those beautiful um, outlines. And then you've got the fantastic box books as well. There's three of those. And then we've got these stunning embellishments. Now you've got these eight corner metal pieces. You've got three of the handles or the knobs, one with that lovely faceted crystal there on the top so you reflect all the beautiful light. You've got two sets of the feet so you can see it there how they look and how they slide into the edge there. And you've also got the screws for the attachment. Added to that, you've got 12 of those intricate mini resin frames, all different, all with a different beautiful ornateness around the outside. And that is all in your one-day special for an amazing £32.98, 632549. Added to which you will also get for free on a first-come, first-served basis because they will run out this fantastic Christmas tree uh, mould absolutely free. And uh, that is what is produced when you use the mould and you can use that in your little box book there, as you can see, beautiful with the resin frame and you can use it on your Christmas cards as well. Absolutely fantastic. So please don't miss out and don't miss out on the add-ons at the end, which work so beautifully. Uh, choice of cards there you get all four uh, with, they work beautifully with the resin frames as well. That's an add-on for you at the end. Quarter of the stock's already gone of the one-day special, and we've only been here for an hour. Everything will be dispatched on the 5th of August, just to reiterate that, so that you know there's just that delayed dispatch, obviously, because it's coming from Germany. All right. We have got so much on the show tonight, so I, I please shop ahead. There's loads of amazing finished samples as well that I do want you to feast your eyes upon as we draw down the counter. You see, there's those lovely boxes. There's those beautiful moles as well around the edges. And there's our angels. Yes, we've got our angels coming up as well. So don't miss out. Okay, I just want to mention the decoupage papers as well because these were going like hotcakes. They were used on the one-day special and um, Blanche was uh, aging them with the crackle paste and here we have four of them. Fantastic designs as well there. Beautiful. Look at that. I've that, got this sort of gorgeous renaissance field. You get two, uh, two of each of those. So you get eight of those with a large size there. And there's that, those beautiful stripes. But you can see that sort of aging in the background there as well. The beautiful blue and the sepia. And there as well, you've got that larger pattern there on a, on a repeat. Gorgeous. And then, proving very popular, that's what Blanche has just worked with, the, the checkerboard diamonds. Twelve ninety nine. they're going fast, so please don't miss out. Three nine five nine three three. Then we have the moles now. Blanche was just using these. And you said the border moles, metre of each of those. And we only used the one. And yes. then you topped it off with that lovely... Uh, gold wax didn't yes you? you can paint these you can um, uh, these are heat bendable you can work with these around the lid of the boxes but you can do frames with these if you like because if when you heat these they are very flexible and they are bendable and you can do very aged look uh, decorations mm, beautiful they, they really give it a vintage feel and uh, yeah. makes it really solid and antique like 1799 829 594 watch the repeat if you miss those in action because they're beautiful uh, moving along because i know blanche will be using these we've got the classic crackle paste a and b plus you've also got this fantastic antique paste which almost gives it you know almost in jewelry when you're you're trying to give it a, a patina um it's it's done it's sort of really aged Yes, it gets yes, into yes, the crackles, yes, yes, doesn't yes. it? You can see there in the background there. So we've got those on the show that Blanche will be using or has already used, 1099-849-061. We've also got the fantastic ornaments. Now look at the, the they're embedded within this massive, beautiful Christmas wreath. Um, again, what just quickly tell us what you did with these, Blanche. Uh, one layer of uh, <laughs> one <laughs> layer of our deco paint um, and then Put a little bit of the metallic wax in, take gloves in your hands and wipe over the uh, over the resin ball. That's all. And then you can polish these. And 
they look really, really wonderful if you are ready for this. And, and it's, it's it's quick, nice, and you can hang these. Or, um, I like to hang this in the window too. Ooh, yes. In the window, or put it in a wreath if you like, yeah, or hang it on your Christmas tree. But these are so nice. These are really decorations. Yes. You can hang. I I think it's nice. Uh, put a fine the ribbon, ribbon and just hang singularly. these yeah. like here in the window. It's very easy. pretty. So they're gorgeous. Nine ninety nine. If you have stairs, if uh, when you have Ooh, stairs, yes. it's nice. the different heights yes, straightening yes, yes, down. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, I'm liking that a lot. Nine ninety nine eight two two four four two for the resin. Christmas ornaments. 40% uh, of those have gone just to flag that up. This is the wax paste that Blanche was using and referred to. You are getting the gold and the silver there for 9 .99. And, you know, there was a fraction, when she had the gloves on, the fractional amount was used on the gloves uh, itself. So they're going to go a long way, but my goodness, do they add uh, vintage glamour to those beautiful baubles. 9 .99, 220 milliliter pots, 728589. Moving along, we've got our, yes, this is what I meant about the patina as well. This is the, the lazure that uh, Blanche just used over that fantastic texture paste and the diamond decoupage paper. There's your cracking paste there, I should say, and then the wax paste as well. What would, what would you use the wax paste for, Blanche? Um, if you uh, want an H look, if you put uh, one layer of... Any paint, yeah. like, like a dark paint, yeah. and put some of the clear transparent wax on top, on the corners. And then you put a second layer, like white. Yeah. And then you can uh, scratch or wipe the second layer of, of paint away. Oh. And you have like, like stretch, using Gebrauchsspuren, what heißt das? Yeah, it looks yeah. like used. Yes. Ah, so it gives the reveal of yes, the paint underneath. Yes, because because <gasps> ah. when you, you put the wax, um, the 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 second layering of paint doesn't stick. No. So you just get the yes, essence yes, of it and you yes, see that yes, other one coming yes. through underneath. Gorgeous. In fact, we didn't even get to that, you see. 1399960981. Then we've got the beautiful pearls. So can you see this adornment around the glass jars, the glasses and the bottle? You've got this fine, beautiful adornment there of these pearls that Blanche used in that lovely picture frame as well. Just nestled in there like old beauty, just slowly disintegrating. But you've got those bugular beads there and the round beads. And you're getting three bags of 260. 75 grand. I'm telling you, they're weighty. And then we get the clear bugle beads there as well, and the round beads of the gold and the clear gold. 12.99 for all of those. 160.250. But you need to adhere them to your gorgeous project. So Blanche has brought us the heavy uh, body gel and the pot of the primer paste. You start with that, and then you add on your heavy body gel and just dip that in with your beautiful um, pearls, and then straight onto your project. So if you missed that in the last hour again watch that on the repeat well worth a look-see 1399003321 then our other decoupage set here this is our Christmas wishes our decoupage set you've got 12 sheets and uh, you've got four designs did oh here they are right behind you there they are it's behind you uh, four designs so you've got uh, a traditional Saint Nick there as well you've got your Robin there as well and then paired with that You've got those beautiful, beautiful uh, angel-like, childlike images as well. And they're so pretty in their naivety. And then we've got a, a, a classic traditional round frame there on um, St. Nick himself. And uh, to match with that, the beautiful snowscape there. Third of the stock of those in the sepia tents has gone. So 17 you get 12 sheets, four of each design, 851820. But you are already shopping ahead for the shrink foils. We haven't even got to use them. How would you use these on the glass and the jars? Yes. yes. Um, here, you, in this kit, you get 12 of the larger shrink foils for the large jars. Uh, you get four different designs, I think, or three yeah, different Three different de designs, yes, four, three of different des four of each. Yeah. And you only need a pot with boiling water, nothing else. And then you can cover all these glass jars or everything you can put into water. You can cover with these. Right. And it looks really like porcelain, like, like painting, porcelain painting. And it needs seconds to do this. Wow. And it's upcycling deluxe, I think, Sarah. <laughs> Absolutely. Any other, any of the bottles hanging around, you're all, they know because they're already shopping yes, ahead yes. large. Beautiful. Normally you throw these, these yeah. jars away. Yeah, and now, why? 
Yes. Should be using them, absolutely. I mean, they do. They look like beautiful porcelain ornaments. I 12... think we have online some for balls too, for Christmas balls too. If oh. you go online, I think we have some some oh. of these Shingsley for uh, for Christmas balls oh, too. Oh, we'll have a look yes. at that then. So shop ahead. We'll try and find that. Twelve ninety nine. You're already shopping ahead for those seven six zero two nine nine. Okay. Now, I want to show you the second kit, and then uh, don't worry, we are coming to Blanche now. Oh, we've got the Boho Christmas kit. Now, this comprises of 12 by 12 papers. You get 15 of these, and they are stunning. Now, I think pink, cerise, turquoise, and purples. You're also getting uh, 15 of your gorgeous um, tags. You're getting, oh, is it 80 laser cuts? Yes. Toppers? Yeah, 80 Seven. laser cuts. You're getting 10 of these. I can only describe them like... like um, sticky, sticky rub -ons. Sticky, sticky, sticky rub, -ons, rub -ons, yes. Yeah. It's only the glue. You transfer only the glue, and you can transfer this on everything you like, like these book box here, on yeah. glass if you like. And then this is only... You see the, the ornament sticks, and then you can put... Uh, um, glitter into if you like the glitter is in the kit too or you work with the foil if you like beautiful yes they're, they're absolutely stunning yes you can add the glitter on there as well so you've got 10 of those all different d yes. designs there repetition of some of the same there and the snow ones i mean look at that That's, that can transform some yes. old jam and here you see you yeah. have, here you have the samples <gasps> with the foil on top of these are the boxes from our one day special and here you have these with the foil and you have the wonderful Look, look here, the wonderful borders, yes, yeah. so with the foil, the with the gold foils, and here you have, this is the one that's special too, and you have these, the, the dots, here it's the same, and with turquoise glitter on top. Look, beautiful it's, it's so nice that's gorgeous and there you do get those four pots of glitter in there as well the red the turquoise the pink and the lilac and then we get the papers now you're getting 15 of these and uh, all all double-sided all the different shapes there we've got some beautiful you know the one day special boxes we've got those covered uh, in these as well so there's is it four designs three of each yeah there we go whoops so the purples the turquoises the lilacs Really thick. These are these are stunning, aren't they? Sorry, I'm making a hames of holding these, aren't I? Uh, look at those. They really are beautiful. And uh, let me just turn those around. You just oh, yes, you oh, have wonderful background goes. patterns oh. there, and uh, um, we have we have the sizes for the greeting cards. If you like to do greeting cards, but we have the background patterns. You can use the the larger images for layouts like these. And all the um, gift boxes, like here, you see on the layout, are on the tags. All the centerpieces are on the tags, and you get these. Yes, these, these are, are the, the tags. tags. Yes, yeah, yeah. You, you have. You see, there's the um, the gift boxes on your side. Sorry. Yes, and here on this, these are the laser cuts. You have the uh, Christmas balls. You have the slides the christmas tree christmas everything trees. everything you need to put it on the on the top or to the centerpiece of your greeting card so anything you see here you can see them in the cards yes. and the boxes in the frame they're beautiful and then used in conjunction with the one day special as well i mean just look at some of these how beautiful i'm just going to show you this set of boxes there they yes. are with those beautiful papers i mean isn't that stunning imagine that it is so nice oh. uh, we always do uh, on the bottom uh, uh, no, I, so not on the I, I take these. Oh, I take these. Like I can show these. Look here. Uh, yes, sure. Yes, you have. Uh, you cut out a little bit of gold paper, like a frame here, and put the the design paper in the middle. And here you have the same. Yes. Beautiful. It looks very nice. And this is the blue on the bottom. Yeah. It's one layer of the blue of the deco soft paint we have. And yeah. then we've got the purples and the lilacs, because you get yes. uh, uh, a beautiful 15 of those 12 by 12 papers. Fantastic. So that, uh, the Boho Christmas kit, is 12, uh, 29 dollars 99 8835099. Absolutely incredible. Now, we've got the reindeer dies. You're getting 12 of these. You're getting reindeers, you're getting Christmas trees, mm -hmm. and you're getting holly. So, um, forgive me, I'm, I'm reaching over here, because look at how, again, how these beautiful top um, laser-cut toppers and, and the stickers are being used 
in these samples here behind me because they're just stunning. Now, we have got 12 of these dies. You've got the wreaths, you've got the trees, you've got the branches, and you've got the stag's head and the reindeers. And you can see here how stunning they cut out for your card. Um, really, really beautiful. So that's all of those for a mere $15.99. 519585. There's traditional images there and they cut beautifully and precisely. They'd fit most die cutting machines, wouldn't they, Blanche? Yes, yes. yes. Well, yeah. Yeah. So we've got those as well, so please don't miss out on those. And last but not least, our lovely angels. Yes, look at our angels up here. I'm just having to remind myself of everything we've got on the show. Um, so nine sheets, three designs. These are your decoupage papers of your beautiful angels. Um, and we've got the boards down here, but I mean, the samples speak for themselves. I mean, just look at, I mean, that in itself, you just want to frame it, isn't it? That is a beautiful image yes. in itself. I mean, I just literally is heavenly. So that is one of, the, uh, one of them. You get nine sheets, like I said, three designs. And then these lovely bells, stunning, all A3 size there, $14.99. And I will say a third of the stock has already gone so if you're loving these samples here behind me and what's not to love then please do shop ahead there for the angels decoupage kit all right um please have a look at the website um there's still some new things we haven't even got around to mentioning oh i know blanche is going to talk about those a lovely um, stamps there as well so do shop ahead they have not come empty-handed there is so much on the show that we two hours is not gonna be enough but obviously Blanche will be with us again an hour later uh, and then you've also got that free Christmas tree mold as well when you buy tonight Blanche straight to you okay now I start uh, showing a little bit with the, our stamp kit I start on our specialty stamping paper and I take one of the Christmas writing stamp and Versamark for and for the background. We see. Now you see not so much because this is clear, but later when it's dry you will see that on every corner I stamp with Versamark. Later the distress ink doesn't stick there. Okay, then we do the, this small stamp and I do a wonderful background. Our stamps are silicon stamps with a foam background, very easy to stamp with because you do not need any pressure to transfer the image. And the images are very detailed uh, because these stamps are silicon, they are heat resistant. If you like, you can stamp directly in hot embossing powder or something like this. Okay, now the, the last small stamp, the cinnamon, some I put like this here and one off here. Well, star, now, star anise, uh, okay, now star can, anise. I, yes. yeah. yeah, anise. Okay, not cinnamon. Anise, you are right. Okay, I think you can see these with a little bit. Yes, now you can see this. Okay. <laughs> now I dry these with my heat tool. And stamp the image in the middle. I try to. <laughs> uh, now when, when a weather mark is wet, it, it's glossy, shiny, and it has to be matte too, then it's dry. If you can see, then it's dry. We need a second to dry this. Okay. And this time, now we take the larger stamp and I work with Stazon here with Stazon Black. I hope this is, yeah, okay. If you don't want the black so, um, so clear, so hard, I always put a little bit of brown on top 
and then this is the brown one and now I go a little bit, little bit like these and it's not the black is not so hard not so so perfect now you see the really look here that's the relief on the back side it looks like an image or not this is a printed image and this is a relief we stamp now okay take the stamp go with your fingers only go with you no pressure go with your fingers over the image that's all it's, it's very easy it's perfect for older people who have problems with your fingers or with the hands and this is a very large stamp and you have a perfect transfer of these stamp I will show this now look here you see every single line it's it's really like an old engraving okay now I dry these and then we color it a little bit Oh, we take vintage photo for coloring I use the the pen nibs and a little bit of water and the distress inks okay now you don't need to color perfectly because these stamps are so integrated you see all this all the uh, shadows and everything you see here because of this you don't need to color perfectly um, like this perhaps yes the church in the background a little bit brown okay here the fence the door okay the people one brown another perhaps a little bit of gray all these yeah not so much like this and here in front we have a little bit of green not so much like like you see not so perfectly okay perhaps a little here and that's all okay now you see this is snow and I want to let the snow white because the paper is white now I will cover the paper I will cover the paper with um, clear embossing powder for this I use um, perfect medium pen first I dry this <laughs> <laughs> and now I will cover all the white areas it looks okay like this and then here and okay it's not dry enough because okay the the moon and I think that's that's all okay Mm -hmm. Now I take my super fine clear embossing powder and yes it sticks on all these areas I emboss these and that's just one of the stamps isn't it and we've got we've got 14 in the set for 19.99 so okay. it's the perfect image it's it's just it tells a story you know i imagine it's, in a, it's an old landscape yeah they're okay. right are they right do you think to sing carols or just go to mass here? or okay midnight mass so and now we need the the dark blue sky i take yes okay now you you will see uh, first here mm -hmm. yes okay yes you this and then I 
I cover the background and you mm -hmm. see where I cover the paper he, mm, sorry you hear you, you see here I cover the paper with the clear embossing powder mm -hmm. and now it looks like snow yeah yes Okay, now I spray some water on top. And, okay, I can lift it up with these. Yeah. To get an older look. Yes, you see, to get an, a little bit an older look. Now I dry these. Oh, when I dry, thing. when I dry the water drops, you see yeah. uh, the the color lift up and it's much um, lighter. The yeah. colors are much lighter if you it dry. It looks like this. it's snowing. Okay, as well. Yes. Now I cover a little bit more blue these around this like. here some areas here like, like a frame around the picture it's a little bit more of the blue mm -hmm. okay so and if you like to put a little bit more uh, glimmer or glossy on top you can work with poly sparkle or with a holographic powder of mm. something like these. And now I take the same pen, the perfect medium pen, mm -hmm. and go only like here on top of these. This one, only the corners, a little bit like here, perhaps here, here, the snow like there and there. Mm -hmm. There you want to do these. <laughs> yes, and here the rusts. And now I take the poly sparkle or something with glitter, clear embossing yeah. powder with glitter. Yeah. You can use anything you like. Right. Proper Christmas scene. Yes, and now it's, it's mel it melts together with a clear one mm -hmm. and gives them some sparkle. Just that little accent there, isn't it, the snow? I, I, I will show you like these. I think you can see it like this better. Mm. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. You can see that now. Yeah. yeah, that's beautiful. Okay, and now we scratch the edges like this and do this a little bit. Let them look older. Mm -hmm. Now I take vintage photo and my blending tool and before I work with the vintage photo I spray a little bit water on my blending tool mm -hmm. because I want to that the water soaks into the paper. Oh yeah, it just sort of seeps down, doesn't it, a bit further into the paper, yeah. Go on the back side here. On this side too. And then I take some ba 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 ba. Some rows like an old vintage. Yeah, just starting to go. Look there. like this one. And I go no over these and over these and can do the same here in these corners not not so much like here. okay and then do this a little bit older <laughs> mm -hmm. 
and spray some water through on this. Where you want to lift up the colors, you spray a little bit water. And that's all. Mm -hmm. I think that's enough. That's to fantastic. Make an old, no, no. Beautiful. Perfect, because we've reached the halfway point there, the second hour. <laughs> Can you believe that? I don't know where the time's going. Um, let's have a still of all those gorgeous stamps, because remember, that was just one of the 14 that Blanche was using, 19.99. You've got those lovely accent stamps there as well that Blanche put around the outside of the frame. You've got your cinnamon, your star anise, your mistletoe, your pine, uh, the lovely girl on the horse. She looks like uh, sort of a Victorian girl there, uh, St. Nick himself. Uh, the girl with the dolly and then that lovely churchyard scene as well with the house in the foreground. 1999 Very busy indeed. Just want to remind you of the one day special because if I'm not mistaken, I think Blanche mentioned maybe the, the, the book uh, she was going to do next because you are getting three of these book boxes as well, three different sizes. You've got the concertina there on the outside. So you could use those as a gift box or indeed to keep your precious things in or to gift something, uh, I don't know, like a gorgeous ticket to see something. And then we've got uh, six of these boxes uh, increasing in size and then five of the round ones, which are stunning. You're also getting 12 of the resin frames, the oval, the heart, the round, with different intricacies around the outside there, almost looking like they're all coming from different periods of time there. Really, really beautiful. Get 12 of those. And then you're getting the embellishments as well. You remember, you're saving £21. We've got the, the little packet of screws that would fit in with the four set of feet, of which you've got two different designs. You've also got your metal corner pieces to add on to the frames as well. And then you've got three handles or the different knobs there. And that one's been beautifully faceted all the way around the crystal there so you reflect all that pretty light. You're also getting your free mould, your Christmas tree mould. Uh, that makes this beautiful, beautiful mould there as well. First come, first serve basis if you, you purchase anything in the show, which looks fantastic in your beautiful book there as well. Isn't that gorgeous on the inside? How pretty is that? With one of those book boxes there as well. £32.98, 632.549, proving very popular. Don't forget we've had uh, a lot in the second hour that we haven't shown in the first hour. And, of course, uh, Blanche is going to be with us later as well for another hour. And obviously tomorrow, 8 o'clock, she'll be back with us again. But let's have a little look at the web because we've also got our pink, uh, the lovely Christmas Wishes decoupage set. We've got the shrink foils there. You've got 12 of those. There are three designs, four of each of those. You've got your angels, the decoupage angels. You've got the, the, the lovely baubles, the resin baubles. You've got your 12 reindeer Christmas dyes with the trees and the hollies. You've got your boho Christmas kit with those 12 by 12 papers and Oh, the toppers and the laser cuts and the glitter embellishments, the foil sheets, there's so much on there. And you've got those fantastic moulding borders, five one-metre borders there that we've been using on the boxes. And uh, the Mylar stencils in there. Don't forget those as well when we come to those. And the shrink foils. Yeah, there's so much on the show today. And, of course, all your pen tart, your crackle effects, your primer paste, your wax and silver gold uh, paste there. Oh, the pen tart dec uh, decor print paint collection in the denim blue ice blue, the cardinal red and the pink it's going very well. You've got your pouring glaze, you've got your varnish and your crackle varnish uh, plus that lovely uh, darker paste there to give it that patina effect um, yeah wow there's so much on the show alright we are over halfway through proven very popular. You're all shopping ahead so that you don't miss out on uh, the piece that you love so I'm going to head straight back to Blanche yeah, now I I cover one of our book boxes. I think this is the yes, in the size in the middle. One of our book boxes with one layer of these deco paints, and I want to show you how it works with the sticky rub ons from the boho paper kit. Okay, these colors are very chalky. These are chalky colors, mm. very matte, wonderful colors, and. I dry these you need only you see you need only one layer to cover the boxes perfectly it's 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 a perfect color perfect paint now I dry these and then I will do one layer of the pouring glaze on top Ooh, good, yes. lovely. Uh, and then we do the sticky rub-ons with the glitter or ah. the foil not with the glitter we do the glitter on top fantastic Okay, now we have to dry these. And you see, it, it, it dries very quick too. Mm, doesn't it just? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. 
And it's a good, beautiful, even coverage all over the surface yes, there, yes, isn't it? It's yes. lovely. Like you said, very chalky. Okay. And here you see the quality of our book boxes because yep. we have one on, on, only on one side, not on the inside. We have one layer of these um, paint and nothing bends here. No, or, nothing's warping yeah, yes, or yes. Yeah, going out of shape. And I like these, like here, it's, I do as well, yes, yeah. it's perfectly too. Okay, I need a few minutes more to dry these. Mm -hmm. Well, they're sturdy, aren't they? They're we, not flimsy. We have to do these, no. So you can actually put okay. a lot on them, can't you, and embellish them quite a bit. Okay, I think like this. Okay. Now we work with the pouring glaze it dries very short very quick too okay and you see it's it's really glossy it's a really glossy shiny only one layer of these pouring glaze i like these on top of our decoupage papers and i like it on top of paints or in, if you like on layouts, mixed media layouts too. Okay. If you uh, if you like, you can use the pouring glaze in the frames too. You see here, you put uh, this. Uh, you have the papers, oh, the add-on papers. Yes. yes. Glue yeah. uh, glue the frames with hot glue, really around around these because. Uh, that the uh, pouring glaze doesn't go under the frame. Oh, yeah, yes, okay. uh, with silicone glue or with hot glue okay. uh, on the paper, and then pour <sighs> the uh, pouring glaze that's so in the good. middle. Okay, let's now we dry these. Yes, we've got that glaze. There's a big tub there, 1499790068. You'll see it on a lot of the lovely box samples behind us. No, no, we, it has to be dry. Because if there, it, it, when it isn't dry, mm -hmm. the glitter or the foil sticks everywhere, not only on the stickers. Ah, oh, right, It has okay. to be dry, not, not sticky, it has to be dry. You can we wanted to pick out the motif, yes. don't we? Okay, now we leave these. Yeah. First, we do some of the gold wax here on the corners, like these. To it looks very nice to mm. do this. Yeah. Oh, it's inside. We can cover this with a boho paper later. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's nice. It's perhaps a little bit like this. Mm. It's not <laughs> perfect, but we try. We try this. Okay. We try this. But not with the foil. We do this with the glitter. So we get ten of these in the boho Christmas kit, don't we? Yes, yeah. these, these are inside of there. These are inside of the Christmas kit. I can I can show this on a card first. And then we have two different... Yes, we can show this one on the card. Okay, we cut, a, cut it in the right size. Like, I think like these. Mm -hmm. I always um, cut with the paper round because now I can storage this better. Yes. Okay. Yeah. That's a good tip. Okay. I take these position. Okay. And now, do not wrap this on. Okay. Take a smooth cloth like this. And go over these. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Do not rub on, or if you have an um, 
cutting machine. Uh, uh, you can run this to your die cutting yeah, machine yeah, to, to die cutting machine. It's hard like against this. the surface, right? Okay. okay. Yeah. I think that's enough. Yeah. Now wow. we have only the glue here. Yeah. You see this? This is only the glue, nothing else. And now you have the possibility to do the glitter inside mm -hmm. or the foil and if mm. you do this with the foil you can do parts with the foil if you like you can like these go with the foil over it you see oh yeah you can and this you can do some not perfectly some parts like these and here mm -hmm. okay then we have some parts and the rest we cover with glitter if you like mm, lovely okay. we take Something for the glitter. Get four of those glitters in there. Yes. You get uh, the dark blue. We do the purple. glitter here. Is <laughs> <laughs> That's a great bundle. And we take the red one. Okay. And it's it's enough to do with the. With the Look I here. love that with the foil. That's yes, amazing. I like the the mix the mixture yeah. between the glitter and the foil. That's so good. And this is on a paper. And now we do this. I think it's dry enough. We do this here too. And for this we take which design? We have so many designs here. Ah, oh, this one. Oh, should we do this one? Yes. On this side. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Like from here to here. And they look so good on the glass as well. Yes, I can't yes. believe it's, the glass it's, it's, it's the you same, on. It's the same. It's very easy and very quick yeah. on the glass too. And if you put a candle inside, it looks really nice. The glitter. Okay. That's the top. Okay. It's very important that you do not rub these. Why you, is that then, Blanche? Yes. Why? Why is it important not to rub uh, it? Uh, you, you, you destroy you destroy the motive, and yeah. doesn't it doesn't work? You distort you, the yeah, design. Yes, yes. Right, it's okay. easier with a with a cloth to wipe over these, like yeah. here. So you're just pressing it into the. Yes. Up, yeah. Yes. The effect is incredible because you look and you think, how do they? Yeah, that glitter is so precise. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. And you see all the, it's very, very precise. Okay, now we take the, yes, this one or the lighter one? The lighter or the darker? The lighter, or? Lighter? Yes? Yeah. Light? No, Please. she wants the darker. I can <laughs> tell by the face. Yes? Darker, she's frowning. Yes, darker, Blanche. Dark. Darker. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm. Let's do, let me open this, okay. And I need another cover. Wait. <laughs> need another lid. <laughs> yes, for the glitter. Something to. There's a lot of boxes down yeah, here. It's for the glitter. Oh, the lids of the boxes here we take. <laughs> <laughs> we don't mind being covered in glitter. We love it. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at that. That's amazing. <sighs> and we take this. You can wipe it away. Um, the glitter sticks very, very perfect in these glitter stickers. Yeah. It's yeah. nice. Yes. It's, it adheres to it so strongly, nice. doesn't it? Okay. Uh huh. So we've got about 10 minutes remaining, Blanche, just so you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah? But you're back with us at 8 o'clock. I think, so, yeah, I think you know, 10 minutes, it's not enough to do another layout. If there's anything you want to show, show I mean, it could yes, be something. Yes, it's, it's something. I will show you something, huh? Something we can yes, finish later. Yes, I will show or? you something with these uh, pearls. I think so. Okay, <laughs> here we can do some. I think I would do some of the frames from the ODS on top. With uh -huh. the um, we have all the um, tags in the boho kit oh, yes. with the matching pictures for the let middle. Me get, let me yes, show everybody then, those. Then, yes, then you can do these here in the middle, and then we have a perfect book box from the ODS. So you have got these lovely tags there. Yes. Um, with the boho Christmas kit. And then you've actually, I'll just show you, you can see the 84, 80 laser cut 
uh, images there as well. You've got curtain swags and you've got presents and baubles and Christmas sleighs and Christmas trees. And then you've got these lovely, see these match the, the cardstock in there as well, the papers. And then these lovely, lovely images of these children, the boxes of presents, all in lovely jewel-rich colours, turquoises, amethyst, emeralds, um, yeah, rubies. Really, really beautiful. It's a fantastic kit. I can show something with the um, transparent wax. This is uh, one of our box from our ODS, and I will show it on the lid here. We start with the um, dark blue color from the decorate kit, and I paint only the edges of the box. They have been very popular, Blanche. Half the stock's already gone of the Pentart Decor Paint Collection. 11 99 So remember to check out your baskets because this is only the second hour and half stock's already gone. Okay, like this. Now I have to dry this too. <laughs> but it, it's quick. And then I will cover the edges with the, with the wax uh -huh. and go through with the white gesso. And uh -huh. then we can... Well, this is what we were talking about earlier, that lovely wax that we've yes. got in that kit, yes. Um, the wax with our crackle paste and our, our, our lovely lazure that we used earlier to age the crackle paste on the first one of the demonstrations in the um, five o'clock hour. So if you want to watch that on Rewind, please do. Oh. You get all three of those, so 13 980 That's a huge crackle paste. At home, Pot. please let it dry completely, not yeah. so short like I do here. Please, okay, this is the transparent wax. The transparent wax is perfectly for stamping too. Uh, I work with this transparent wax over our uh, specialty stamping paper and I polish these. Oh, okay. And it looks perfectly with silhouette stamps or with stamping. Uh, but it's it's the same if you want to, what says trennen, to, to depart, depart colors. Part paints, trennen, trennen. Yeah, to separate colors. To separate yeah, colors. Separate okay, colors yeah. yes, okay. I take only around the edges here. Like this. If you want more, you can do it in the middle, like two. But now I do only the edges, yeah. that's all. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now I do one layer of the gesso on top. This is just white gesso, yeah? Yes, it's gesso. Da, da, da. Clear. No, that's why. Okay. And these are the round boxes from the one day special as well, of which you get five and, well, you get 14 boxes in it, actually. Yes, we have five of the round boxes, mm -hmm. six of the square boxes and the three wonderful book boxes. I often use the book boxes to, to uh, make some layouts or uh, with the paper for the paper kits in inside, like uh, the sample we have there. This, this one here. Yes. Oh, that's beautiful. That one is. That's using our lovely Christmas wishes okay. decoupage set as well. Okay. The beautiful now, pretty pinks. We dry these, and then we can wipe the white color away, the white paint away, okay. and, it, and it looks really vintage. Ooh. I'm intrigued. I've not seen this done before, so. <laughs> Oh yeah, a little bit time we have. Then we can, what we can do more if you, um, first we wipe away the white color from the edges and then we can put a little bit of the crackle paste on top and then it looks very old. Wait, it has to be dry. <laughs> we can do it when it, it isn't dry, it has to be dry. I tried. Here is it. It isn't dry, but I think here it's dry. I tried. Yes, you see what I mean. Oh wow! Now you have the the old look. 
Yes, yeah, it looks weathered, doesn't it? Yes, yes. It's weathered. We only have to go with a, like this. It looks really nice. That's so effective, yeah. It, it's shabby chic. Oh, it's a really shabby. It's a yes, shabby, shabby look chic. like Yeah, yes. exactly. Yeah. Okay, like this. And now we can work with the crackle paste on top a little bit. So we've got about five minutes, Blanche, just so you know. I know. But you know what? If it doesn't get finished, we can, we can come back to it, you know, in the eight o'clock. You show me the finished article. Not so much like this. And then we... It's high pressure crafting. Yes. <laughs> high pressure crafting. And then we crackle the, the lid, and you can do the same with the bottom. You can crackle these. You look here, it, it, it cracks. And then go with the unticking uh, paste or with mm -hmm. the uh, lazure over it, and you have the brown vintage look on top. Mm, it'll hide in all those yes, cracks, won't it? Yeah. Now you see this. Well, it reminds me a bit I icing a cake, that. And it looks really shabby. Mm. Certainly doesn't look like a cardboard box anymore, that's for sure. Here you see it perfect. What you can do uh, too, if you can uh, mix one of the deco paints with a lot of water yeah. and go with the water uh, color over it, Ooh. and the water goes into the crackles too. Ooh, I like the and idea it, of that. it looks yeah. nice too if you want to do so if you this. Want color as opposed to you the see here. Sepia. Normally, you work with the crackle paste with the primer down. Yes. It's, it's a, a, to, normally, you work. If you don't do these, the, the paint um, blattered up falls, falls, off. falls, falls off. off. Yeah. Like okay. here. Ah. And I like this. Ah, so you've done it yeah, right. Okay. It looks more older. <laughs> Flaking. Yes. It's starting I to like decay. it very much. <laughs> And if you want, you can do, oh, you can, no, sure. if you are a stamper and you have the, um, oh, what's here, here, and you have distress colors, you can work with dis dis distress colors too, if you like. This is with brown. I want to show you, it. if you make some, look how nice it is. Gorgeous. Yes. Yeah. And you can lift it with water if you like too, and you can work with everything here on top. You see, you can lift these, and you have the just old, elements. Yeah, it, just it looks hint. really old. Yeah, vintage. <laughs> it's been used a lot. That box. Yes, this is well loved. It's been up and down in that cupboard. Ah. Yes, yeah, so many possibilities to work with these. Absolutely. That, well, because they're so sturdy, it can take so much, isn't it? I mean, that's what you said right at the start, didn't you, Branch? Okay. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, we're coming down to the last couple of minutes. Would you believe? I, just, yes, I can't yes. believe it. I think I finish finished this with the distress on top, like here, like a little bit easy. And then I put one of our crackle frames. Mm -hmm. And spray one. Where's my water? Spray one water. Not so much, and fantastic. It looks Dabbing old, up. and then like here, joy for Christmas. Look at that for speed crafting. <laughs> she did it. Fantastic. <laughs> we are down to the last thirty seconds, Blanche. I want to say a massive thank you. It's been amazing to be with you this last two hours. <laughs> but she's not going anywhere. She's with us again at eight o'clock. So please, please, please stay shopping and stay watching with us here. Uh, obviously, that we're here with a one-day special, but we've got a heap of other goodies here on the show, as you've seen in the last two hours, and no doubt more to come. So I want to say a massive thank you for all the speed craft and the hard work you've done. Thank you so much. Thank you. Everybody's really loving it. Thoroughly enjoyed it. We're all absolutely glued to every technique. So. Uh, Make sure you get your one day special and make sure you get those goodies because already a lot, you know, uh, a lot of including those paints, half half the stock's already gone in those paints. So I don't want you to miss out and those decoupage papers as well. But there's plenty for everybody. Uh, thank you so much. Blanche will be back at eight o'clock with our lovely Catherine uh, for another hour of the one day special. But there's still more to see this evening here on Achanda. Thanks, Blanche.
indeed there is. We're going to join Catherine now for the Pentart Deck the Halls. That ties in lovely. And then we'll be back again with Blanche for the LaBlanche festive one-day special. And then, to finish us off, we'll have a Fabric Freedom Christmas Happy Hour. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan and I bring Spellbinders products here to Achanda. Spellbinders are an American-based company and they have been in the industry for well over 15 years. Spellbinders have always brought us dyes with stunning detail, but today you will find tools, dyes and stamps within the Spellbinder range. What I love about Spellbinders is their partnership with licensed designers this always keeps my creativity flowing. I hope to inspire you with lots of hints and tips on how to use your Spellbinder products. So join us for the Spellbinder shows here on Achanda. Did you know you can continue watching Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, for free, using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the Ethernet port on the back of your TV. If you're not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember to have your router's password to hand, whether you're using a wired or wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the center of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type hochanda.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcasts and access to previous shows. So now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favorite shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your TV, whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Ali from Ali Stitch Fingers. Um, I've been sewing most of my life. I absolutely love sewing. I've been with the Chanda now from the very beginning, really. That's when I started to go there. The Chanda family are lovely people to work with, and I'm really enjoying my time with them. Designing is a big part of the journey uh, for me as well. I, I love going out and finding the fabrics to use in the projects and bringing them to you. I love the designing process from start to finish and then the finished project is just the icing on the cake. So make sure you don't miss out, come and sew with me on a chanda. Hi, I'm Andy from Picture This. I've been a painter all my life. Picture This was actually formed on the back of a throwaway remark from one of my art students. This has developed my drawings into a series of photopolymer stamps, clear stamps for the crafting community and the crafting industry. The stamps are all hand drawn by me. They're made in the UK, most important to us at Picture This, and we have so much more to bring. Our shows on Achanda, um, we hope to make them informative, amusing obviously, entertaining, but mainly it's about bringing the creative spirit to you. Make sure you tune in and watch the picture this shows on Achanda.
Hello, welcome back. That's if you've been with us, of course, throughout the day. If you've just joined us for the evening, it's lovely to have your company. Now, we've got another hour of pent art. It's just me by myself again for this hour, so we're going to have some fun. Uh, I love pent art. You know, it's the first time. I've worked with Julia Watts before. I've seen Ben pent art. Of course, LeBlanc is using pent art products. She loves them as well. You'll see them widely used in her shows. So it's nice for me to get to use them because sometimes I don't get show envy. Uh, let's have a look at the first bundle, though, because we've got a gorgeous kit for you here do you want to make your own baubles well maybe you do this would be the kit for you now there's all sorts within this kit you can see you've got your polystyrene balls do you know i don't know what the diameter of these are they look about oh they're nine centimeters apart i was going to say they look somewhere between eight and ten so i would have been right there wouldn't i very nice <laughs> I was I was covering myself between eight and ten, you see. Uh, then what else have we got? We've got some rice paper in here as well for you with the beautiful poinsettias on. Of course, you could use those elements separately. If you wanted to use it in its entirety, you could. You know, even down to those individual little flowers and leaves, you can take those out separately. Great for all surfaces as well. Now, you do have your primer paste in here as well. This is your gesso, and it really is a paste. It's very, very thick, so you can do far more than just prime with it. One of my favorite things on the show, actually, are these paints. I adore these. Now, these are your delicate acrylic paints in metallic colors. Now, I think there's a very nice sort of satin effect to these as well. And what I can tell you is, and I will be using these in this hour, the coverage is absolutely superb. I normally say put a couple of coats on, but I'm finding just one coat of that is just wonderful. The colors are gorgeous. Now, we've also got the decoupage glue and sealer in here as well. So it's your varnish and glue together. Obviously, you're going to use that with your rice paper, but also other things as well down at the front and i do like this product you've got a two-part fine line crackle medium here so you can see you've got your varnish it does tell you which is which you've got number one on the lid of one you've got number two on the lid of the other then to bring out those crackles and for other uses as well you've got your antiquing paste so that's your bitumen as you can see your antique paste very very useful as well do like that then you've got your glossy varnish of course you can seal all your different bits and pieces we have got different products coming up later but that's going to be useful for many many mediums and then we have we have this wonderful product here as well which is our contour liner and that is in gold and it's a really lovely metallic gold all of that with a saving of eight pounds now if you go for the crackle varnish, or if you could go for the cr crackle varnish on its own, that would cost you $7.99, so basically you're getting that for free. And that's a really good freebie to have. £36.92 is the price there. We will be using this bundle in demonstration, 898.572. Just make the most of that. You've got some really good products in there. I really like that bundle. Now, if you like your baubles, we've got more for you as well. It doesn't have to be just for Christmas either. Now, there is a pouring glaze in here. Now, you, it does say pouring glaze, and I did use it for pouring earlier, but you can also brush that on as well. So if you want to just bring, bring out the detail in something, something like polymer clay or just to highlight certain areas, it really, really will work. We do have the Galaxy Flakes coming up as well, which work really, really fantastically with that. Now, in this kit as well, you've got lots of really lovely goodies in here. Now, you've got your ice crystal pen and your snow crystal pen. Now, we'll be seeing more of this sort of medium coming up as well, or some samples of it. But what I really like about these is the fact that you've got that very fine nozzle. So if you want to pick out a little bit of detail, you can do. Use it a little bit like a pen, I suppose, because uh, it has got that fine nozzle. So you can really go with those fine lines. Or, again, if you wanted to use, bigger, use it for bigger areas, you could squeeze more out and brush that on as well. Great through your stencils, great for just using straight from the tube. Different effects, whether you're going for the snow or the ice. Now, they will dry in a different way to how they look in the bottle as well, because they will, they will go more transparent then we have our pigments in here as well now you've got red and you've got yellow obviously if you wanted to mix those together you've got orange but individually you can mix these into your your texture paste into the plaster that we've got coming up as well you can use that in your air dry clay as well in fact I'm going to use a bit of air dry clay in this show so I might mix a bit of that in um, 
it is a pigment so it's going to be very very high in color there so you only need a few little drops then we have oh my favorite thing in this kit the mirror mist now this is for plastic we do have another one coming up later for glass and it is important to use the right one for the right product but when it comes to plastic such as our baubles this is going to be wonderful did use it in the earlier show but i'm going to use it again this hour as well the baubles themselves you're you are actually getting the two halves but you also get the plate that goes in the center there so if you wanted to put photographs in though if you wanted to put clay figures or flowers or anything you can actually apply both sides so you can have a different look there's loads you can do with these actually so you've got the round one and you've got the teardrop one as well same principle you've got two halves and you've got that inner plate as well so wonderful to work with a nice little kit once again with a saving of seven pounds on this one 29 pounds and 43 pence item number 797911 now we have a mold bundle for you, you know i love my molds i adore molds whether i'm working with air dry clay whether i'm working with resin whether i'm working with the a1 creatives resin that we had last week which was amazing the water-based resin but it's a long time since I've worked with a casting powder and this is a really, really good buy. You're getting an awful lot for your money here. 900 grams in that one pot. We will be mixing some of this up. It goes such a long way. Don't ever mix the full pot of in one go because I just don't think you're going to use it. Make sure that you just mix what you need and uh, use it, of course, with things like your mould that's included. Now you've got those, this may be a little bit more for children, maybe more whimsical, though you have got an angel in there, you've got um, the candle in there as well, there's a snowman, there's Santa of course, you've got the bells, you've got a few little teddy bears in there. The casting powder, once it's mixed with water, will go into there and you'll get those really lovely embellishments which actually will work very well in those baubles as well. Now we've also got paints in here, so these are going to be great for painting on top of your, your casting powder when it's been set. Now these are a matte finish, but you've got all those colours there that you're going to need, including the gold, there's a the blue, the white, which is always important because if you want to make your pastels. But of course you've got your primary colours in there as well, so you can mix your purples, you can mix your greens, you can mix your oranges. So a really nice set again. A £5 saving on this one, just £20 and 42 pence will get you the whole bundle. 003303. Now the Galaxy Flakes, oh I love these. Now we've got two different sets under one item number. So you're getting five pots. Now the top shelf are the darks. I'm gonna open these up so you can see all the colors in a minute. You've got the lights at the bottom. Lovely to have those two different whites in there and they are different as well. Now these are going to go a long way. These are great with your pouring mediums. They're great just to add a few little flakes here and then the background of something. You can mix these into resin. You could do all sorts. I did mention earlier, I wonder if it would work into the plaster, but I've thought about it a little bit more. And I think they've kind of got they kind of get disguised a little bit with the plaster. So something clear would be better. Now what you've got in here are those individual flakes, but they're all different shapes and sizes. So you might get some quite large flakes, you might get some smaller ones. Really, really lovely. They've, when they catch the light, it's an incredible look. So you've got the blue one in there. I don't know the official name of these actually. Does it say on the lid? Oh, Uranus blue, that one. Satin green, ah, I see where we're going, satin green. This is one of my favorites, actually. Can you look, look at the colors in there? Blues, greens, yellows, golds in there. That is really, really nice. Look, there's one stuck to my finger. Uh, what have we got next? Oh, the next one's another one of my favorites. This is Mars Brown. So coppery colors in here. You've got a little bit of purple in there as well, which is really nice. You can mix these together as well. Hey, I'm just thinking, oh, John, how many of you got those pots from John with the snow effect? You could mix your own little colours if you've got those. I know a lot of you have because they were very, very busy. Look at the pink. Isn't that lovely? Really nice pink. These are still in your darks. And then finally, oh, the pink, by the way, is called Venus Magenta. Vesta Purple is the final one. Oh, that's pretty as well. Oh, I do like that one. See, they look different when you take the lids off. So that's the darks. Let's have a look at the brights. I'm going to start at this end. We've got earth green. Very pretty. Again, you've got greens, you've got yellows in there, a little bit of white in there. I can see a little bit of blue in there as well. And purple, actually. Really pretty. 
Then we have Pluto Yellow. Was it, is Pluto Yellow then? When it comes to planets. I don't know much about planets. You've got green in there. Isn't that a lovely colour, that yellow? But I can see green in there, a little bit of white. Actually, I can see a bit of pink in there as well. You know, as you shake these around and you see the flakes move, you will catch those other colours. Then we have... Um, Eris? Is that a planet? Eris? It's not Aries. It begins with an E. Eris. I don't know. Somebody will let me know. There you've got the pink anyway. That's nice. A little bit of orange in there with the pink and the purples. Beautiful. Then we're on to our whites. Now they are different because one of them, the first one being Jupiter white, it's kind of that holographic look. So you can see again you've got your greens, you've got your purples, your pinks in there. That is really nice. That's a very frosty look, isn't it? I like that a lot. And then Mercury White is our final one, which is a little bit more of a sparkly silvery white, I suppose. Again, beautiful. Great for your winter scenes again. If you wanted to add these to your frosty looks, use again with your pouring resins and your pouring glaze that we've got on this show. Great price. If I remember this from the other show, they work out at just two pounds and 80 pence per pot. And these are going to go a long, long way. I've just had that verified. I'm good at remembering numbers at the minute. Not bad when you've only had three hours sleep, is it? $13.99 is the price of these. It's my own fault. I just... It's my own fault. I just get so engrossed with ideas and things that are happening on the internet. I can't, I can't help it. 927-063 is the item number if you want to go for the Galaxy Flex. If you want both the sets, you can, of course. Now, the next item... Remember the mirror mist that we had in one of the other bundles? Well, we've got this one again. So you've got your plastic, your plastic mirror mist, but you've also got your glass in here. Now, I did say it is important to make sure you use the right one for the right use. So obviously your glass jars, if you're upcy upcycling, your, your uh, glass plates, that sort of thing is going to be for your glass. And the baubles that we've got on the show are perspex or acetate as well. Then use the plastic. Now, you can spray this through stencils. You can also spray it so you've got that solid look. I will be showing you that. But a great bundle if you want both of those. Gives you those options. $9.99. These were busy early as well. Seven two seven nine zero three. Well worth popping those in your basket if you've not tried them before. Then we have... Do you know, I'm so annoyed with myself for not using these, but I didn't get time to, to do any prep work, and I've always wanted 3D balls on my show. I see everybody else using them, I think, I want those. Now I've got them, I've not used them. 3D balls, you're getting two pots, but you're also getting the expand paste as well. Now you can brush this on, you can put this through stencils again, and you just use your heat gun to heat it up, and it will puff out. It will give that expansion, and you'll see a lovely effect. Might get to use that in this hour. So that item number there is 133485, just 12.99. You're getting a lot for your money again there. Now, moving down to the next row, we have got snow crystal. We've got rainbow paste, ice effect paste, and ice crystal paste. Now, they will all look different. Now, in the pot, you're thinking, well, they all look pretty much the same to me. Well, they do, but they will go more translucent again, more transparent as they dry, and you will get different effects depending on what surface you're going on, including the colour. Now, Lottie did this for me just before the show. This is, I've got to say, this is still dry, and we haven't got a fully dried... Um, product here but it doesn't matter because you can see areas that are drying quicker than others so it will give you a different look but hopefully you can see the difference between them so let's start with this one here that is your ice crystal this has just gone through a stencil so really lovely frosty effect there it's really pretty then if we move down let's go to the other one at the top first of all that is the rainbow paste. Now, hopefully, you can see the flakes in there of colour. So you definitely see a pink bit. Really nice. Now, if you've got a more open stencil, you'd definitely see more of the flakes there. That's quite a fine stencil. But we just wanted to see how these look. Oh, dear. There goes the box. Down at the bottom, we have got... That's your ice effect. That's your paste. So we had ice crystal was the first one. That's your ice effect paste really nice and then you've got your snow your snow crystal again a paste it's a different box 
but do you know we'll have another look at these hopefully before the end of the hour and see how much more they've dried but i want to show you on the black as well because they will look different so again lottie's done this for me some of this has dried in places some hasn't so you can see the difference let's start at this side here so this now you can see that's gone much more transparent but you've got that lovely effect that's your ice that is really nice actually I like it on the black now you can really see the colors coming through ice effect paste again lots of green and blues in there and that isn't fully dry so that effect is going to come through further then you've got your rainbow so I'm picking out purples, greens, blues, there's a bit of gold in there as well, a bit of pink going on in there as well. There is a big, big bit of flake there, look at that one. Very nice indeed. And then finally we've got our snow. Our snow, and again, that's going to dry more, but you've got that lovely white frosty effect on that one as well. So all very, very nice indeed. Great bundle there, great price as well, because you're getting a lot for your money. 19 is the is the price there 129414 and it's not just for card you can put this onto acetate onto glass onto plastic onto different surfaces as well so think about making your your tea light holders and that sort of thing or maybe onto your baubles this is a really good set to go for lots for your money right now then when it comes to pouring glaze we've got another pot for you here now this is a larger pot we've got a pot in a different bundle the the bauble bundle has a smaller pot but this one if you want to top up or use this make sure you've got it you know always in stock because you will use it 230 milliliters 13.99 is the price remember although it says pouring glaze on there you can brush this onto surfaces as well to give that glazed effect it is, it's not the same as resin but it will give you that shine and it will give you that protection but it just brings out all those beautiful colors so a really nice product again 481148 is the item number now we've got acrylics for you here these are really nice as well i'm hoping to bring these into demonstration these are your metallics we've seen the matte already this is a different set 13.99 is the price for this set and what i like about these again if i just take one of the lids off oh, i've taken the whole thing off now let me just click that back into place there we go you can see you've got that fine nozzle don't want to tip that up too much or squeeze it it is a bit like a glass paint, isn't it? You know, when you get, so you've got that control. If you want to do sort of a line with it and uh, keep it, you know, quite neat and fine, then you've got that. But if you want to squeeze the bottle a little bit harder, of course, you can then use a paintbrush and spread that out however you want. Lovely bundle there. 243035 is the item number. Great price at 13.99. Now we've got one more bundle. I'm just going to grab something because... You don't just get one, you get two of the casting powder pots. These are 900 grams each. So this really is going to go a long way, but not only that. Fibre paste, 500 millilitres of fibre paste with those two pots for just 16 99 That is amazing value. And I know when we've had fibre paste in the past, we've sold out of it time and time again. 973107 is the item number really good buy that one if you want to stock up and make sure you've got plenty of product to work with that's a great bundle to go with now we have got more for you as well in fact let's just have a look at some mdf because we've got seven day savers to show you this really works with the theme doesn't it we've got four sleighs there so these are your christmas sleighs different sizes um just say sorted sizes you can see you've got different uh, sizes down the screen a 15 pound saving 14.99 is the price item number 102 eight two six now when it comes to christmas we've got to have our lights haven't we but oh, actually all year round you don't need these just for christmas these are the led lights with your cork top now the the battery and the little switch is on the cork so if you're decorating up your bottles these are brilliant you can drop the lights inside the bottle decorate the bottle and then the cork sits in the top of course and it works beautifully now you get in if i remember rightly three multicolor and three of the bright warm whites so that warm white do you like warm white do you like cold white i like both of them but the warm white works very very well in your bottles definitely great price for those as well just 14.99 our graphics aren't working but you'll find them on the website of course right okay oh they've decided to come on now never mind you'll find all the seven day savers on the website it's monday today that means we had new ones launched yesterday didn't we yes we did right okay so i'm going to start 
I think in the same place as it started in the early hour because um, the mirror mist was a very popular item and there are different things that you can do with it but it's such a lovely technique to see in front of your eyes very easy to use as well now I have if I can find where I put it I've uh, just got a bottle here this is the plastic again you're going to get instructions in the box so don't worry about that and there are tutorials online when you get your bottle it will have a top on there and then of course you need your spray so then you just attach the lid make sure you screw this well down because I shook it earlier and I hadn't screwed it down properly uh, give it a good shake there is a ball bearing I believe in there as well I think I should start to hear that but you it will mix for you really really easy to use these one little tip and I found this earlier out earlier give your nozzles a bit of a wash every now and again because they can clog up because as the mist sets it will fill that little hole so I had a bit of an issue on the earlier show but very easy just to wash those out and you can put the tops back on of course right now I'm going to use some of the baubles that we've got now there's different things you can do with the mirror I did make one earlier if you didn't see that show I'm just going to bring this thing so I put it back together I showed you how to mist this is a teardrop bauble but then what I use with some sandpaper to scratch away some of the mirror mist and then I've painted on the inside with the metallic paint that we've got on offer so it gives that more vintage aged look so you can still see colour coming through if I turn this around that was clear plastic it is now a mirror so I've kept that without any paint that's the plate on the inside and I've stuck one of John's lovely poinsettias in there so a really lovely effect so that's two different ways of working with it in that one sample so let me show you again if you don't want to use sandpaper if you want to bring the paints in and use things in a different way you can do I'm going to do a couple of different things here I'm going to get one of the spaces or one of the plates and we've got the bauble as well so because these are plastic I've got to make sure I am going for the plastic one and not not the one for glass because it does make a difference you use them both in the same way but there is a difference I hope I've not clogged this one up now because I didn't wash it out right so there we've got our plastic bauble it's a fine mist now what I would say to you is don't overspray that it does dry very very quickly so what you can see there is that's not solid and it looks very gray at the moment if you overspray you can sort of tip this around and let it sort of flow into there and you'll get different effects again but if you want a nice even coverage go with some fine misting let it dry and then build those layers up so I'm, I'm actually going to do this I'm going to put a little bit more in here and then I'm no actually I'm not going to do that and that I'm going to put that to one side I'm going to do it with this one instead just so you can see because it's easier for the camera so again we'll just go with a fine misting on there you can accelerate the drying time with a heat gun and it's interesting to watch this so you can see very great straight away look can you see how that is changing look how that mirror effect is appearing it's just like magic it really is straight away that has turned into a little mirror now there are one or two little areas there so if you decided you didn't want a scratch look or an aged look you could go over the top again with your spray and again we'll just dry that off very easy to do now what I would suggest is where I'm spraying and catching on a piece of card maybe put some acetate or something under there or something that if it catches it you can use it let me just hold this up to the front so you can see it Now remember that was a piece of clear plastic and now we've got that mirror effect now that is still probably drying a little bit and there, you can see one or two marks in there but you can really get that lovely effect I quite like it when it's uh, scratched and aged because it looks like those old mirrors doesn't it now what I've also got here bringing back the first one I'm just going to dry that off 